just got to know that you can make it on your own and in yourself. What you create in your mind will become who you are over time. Choose the life you want to live. Choose the world, but you can't give, baby. Just think positive. you're waiting for there's a world out there to explore it's a real life fantasy that doesn't live just in your dreams so chase what keeps you alive tell me what you're waiting for there's a world out there to explore it's a real life fantasy that doesn't live just in your dreams so chase what keeps Hey guys! Here in the new studio today. Gonna to be carrying on with some more sexy Catland painting. Hope you're all uh, hope you're all doing well. Gonna be working on some uh, some skin stuff. Been painting him for a while. Couldn't find my cat ears today though, so uh, you're just gonna have to make do without. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I'm actually here because of this guy. You turn up a little bit, mate. I don't know. I know, I'm being turned up. <laughs> I look great today. I'm, I'm looking better than I've looked for a while. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're here, we're here because of glazing and other such things. And uh, this is a guy that I painted on, uh, on a slightly different stream. Yes, Shadow, the, be the beard has left. <laughs> He's upset the beard's left. Um, oh dear. And so uh, Flick, Flick would like to see some more glazing. It's the only way I could I could be the true Flick star I had to get rid of 14 stone of hair. <laughs> 14 stone of hair indeed. <laughs> How you doing? Hi everyone. <laughs> My life is over. <laughs> Tack on. <laughs> rip beard, rip beard. Aww. It was inevitable. Don't worry, in three weeks it will be back. <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> I like how I finally made a flick stream and it's a latest stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Hello! <laughs> right, need to sort out all the audio stuff now. Right, um, yeah, just got that off the moment. I will crack out. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm not actually painting Sexy Catman. Hopefully, you're, hopefully you're not too disappointed. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no more cat ears. They were nearly cat ears. I would have worn them if we could have found them. Yeah, but, I couldn't uh, find the cat ears. The wife hid them from them. Right. Low blow has got low blow. What happened? Does <laughs> this, this mean things like actually get finished? Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> so it's mostly going to be kind of tutorials for, uh, for Flick and for you lovely people. So what's still like to get done today? Yeah, Miyako, basically what we're going to do is we're doing a Learning with Latheus. Latheus. We're going to do a 101 session on glazing, basically. We're going to do panels on some infinity uh, and kind of teach me how not to be shit and finish things. Right. <laughs> I've, I've already given him a stern setting down and told yeah. him that he needs to send all of these things out to all you lovely, pe lovely people who've won them already. Yeah, indeed. And so, uh, Hopefully all your things should be winging their way to you soon. I, I was beginning to think you really pulled the wool over our eyes saying there was a Saturday stream and the April Fool's joke. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, I shouldn't have just not gone live. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ultimate. The ultimate deception. You hunky monkeys. Hello, Dan. <laughs> 
Right, okay, so let me set out and tweet out and all that kind of social stuff and you can just lurk and talk and show the chat a bit. I shall lurk, I have to get off the camera. Yeah, that's it. Just talk, talk to people, say something. This, this stream setup is so much more elaborate and lush than mine. <laughs> <laughs> The, the two bits of stone and the bit of wood I've got <laughs> propping everything up are just, uh, they're, they're nowhere near this level. I think I'm getting radiation though from the 17 monitors over this, <laughs> this wall. Yeah, there's more now, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, uh, people keep saying it's glazing, but it's actually a mixture of techniques. Yeah, you do. Uh, Flick's gonna be dashing outside briefly to Zenithal Prime something, which is uh, the old, similar to this guy here. Uh, where are we? I'm not used to where the cameras yeah, are. Well, it's the camera, that's you. And the uh, that's his blade is currently shiny because I dropped him. <laughs> a little pre-stream drop, just there, <laughs> because I'm me. Yeah. And uh, it bent the blade, so I had to strip the blade, because otherwise there would be uh, unfortunate. Uh, like the paint would be split in various sections down the length of the blade, and then uh, you would see that when you painted over it. I'm having real, real trouble because the chat is up here. Where do you normally have it? Uh, my chat is over there. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't really facilitate that other than maybe the no, iPad. No, it's, it's all good. <laughs> it's oh, the that, first time I've had chat about more it. Easy. Flixer has dropped something. Hey, whoa! Hold up! <laughs> <laughs> we can't drop things. Yes. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> all, my, all my drops count as flicks today, guys. Oh my god! So here we go. So watch my counter go like 30, 40 up. Yeah, let all the drops go on flicks counter. I see how it is. A proper tan ma mathos, that's the only way I'm going to get a tan. <laughs> Flick had to up the, the, the level of lighting because my hands were so pale they were reflecting the sun back. <laughs> oh dear, right, that's done that. Let's do that, give me a second, sorry. Cool, things are happening. Right, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so Flick will be Zenithal spraying, which most of you guys know about, I think, by now. But that's where you spray the whole model black, so you'll hold it and spray from all the different angles. And then uh, you'll just sort of put it down somewhere and just do a quick white spray back and forth on either side and that's how it looks darker from the other side and lighter from the top I'm not used to where my hands are supposed to be either because <laughs> it's not the thing it, it will just slowly gravitate towards are. this area each time yeah, that's what I struggle with as well <laughs> right let's bring this and see what's going on so that's our levels so I'm just going to shunt over yeah. if, I, if I change the angle I'm facing there we go maybe yeah maybe well you can move it mate I'm going disappear I'd say um, uh, is everything okay? Can you hear Latheus talk when he talks? He's a quieter, more sophisticated gentleman than me who shouts a lot. None of these things. <laughs> be less pale. <laughs> we, we can't facilitate being less pale. <laughs> well, what we can do is sort out some lighting, so... <laughs> I can do that. Oh, I see. Cool. Surely if you make it darker in here, that would just only up the contrast no, and I'll become even paler. Oh, your face won't glow as much. advice from Rolling Stone Shadow Clover. All is alright production wise, right. possibly. Okay. So yeah, cool. you're, 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 I've worked you up to the highest I feel, like, I feel like I should put this on as well. So yeah. that I've you got, can take that off now. No, I'm a little from column A in it. There we go, I'm, I'm a lay flick. <laughs> I'm like a half and half. A flick lay. Flick, I, a flickius. A flickthius? Doesn't quite mm. work. Not sure how it works. You'll get too high then anyway. No, we'll end up like that weird Angelina, Jolie, Brad combination if we start. Angelina. <laughs> this is weird. The initial shock is wearing off now. This is like normal. <laughs> This is my stream now, guys. I'm a ghost when we turn the lights up, right? Yeah. This guy's lurking and owling. Hey, uh, hi, Nano. How you doing? I'm sculpting, so I won't talk much. No worries. Flick this. Hey, Skynet. Yeah, flick this. <laughs> Told you. Right, okay, so. I prefer Latheus RR. <laughs> Latheus. Latheus RR. Getting Latheus there and Latheus there. Yeah, I have to get a little bit more Latheus there each day. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna knock that down to that just. Yeah, see, Mathis has got it. Laithster. Oh, I like Laithster, that's Laith good. Yeah, Laithster could work. Laithster's good. Alright, cool. So, doing that. Right, whilst you're doing that, you can just basically paint that dude as, as you would normally for now. This dude? Yeah, well, whatever you want to do. Okay. Until I get these ready. Um, that's going there, that's going there. So, I'm gonna base a tiny bit with this guy. We're going to do, we're, we're focused to finish a whole panel rather than uh, the whole model. Yeah, exactly. Just paint it's right peanut, peanut butter jelly tap, peanut butter jelly tap, peanut like, butter jelly tap. There's a small tap. amount of way technology way I can actually remember. Welcome to my life. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Well, I don't have headphones, so I can't hear the banana chicken. Peanut butter jelly, 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 peanut butter j
baseball bat. Ooh, better fuzz. <laughs> Letha, it's like Mike Tyson saying laser. <laughs> Letha, Letha. That's true. That's amazing. I now cannot say Letha without thinking that. So good. Sorry, I'm already I'm already focused on painting. <laughs> right. Yeah, just, yeah, just it occurs to me we can't really do any of the glazing or anything if I don't have any, any base layers down, <laughs> so... No, yeah. Well, it's further than I did. I didn't even get to prep a model. I knew there were a Unless I did one I've already got. Alright. So you'll still be able to see through... I don't know how... how focused yeah. and stuff. You'll see... So you can still see the white and, like, the metal and that through this at the moment, and that's because you'll have to do a couple of layers. And the reason we do multiple thin layers, like Duncan says, is, uh... Two thin coats. Because if you do one really thick coat, then uh, if I did one one thickish coat, so if you can see there's a nice blob of paint on the end of the brush there, if that's how you paint, <laughs> you're gonna delete most of the detail from your model, and uh, and also when you when you put the thing on, you, you notice you have a ridge of paint, and you can kind of you'll hope that you'll go back over it, and like you'll go back over it like that, and try and get rid of that ridge of paint. And all you end up doing is you'll push it out either side, and end up with two small ridges, which is why we do lots and lots of thin coats. So instead, by by doing a thin coat, which I've actually done that's a glaze, it's way too thin. <laughs> Um, by doing a thin coat, and you'll see that my thumbnail turns very slightly orange, and then we wait for that to dry, and then you do another one over the top, and then you don't end up with these nice thick paint ridges. I can see the light reflecting off the paint ridges, this is so thick. Mm. Extreme example. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very extreme example. Flicks that should watch the Warhammer TV video yeah. from today. It's definitely how a lot of people start out, so it's, it's relevant. Oh no, Scott, we had planned to do this, we had planned this morning, and then you decided to do this awesome stream. Sorry, dude. <laughs> do it anyway, remember? Do about your vans. Indeed. Um, what do you want to do? Is stay and watch us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do what you want, as long as that is staying with us and watching us. <laughs> Peanut butter chili. The overall lays golden voice. Or glorious voice. Orange is your favourite. Peanut butter jelly overall lays board. golden voice just for production. Right? Okay, so I need to turn that down, do I? Alright. All right, so that, that should have dry. The, the wonders of having painted with such a thin layer, though, is that, uh, I mean, you already know how to do all this stuff anyway. So. The basics of the thin, yeah, yeah more of that. Like, the, uh, the joys of painting with such thin layers is that uh, they dry really quickly. And the joy, and also a curse at times. Well, yeah, so when you actually get to the, the glazing part of it, that it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass, and that's when you start having to worry about things like tide marks. Uh, I need to turn down the paint by the Wait, yeah. So, I will make you put the headphones on. Oh, oh, oh Steam's <laughs> just come up. Just honking over here. Quick play. Quick. Some CS. <laughs> play some CS. Uh, I stream. need to see your lead CS skills in action. Yeah, I do. Right, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. the, the lawn can wait to be made. Flix, this is what they are. Oh, um, the lawn can come in. We had planned this morning. Oh, I see. The lawn can be waited. So it was a streaming <laughs> plan. It was, it was a lawn mowing plan. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be hot swapping seats, torches. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff. I'm going to be peering over my shoulder yeah. uh, to see just, what just, I... Just, just lurking. See what I is <laughs> that I do. And uh, while I sort of talk you guys through it. And then uh, we're going to swap seats. I <laughs> just see <laughs> in the corner of the camera this little face peering over. And, uh, and then, yeah. And then I'll be sort of... Standing over tutorially. Yes. Is that even a word? Guiding Tut me, tutorially. coaching me. Tutorially? Yeah. I'll make up words, it's fine. <laughs> and, uh, Teaching the class. And uh, hopefully helping. But I don't really think he needs much help. I mean, I've seen his models here and they're, they're fine. I don't know what? why I'm here, really. <laughs> Just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, look, at, look at this blue thing. And then look at the blends there. And then look on the, the, the skirt of this one. They're interchangeable. God. <laughs> Wait till I get you off stream. <laughs> We're gonna have a word. <laughs> right, what are they doing? Oh yeah, so I'm trying to sort of peanut butter jelly time because it was... Alright, so this underside of the arm is taking a third layer. And it might take a fourth, and that's because there's more black in this side of the miniature. Uh, and then this is part of the, the xenophon. So uh, you'll notice that you'll have to do, certainly with orange, like where this side of the mini is black and this side is white. Um, you'll notice that you might only need two layers on the white and like four or five layers on the black and that's just normal for painting any of the really vibrant colours so like the yellow and the orange and the pale blues Yeah, because yellow on black is a nightmare And any of those sorts of colours don't, don't go anywhere near yellow on black Don't yes. even consider it I would, I would always suggest 
What, like putting the orange down first? I would always suggest if, uh, yeah, always white first if you can. White first? Yeah. Um, or a neutral colour, but orange is still a bad colour to go over black. Like any of the any of the upper tone colours. So yeah, I any of so any of well any of the pale colours. So if you go for these, I think you're probably going to agree. Oh, that looks somewhere. really bright now. Wipe up the contrast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So <laughs> any of these colours that are like, if you imagine a neutral tone, and then these are light versions of those tones. So any of your light colours, don't paint these directly over black if you can avoid it, because all you'll end up doing is uh, you'll have to paint like 70 layers. And that's nobody wants to do that. No one wants to do that. Uh, I'm trying to not mess up the organizer system. I will have a leave, worry, leave some of them with the label facing backwards. Just to, uh... No, don't you dare. Alright, cool. There's Citadel sanctioned pots. They're the best pots. This is how all awesome Citadel paints should Please be. Please throw them away and purchase new ones. <laughs> wow. One day, one day you'll learn. It's good here with Lucas painting, so I don't have to look as far to reach out. Well, the good thing with with I'm, Lucas I'm is very confused with, that. with where Lucas is painting. Oh, because you're painting over here. Oh, I see. Is there? Ah, okay. So if I, if I paint like this, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then we're golden. There. Oh, there we go. Hey, Flick. What's it like seeing that tag in person? Amazing. You have you, you, the it camera looks very different on gives it to no. Mind. Like, I'll explain that. Like, you can't see the edge work properly. In these corners here, in the recesses, all the greys on the blacks. Honestly, dude, it's another world. This is why he's here to teach me, so I can steal these skills. You will have to forgive part of it, though, because this this shin pad, this this pad here looks grey. It does, and that's because I, I, I chipped it off with my thumbnail while picking it up. Look, again on the camera, that barely shows. And uh, yeah, it's really visible for me here, but uh, I had to repaint it slightly. And because this is the thing that I was talking about with this guy's blade. When you chip part of a piece of paint on a surface, generally you need to strip the whole surface and then repaint that whole surface from scratch rather than that. just do a thing like yeah. I've done here. Uh, because all you'll end up with is like these little raised kind of ledges that are very slight, but you'll be able to see it when the paint kind of seeps into them. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, those colours and disco biscuit streamer chases. Yeah. Put the orange and the yellow and the blue oh, we had back on screen for a second. Let's just try and make sure the yellow, the, like that blue looks. Like, I've, I've done better. The orange is still too intense. Give me one second. That is not true. Don't move on, I'll trip out. There we go. It's already better. There we go. I'm happy with that. That looks much better, doesn't it? Give me a Stop it. Stop it now. You have to uh, you have to address uh, Shadow Claimer via his full title now. It's Shadow Jesus. Cougar Shadow Claimer. Jesus Cougar Claimer. Yeah. Shadow Jesus Cougar Claimer. The Edge Lord. Shadow Jesus Cougar Claimer. S J C S. S J C S. The struggle. I didn't say Shadow Claimer was easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not easy. <laughs> well, not not for us. <laughs> Hello. How things are worse from cam in person then when you want to commission someone they're always surprised by the quality I, 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 I hope that's true I think the cam gives me favours rather than the other hand uh, you want more drop counter is that what you're yeah, aiming for stop that? juggling no my, Torches, you want my more drop counter will just skyrocket <laughs> you want more drop that's fine we can do this um, oh I haven't put in um, streamland whoops a daisy alright so we're on a fourth layer of orange even over white this is still uh, because of the transitions with the zenithal we're still having to do an extra extra layer or two and this is partially because my, my paints are so watered down. And so we're using, as usual, we're using a wet palette. I brought mine with me. Yeah. <laughs> brought mini palette with me. And uh, I'm wearing brushes. So if you see me licking the brush, don't don't despair. Yeah, it's we're, not mine. <laughs> we're not we're not doing things we shouldn't be with uh, with with fluid swapping on stream. Off stream, however. Well, as once the camera goes <laughs> I mean, off, yeah, that's, that's another. <laughs> we're Just you wait until we get to Salute. The orgies we will have. <laughs> <laughs> You're all welcome. <laughs> Torches is coming. <laughs> Doesn't even know yet. <laughs> uh, where I, I was trying to something really inappropriate. I'll, I'll leave that. Let's, let's not do that on my <laughs> let's, let's leave that for now. Let's try and not get me back. Yeah, that would be pretty cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm claiming any subs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sub money delay, god damn it. <laughs> um, where is... Okay, 
So I mean, I'm trying to cover all the basics here. When I yeah, when I clean my when I clean my brush as well, uh, this is something I recommend. You might be inclined to to do this and just like mash your brush into the into the paper, and then like squidge it around like that. And I'll do it that once just to show you what not to do. But you can see that it makes the bristles go all furry and kind of bent, and you don't want to do that. So if you're cleaning your brush, then you just put it on the side of the paper, and then I tend to roll it, and you focus with the pressure of the back of your finger. In the point where the ferrule is, where, it's where the bristles meet the paper, that. I just twist it and that's why you can see right, we get this kind of build-up of colour here and here, and that's why you're pulling colour that's seeped up through the bristles that are seeped up into this area, and it will eventually like build up and build up, and then your bristles will start, bristles will start to flay, splay, <laughs> flay, yeah, it starts to remove skin, splay, splay. and uh, yeah, splay, and uh, yeah, so. I just put on a twist normally. Yeah. I guess roll it Yeah, so, so just roll yeah, it. Same and you sort of, you pull it sideways slightly as you're doing it, because if you, you don't want to push it at all, because it'll be the same thing with the, the bristles. You're pushing against the bristles, basically. So yeah, these are all the things we do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to finish painting this guy by the time... <laughs> No, no, like the whole guy will be finished. <laughs> um, that, that's been unbeknownst to me. One stream, that can't happen, surely. That's like an arm, isn't it? Well, I've nearly done the arm. <laughs> yeah. Is this where we all start to feel sorry for Lexi? Lexi's out at the pub, but she can't drink, so we still feel sorry for her. <laughs> She's gone to the pub to see friends and watch them drink because she can't. <laughs> oh, dear. Feels bad, man. Citadel brand water. Only for you, Shadow. You have to charge, they charge extra for that, you realise. If you buy a Vallejo brand water, you get more of it for less money. Does the same job. Uh, I would advise, though, if you buy Citadel brand water, to put it in a Vallejo container, because uh, <laughs> it's just better distribution. It's thinner. It's all PR shadow, it's not real. It's hearsay. I'm just saying. It's fine. Right. I'm still doing extra layers on this because orange over black, as we previously said, is, is horrendous. Uh, then you have to decant it all and all that junk. I suppose, I suppose you're overdue for a decanting stream. Yeah, you could do your water decanting stream, that would be good. How should you decant the water? Uh, you can buy a Citadel own brand pipette. They're, uh, they're £7 each for a disposable one. and. Uh, or you could buy the, the medical grade ones for like 300 for 50p, but definitely buy the Citadel ones if you're buying into the uh, into the PR and your shadow. Don't be swayed by the cheapness of the other ones and the fact that they are exactly the same but without a GW logo on the side. <laughs> Flick banned from uh, banned from Games Workshop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know you are shadow. Avoid still paint like the plague, lay her an army painter. Uh, I've heard, m heard really mixed reviews about army painter. I do really like Citadel paints and have been using them for a long time. As far as Vallejo goes, I use some Vallejo paints. Um, I prefer model color to game color because game color is a lot thinner and it's a lot more glossy. But um, I've just been used to it. I've been painting with Games Workshop paints for a while, so I'm, I'm just more familiar with those. But I can't order Games Workshop paints online without having to pay the same value of the paint in postage, and that is what spurred me into buying Vallejo paints. There's no technical reason for it. They, I mean, they do pretty much the same job. Um, and you'll notice, oh yeah, the whole licking the brush thing. There is a practical reason behind it. The, uh, the reasons are twofold. It helps put a tiny amount of moisture into the bristles. I don't know if we can get this to show up on the stream. I'll make sure my thumb's nice and dry. If, uh... Oh, I've already got rid of it. So, it's a, very, it's a really, really minute amount. In fact, I don't even think the reflection... There's not even enough to pick up the reflection on the light of, of water in the bristles. 
And then it also helps make the point sharp. And that's the reason why we do that. Or well, the reason why I do that. It does nothing and means nothing. Uh, if you're doing it with large amounts of paint on your brush, then you're just eating paint. <laughs> then, I'm sorry to, to spoil that one for you, but it is just eating paint. I see Blixter's face, but latest is voice. I'm not sure whose hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is Doge's hand. That's Doge. <laughs> Uh, don't lie to them about brush licking, they deserve to know the truth, it does nothing and means nothing. Oh, don't, don't, yeah. don't worry Shadow, there is a their own brand brush licking which will make it acceptable for you. But uh, it's a seven part course that will cost you 59 99 for each lesson. So. <laughs> I actually really like the, uh, the Games Workshop tutorials, the, like the Duncan and the what was it, Eve tutorials. But uh, I'm kind of ready to go with this by the way. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I can't watch you because I might try and put the uh, other one together. Just want to write face. <laughs> uh, I need to wait for my drink there, that's right. Alright, so. Really I'm going to get my little ball then. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Mike, Flick's, Flick's balancing on his balls. I'm done here now. <laughs> this is weird. Duncan and M were the reason I started painting after a six year hiatus. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I would definitely, uh, if you're very new to painting, I don't, I mean, I, I recognize a lot of your names in the chat, but if you're really new to painting, then uh, following Duncan's starter tutorials on base coating and like layering and washes and all those sorts of things are really handy. Uh, I definitely recommend them. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so for this guy, People, people say, ah, you have you have done glazing, and there was glazing on this, but it was part of all the other processes. And so I quite often would start off with uh, something called a loaded brush as the base layer. Um, chipped, chipped on the head there. Mm -hmm. Chipped on the head. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have that repair it later. How that even happen? It was in your little phone thing the whole time. No, I didn't. Uh, anywho. I mean, he's been handled loads, so it's just wear and tear. Uh, trying to think of a good place to start. So this guy, so I'm trying to find one of these shoulder pads. So pretty much most of these is choose a light point and choose a dark point. There you go, on the line. Glorious line. Glorious line. Oh, the line in the middle of the thing. It does kind of show up on this leg panel, so. Yeah. Um, trying to find a good van brace, maybe. So goes from yellow on one <laughs> side to red on the other side. Cat ears flick stream. Shut up, random. We, <laughs> we did actually try as well. We, we did look for them, random, and I did yeah. start with uh, with sexy cat man in front of me, but uh, <laughs> it wasn't to be. Did we what just finish a sleepover? <laughs> no, it's, this is my studio now, Chris. Yeah, I've upped my production value. Next level spooning. <laughs> no, he, hey, sa he saves that for Kenny. Whoa, whoa! Don't you insinuate those things? In next level. Yeah, next level. <laughs> Um, anywho. <laughs> Lathis uh, is, is fixed his new border. That's it, yeah, I kicked out the homeless one, and Lathis is now moving in full-time, running a studio. So there's multiple ways you can do... You can colour a surface in this way, and I've done different ones across the different surfaces, depending on, like, angular brush and <laughs> how the whims took me. And you can start off with a neutral orange, as we've got on this guy, and you can either go with a loaded brush, which is where you put a very thin amount of the orange uh, so, just making sure the bristles are loaded with enough water. So they actually have, so there's a very slight shine machine on the brush, you can barely see it. Uh, and then you're turning it, you're making sure that you have a glaze on it. So I'm turning it and I'm kind of squishing it a little bit. Oh, put this on the thing. I'm turning it up, I'm smishing it a little bit so that the paint is actually nestled in amongst the bristles rather than sitting on top of the bristles. Thank you very much, Shadow. Wait a minute, that's a new... What the hell is that? <laughs> They're like pencil drawings. And this is uh, this is our first glaze part. I can't even... I don't even know what he's done. Somehow Shadow's broken the system. It's like a different animation thing that I've never seen before. Right, here we go. Okay, so you take the water... So, you got that? so we've made a glaze? Yeah. 
which is a thin, which is a really thin orange, and then uh, just on the very tip of the of the brush. So we've got the yellow. So the because on your camera, that's this is where you can't tell. The brush is loaded with uh, with the thin glaze, and then it's got a very small tip of yellow on the end. And then, so this is the the most risky of all of them, and that's why I use this as a base layer. So loaded brush will. Uh, so that's actually the highlight will be there. So it will look really harsh when it first goes on, and the the orange in the body of the brush will help you naturally blend this sharp tip point into the rest of the surface. That's and a it bit won't, of a struggle. It won't always perfectly go on first time, and if it doesn't perfectly go on first time, then you need to glaze it afterwards. And so that's the. Uh, the starter point, and so that's how we would do the edges on this. The uh, Bring that in again. I'm to the edge on this would have been a, a loaded brush with the yellow at the tip here, and we'd have come. So the brush angle is also really important as well. So you'll notice how when I was painting just then, I want the the color to be on this central area. So I paint with the yellow going down the center, and then because I'm blending off into the side of the brush, we put the side of the brush on the side we want. We're blending off into. Okay. So that's why we're doing that that way. And so it blends outwards. And then when I wanted to do the other side, I then quickly turned it around. So again, I was blending outwards into the into so the, the tip is always brush. at the highest point. So the tip is always where you want your your sharp, your like your highlight color to be. If you're if you're doing a shade, if you're going in the opposite direction, then I'd be pushing the tip into the into these like dark areas here. Okay. Yeah. And the same underneath there. Um, and so this is kind of done it, but it's not 100% glazed because you can see you can still see the orange through that. Okay, so you do a second layer of the same And so now I'm just going to do a very small... Not even going to load the brush? Or? Not even going to load the brush. There might still be a tiny bit of orange on the brush, but it's not intentional at this point, because you want all the colours to kind of mix in together anyway. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of highlight this very slightly with the line just down the middle. Okay, see that, yeah. And then it will blend outwards naturally, because the yellow is focused into this point anyway. <laughs> you frag load. Now the beard will be back, just give it three weeks. <laughs> Jeez, look at the caps lock there. Who the fuck? That's not lit. Lay beard. Where? No. Bad lay. What the <laughs> hell? That was like a brain dump. So, uh, <laughs> assuming this has actually gone better than I'd hoped. So what I'm going to no do? No worries, see in a bit. What we're going to do here is I'm going to put a tiny bit of just pure yellow onto here and turn this into a glaze. And this is the point where you're then just refining what you've done here. Um, then you're just again. You notice how it's like the edge of the brush yeah. is coming over to the the point. And so then I'm just. Uh, like glazing across the side here, so I'm, I'm aiming at the point which is. So you, you're a second um, level on the, on the highest point, you're just below the highest point, but so also I'm, across to the so, so what I'm aiming for is the point where I can see the yellow has turned into an orange. So if you imagine that your colours aren't perfectly transitioned from one colour into the other, so, so now I'm, I'm glazing over the point where that line is right, to yeah, try and blur yeah. that transition slightly. That's kind of what I was doing on the, on the with dress. the yellow, and then once we've done it with the yellow in one way, you sort of reevaluate where you're at, and if you don't quite like how all that transition is, if you can still see a line there between those two colours. Then I would clean the brush off, yeah, and this is the point where you have to make sure you clean, you start cleaning your brush off completely, is when you start doing these glazes back and forth over each other, and then you take it into the, the orange, make sure you just have a very, I'm just trying to make sure it's a really small amount of orange. Um, this is the whole thing with glazes, is like, it's always, always aim for less paint than you think you need, because it's, it's always, you can always add extra layers, but it's harder to take them off or to repair over the top of it. Uh, I mean, then this this blaze is kind of already. I don't really need to do this. This is a superficial extra bit. Well, there's a tiny bit down there that I can then just change, and so it removes that line, so you can't see it anymore. In fact, the only line I can see is this transition between where I've got that sharp yellow line down the middle yeah, that I, I can manually that. painted on. So if I wanted to get rid of that, so I'll just add again. Not again, this is so this is a this is a loaded brush with water, and this is what I mean by there's multiple different processes because you can yeah. start off with the the um, the loaded brush with paint is really unreliable especially if you're new to this kind of thing. Um, you can't guarantee that the paint will spread across the length of the brush the way that you want it to, or that it will spread on the surface the way you want it to. So that's where, I mean, even Ben Comax, when I was learning this from his stuff, he was saying that he doesn't get it 100% of the time and he will quite often have to glaze back over um, okay. to fix bits that don't quite work. So, uh, so yeah, so I would take... <laughs> Sorry, don't worry, it's grown a bit since the stream started. Yeah, glaze, <laughs> unfathomable. Ability um, to grow hair. So you, I've added a little bit more moisture to the brush because I want to make sure that it's constantly like that constantly has moisture. And that's why it comes back to my tongue so often. It's because you it will because it's such a, a fine amount of moisture in the bristles. Yeah, you have to keep refreshing because yeah. it will just dry out on the brush. 
uh, and then I'll take you to just the very tip. And this, so this is now a loaded glaze rather than a loaded brush. Because you've only got one colour on it and the rest um, is water. Yeah. And so what will happen now is we'll be feathering out with water instead of with the paint. So again, I'm, I'm putting the paint exactly at the point where the yellow was down the center, and then I'm just feathering it out with the water. And are you adding a bit more pressure as you go? That's the thing I know about. Um, was learning? That was just a pretty, a pretty steady, a steady stream of pressure as I went. Okay. So, you know, at that point, you just aimed at the place where the, you yeah, thought the line was. Move that temporarily. Uh, so I could see, I could see the line down the middle. I could see this yellow line down the middle. No, sorry, it's just because I keep putting my brush yeah, up because no, it's, no, it's the, the larger <laughs> object, and so I keep thinking that's the. Um, the water pot when it's not. <laughs> it normally is. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm literally I'm aiming at the sharp yellow line. I mean, I can still very slightly see the sharp yellow line. So I guess well, I'll do a little bit more. We're just uh, um, it's quite hard to get in there. This is one of the the merits of sub assemblies is yeah. because to try. I would want to paint at this angle so that I'm following the flat of the surface, I'm with you, but you can't, so that yeah. the the brush is like on the surface like that. Down a bit, yeah. so, uh, so, the brush angle. so that the brush angle is like the tip of the brush is tough. So when you're pulling away, so you're, you're adding it like the, the surface, this, and yeah. then yeah, kind of. Yeah. So yeah, you, you can see that if this was going down the center of my thumbnail, and the yellow was down the thumb, down mm -hmm. the center, then there would be a sharp line of yellow down the very center of my thumbnail, and then it would bleed off where the water is mixing from the side of the brush into that. Okay. And that's that's the big part of the, the loaded brush. This where it's already sprouted a millimeter. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll probably have a five o'clock shadow by the time I leave. No, no, around no. what? Around five o'clock, maybe. Well, yeah, but I, sh <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, shave, didn't shave all that long again. So. Um, so then, then comes the next part, and so you have to make sure as well with this that you leave enough space for your shading. Okay. Um, and the shading, obviously, a lot of this as well is light sourcing. So for this, when I was doing him, I just kind of roughly worked out uh, how much of each area I wanted to be affected by the light. So my light source was coming roughly from this direction, so you notice that so like an up and right kind of thing, similar to what I did yeah. on um, James R. So there's very little uh, yellow on this side and then it's mostly orange and mostly red actually because this side would be passed into the shadow. Mm -hmm. And then this side though is mostly yellow like over this whole area and then sort of on this area. This area could probably do with a slightly more even than I've done. But Potentially, it's direct isn't it? And then this area here is a very it's thin red line. Yeah, I mean this area here, it could go down this could be more, could be more yellow, but visually for me, I wanted to have more of a tonal variation on this because when it was just yellow, it was just too much of one color. Yeah. Um, rug up. I like that term. Good American term. No, no, not quite what you think it is. <laughs> I'm gonna appropriate that and add it to my burn of English. Oh God. Um, just to recap then. So just for those who are, yeah. if those who are messing around with lawn mowers, for example. <laughs> All right, so you start with an obvious. You so we started a, with a loaded brush. Right, which no, you was, start with a base paint. Oh, so I started with just a solid orange, and that was about five layers in the end yeah, of just solid orange so because smooth. of there being black in the, in the mixture. I mean, you can still see some of the black shining through on the back of this, where I haven't done mm -hmm. this one as many times. And you switched to a loaded brush that had the original base paint in it. And plus then, yeah, the original base paint. The reason you use that is because then it helps. It's like wet blending on the surface. Like loaded brush is kind of wet blending. Yeah on the surface of the model. Um, and you, uh, that's something I was going to get onto. Sometimes, if what we'd done here had dried out quickly in the midway through, you can wet blend to cover that line. Um, because if you glaze covering the line, you're using such a thin paint, it will the line will still show through for about 30 layers before it starts to take the edge off of it. But a wet blend, because you're just using solid blocks of color, you can just kind of mash up and make that line kind of fade out because you're using exactly. solid colors. Yeah, exactly. And then, you can just, then it's easier to glaze over that and then get your lines back afterwards. However, in this case, what you did just... In this case, it just worked. Yeah, so, so it, you know, the, it was the, easier. Loaded brush with the base and then the tip in the initial highlight color. So the loaded brush isn't necessary as well. Like the loaded brush skips some stages. Yeah. Um, the loaded brush is like, uh, it's like it's cheat you. mode glazing. Well, it's you can kind of... It's a, it assists you to make the blend because you're using the original color. On it. Uh, well, the way I was going to say it is if you if you glaze, if you imagine glaze is like a stepping system. Uh, if this is if my whole hand here is is orange from the side, mm -hmm. and then I want to do a glaze and I want to have this area is my highlight yellow point, and so I'll have to do my whole whole hand will be orange, and then I'll do the first yellow glaze. If you imagine the tip of the brush is where the glaze stops, the tip of the brush will be yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, so this will be the, the thin yellow glaze, and this will be super thin. And I'll do another one here, and another yeah, one here, yeah. and another one here, and another one here. And this will make that this yellow, at this point where it's got seven coats of yellow, will be thicker, yeah. whereas this one will be thinnest. And that's how you end up with a gradient. But with the loaded brush, 
it just creates a natural blend which gets rid of a whole bunch of these intermediate glazes I'm with you. so you can still just do it by just doing orange and then glazing like crazy it just takes a lot of extra time and if you can get the loaded brush to work it just saves you I think it might be stages. worth me trying to invest in saving some time when painting. I feel um, like I'm not the fastest painter. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> might be worth giving that a shot. Uh, I don't tend to do it the other way though. So I don't tend to do the shadows with loaded brush. Okay. Because it's so uncontrollable with what it does with the surface. And you've already just spent all this time glazing like from yellow into orange. Like it's here. Huh? Where's Blick? And... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> 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 and uh, we, we were going to have two cameras, but we both failed. Let's be yeah, we, we forgot my other camera. We, we kind of I picked up latest, and then we forgot the actual camera, so we're one camera short. So we're doing it this way, but later on we'll swap around. I've got a flick box. hat. Does that count? Yeah, poor old real shadow. Um. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, you're oh yeah. Sorry. So so if I was to load a brush this from red with orange as the base color. Then, as you can see, our yellow already went all the way down to here at our lowest point yeah. when we were glazing outwards. So you would mess that and up. And so I would end up messing up a whole bunch of this. And we'd end up with this kind of muddy colour in the middle, which was really hard to keep control of. Okay. So in this situation... So now in this situation, I'll just glaze Sweet. with the red. Get it, you get it. Um, now, is that because of the size of the... Again, this is the chat and for me. So is that because of the size of the panel, being that it's an arm, if it was something like the leg piece so here? If it was the leg piece, then I would have loaded brushed it. Yeah, so it is literally it. just the size of it. And so, there's a lot of things which are kind of feel as you go. Like, I would load a brush this side of this panel because it, orange is the, my center point here. It leaves me a lot of leeway to... Because uh, uh, this is just like pure red at the base. Yeah. And orange up the center point here, it leaves me a lot of space to go from here to here. And then yellow on the other side from here to here. Again, we've got like two separate sides with this orange neutral right. tone in the middle. And you can just kind of glaze or, like around orange so to catch the up the difference between the two. Because the neutral's bigger the surface area that it pertains it allows you to do the red into orange with a loaded brush and the yellow into an orange with a loaded brush from each direction to create yeah. this move. Yeah, so I I did the... Uh, I think I wet blended this area because of the size <coughs> of it rather than doing loaded brush. Yeah, so you just did the orange then, then or did the um, mid-turn originally then the yellow. The this orange. area I ended up with a giant tide mark halfway across and I had to wet... Yeah, you can't see it. Can't see it. There was a giant tide mark halfway across and I had to uh, wet blend on the surface. So I just took the orange and some of the red because oh and i think it might have been the yellow at the time because that was the primary color in that space or the, the mixture of colors in that space it was the colors i was trying to glaze between right and then uh, and just sort of smooshed them over the top of it so that the edges of that were as watered down as possible so for wet blending um if you wet blend uh, just take some just bring the paint. palette into the, do you want to put the there or bring, bring the surface oh, oh so this is just raw paint onto the, onto the oh, surface with you, with you. and then and then you're just sort of mixing it on the surface. And now the thing with this is that <laughs> it's, drying on your it's drying on my thumb now because yeah, yeah. I didn't put enough water on the brush. But um, so this is it. We can use this actually. Um, so assuming we want our so now now I can just mix in. <laughs> um, yeah, I see. Oh, I'm so with you yeah. see with the sol solid orange over the edge of it. Yep. And that will speed it up. If I were to glaze over that completely, but by just being, it's just, so this is a loaded brush with a blob of orange on the end. So it's loaded with, so with water. And yeah. Then, yeah. And then again, because the side of the brush has got water, it will feather it out into the center of this, and then the the brush will pick up and will soften that that tide line. There. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, okay. And then we can do the same from the other side with uh, with the yellow. So. Hey, how you doing, chaotic? Welcome. Uh, D day. Flix the latest. Can you uh, can you ask Senpai which one? I love on? this oh, show. Suppose you mean latest. What's the smallest area he'd bother to do a blend like that on? So I'm guessing like that on is probably to do with the whole shadow loading. So which one? I'm guessing he's going to mean when we're talking about the smaller areas. So he's asking what's the smallest surface area he's bothered to do a blend. So like are we that talking on? about wet blending, or are we talking I about the original loaded glaze? Blending? Blending. So the original glaze. Um, something like this is probably the limit of it. So these okay. these smaller armor panel, these smaller arm panels um, here, mm -hmm. I'd be tempted to wet blend. Uh, sorry, to load a brush maybe this panel, but definitely not these smaller panels inside. And this panel's nice and easy because it's a nice big curved forearm fan brace. So it gives me a central point that I can clearly see that I'm I'm glazing up to on either side. Um, is that also to do with accessibility? Because you can clearly get to the shoulder pad there. Yeah, I mean it, it makes a difference. So I always think of 
the uh, the loaded brush as it's just a, a shortcut technique more than anything. It just helps you not have to make as many glazes. Okay. Um, this would be easier to paint if this guy's arm were not attached to his body. And this is a, a practicality thing. I was in the habit of putting models together completely for years, and so I still quite often paint them uh, as whole models. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you can easily get to it, because it's all about the angle of where the brush is approaching the model. Um, chaotic, hey, doing welcome. First time here, awesome. Uh, looking to get back into painting. Well, this would be perfect for it. This is a <laughs> starting guide into a painting technique called glazing with a guest from another streamer. So this is Latheus, who's on camera currently. This is not his normal stream. Nope. Um, I need to do an exclamation mark Latheus whilst we're talking about this. I'm usually painting things like this guy. Mm, there you go. So that's his own work, not mine. Uh, and, uh, and we're helping, here helping Flick. So yeah, this is my channel um, normally, and if you want to go and follow latest on that link I just posted, and you can see more stuff like this. Who would you like me to show off? I can show off some of your dudes. Oh no, don't show my stuff off. Not after <laughs> yours. There's no way I can follow that beautiful thing. Oh, I mean, well then, welcome. Yes, yeah. Um, it's done. Oh, I'm making sure that all the alerts are working. Christ, I can't actually hear the alerts. I just suddenly realised. <laughs> there you go. Chaotic just follows. He just followed. I didn't see it. I'm here, I'm, I'm here trying to learn to sculpt as well. Okay, making a mini as we speak. Well, sculptors, eh? Sculptors, eh? I can help yeah. you out there, my friend. So you're going to glaze? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't sculpt. <laughs> Sculpting. There we go. There's some sculptors for you. Go work right. those guys. So um, loaded, loaded glaze. Yep. And this is the other thing that's quite different with the way the glazing's done traditionally. Um, I've had to leave up my brush too long, so I'm going to clean it off the start Torches again. with a random freaking promotion. He's lucky it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I've done it. Don't uh, worry. Uh, carry on. So, so traditionally when you do glazing, you'll fill the whole brush. So when you saw when we did the loaded brush at the start, and I filled the whole of the, uh, I filled the whole of the bristles with the orange, oh, and then oh, I... Fuck it. Let's do that. There you go. <laughs> for this, let's just do that. <laughs> the whole, it's, yeah, it's because yeah. I'm seeing a slight <laughs> angle, so it's just easier this way. And the pal palette's over here as well. Um, when uh, Traditionally when you do a glaze, you fill, you fill the whole of the bristles with the orange, for example. Like this. And so, the whole thing is a glaze. Like, you have orange all through the brush, and it'll help you cover a larger surface area. Okay. This is, this, is a bad, this is a bad example of glazing. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> this now looks I'm, like my glazing. Now I'm just cleaning the brush on my fingernail for no reason. <laughs> but um, with, the, with the loaded brush, you still do that, but then you put the paint on the tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carry on. Scott's being facetious. I moved you. Um, <laughs> uh, that's my train of thought. Oh, sorry. You were talking about shadows. Um, oh, so, so normal glazing. Sorry. Yeah, normal glazing, you fill the whole brush and then... Uh, and then we take the evolution of that and then we use that for the uh, for the loaded brush. But then for the way I do glazing is I do loaded brush glazing, which is what I was saying before. So instead of having the whole brush full of liquid, you, you treat it the same way you treat it as a loaded brush, except okay. water is now your main medium. Your main medium, would you? Because that's how you're glazing off into a nice fine... Because the water's allowing you to do it as a soft nice trip see through, yeah. Okay, cool. So now we uh, I have to make sure my brush is nice and clean. Uh, I'll make, make sure the point is nice and sharp, and uh, I'm going to go into the, the red. I'm just going to take a tiny amount, just make sure there's a little bit in the tip of the brush. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can barely even see it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely less than I thought. And then uh, we just start right down on the edge. And I'm just removing a little bit of paint, mm -hmm. and I'm not doing, it, yeah. not doing it quite fast enough because of the distance. I'm used to painting slightly closer. And now I've added too much water, so you can see how we've got a tide mark instead down here. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Is that right? Oh my god, your eyes are better than mine. <laughs> so yeah. what I'd have to do here is let this dry, because it's wet. And uh, I can't actually see... Oh, it's alright. No, it's bad. No, I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm just waiting to see if it's dry. And then uh, go back over it again, because oh, there's I still see. the stuff on the brush. Yeah, I see. Okay. And then but again, this is where you're obviously distracted, you're talking, and all that so it's fine. But and so, so we can correct the, uh, the tide mark. Again, mm -hmm. and then I just take, I sort of water down the brush, and at this point this is kind of a glaze. It's not a loaded tip glaze, I'm just making sure there's some orange in the brush. A very, very small amount. And because the line is already a very faint one, I can just go very slightly over that line, uh, and that I will see. help mask it slightly. That's very cool. When it's, when it's a really fine line, so you always have to think of 
the problem you're trying to cover up, you, you respond to it with an equal amount of force. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if it's a really small line, then you're using an almost imperceptible amount of paint to cover it, and you'll do that maybe two or three times if it doesn't cover it the first time. If, you, if you're painting your yellow to orange transition and it dries right off the bat and you get this big sharp yellow line halfway down here, then that's when you have to respond with like a wet blend to cover okay. up because it's a much harsher line to cover. Yeah. And so if it's a thin thin glaze line, that's a very, very tiny one, like you, you shouldn't be able to see that now. I don't think it will show up on the camera. No, no. <laughs> it should well, just no. look like a transition now. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, <coughs> and so yeah, that's pretty much it. I've sort of quickly refreshed the brush. Do the other side. And so for the same thing, I'm angling my, uh, angling my brush so that the tip goes into the, the very sort of the direction where we're push, pushing the paint and then the water is like fading out across the surface where we want the, the glaze to go across. Mm -hmm. And so I'm only doing a very small amount there just because it's more, more to kind of help give definition between where these two armor plates meet than there being any actual shadow. There should be shadow here but it's really hard to get shadow into that space. I think it's already. And it's just a very small amount of red then, it just helps give you a little bit of three dimensionality to that I surface. think it's the amount of paint. I think it was one of the major things I was doing wrong with mine. I was putting water onto the wet palette when I was mixing my colours, so I was rather than doing like you're doing, which is loading the brush and then using it, I was putting so water onto it. So I pretty it. much just use water for cleaning the brush off. Okay. I very rarely use it for thickening what I'm doing, because that's where the spit comes in. Yeah. Because <laughs> you get moisture from your brush, uh, from your tongue, like just that, like running yeah. over your tongue once, gives you enough moisture that you can do most of this glazing because you're only working with you're working with like less than a millimeter's worth of paint. It's not even that. Like you can see, if I if I show you this here, like you, you can't see how much you can't see how much red is on the brush visibly. But if I do this, you can see there's red on the surface. It comes out. And it's yeah. a really tiny amount, but that's literally what we're painting with to do glazes at this level. I mean, that's that's one of the fundamentals I think that I was missing. I can zoom in to see that. Cool. Yeah, so it's a really tiny thing, and you can also see very slightly how. Uh, just the nature of this. You can also see how it glazes. There's like a sharp line where the brush oh, yeah. had the paint on the tip and you can see how it naturally glazes off over the surface and gets painter and painter. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's blending into the water that was down the body of the brush. That's very cool. That's one of the key... Any excuses to lick paint? Definitely random. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so if I let you continue on after that, we've done, we've done our highlight and the shadow. So that, just... that's the whole panel. And then from there, I just edge line and then black line and it's done. Well, if you want to carry on doing Repeat. that, oh, yeah, do the panels on the arm and do that bit of it. Well, I'm going to go and do the zenithal on the bike. I think the bike would be a good place for me to learn some large panels. Okay. We can do some, just a part of it, you know, we can yeah. just do it. So know. this is the bike, if you, uh, yeah, go on. This, bike go on. Part of it. this guy's, this guy's quite good for, um, <coughs> like showing curves of surfaces and things because these, these nice rounded areas, they're really good for putting the brush like yeah. round, but I'm visualizing this. Something when you're keeping in mind is that as it moves, you need to make sure like the brush is staying at the angle where you want the blend to go across the surface. Oh, I see. So if I go, if I start off here and I blend outwards, mm -hmm. then you're at this point. You're now on a sharp tip. You're no longer on a. a you're no longer edge. on yeah. a blend. You're so you have to be careful with it. Yeah. yeah, you have to be careful with it. That's quite. That's another thing. I don't want to fall that. Um, and also, yeah, I guess when you're saying about softness to a degree, um, part of the fact that. Um, by by the just the very nature of the fact that when I've got the paint on the tip, like there's going to be the most paint hitting the surface when it first hits. There, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, it's well, fine. There's the most paint hitting the surface when it first goes on, and then by the time you get to about here, there'll be yeah. hardly any because you're then pretty much painting just with what's in the the brush. Yeah, well, and so you don't have to push really hard because all you end up doing if you push really hard is it will just bend the tip of your brush and you'll just end up with it going in random directions. Yeah, like that's what again. So I this way you're brush. always just controlled of where it's going. And I'm only I only ever paint in like this space, like a, a little a tiny space. Because I have my hands anchored against the desk, and I usually have my fingertips anchored against each other as well, and against the model, so that everything is. Uh, um, I had to lurk a bit controlled. after a horrible night in Massachusetts hotel. Oh, in a motel. Oh no, I needed to get. A, I need a bit. Get a bit of a laugh. I do a great stream. I'll be sure to check out the full screen when I get to Pennsylvania. No worries, man. Thanks for popping in. Somerset. Um, the lovely snow there. Well, how you doing, Beamington? Welcome, man. Uh, there should be shadow here. I'm right here. Oh, it's always about him, isn't it? Always about him. I have to apologize. I'm not looking at the chat. So. No, it's all right. I, got it. I was just letting you carry on. I didn't want to interrupt. So. Focus on talking about That's things. That's cool. Uh, anything to then. Good, good for showing curves. Oh, yeah. AV Skicks got the last one I'm doing non metallic metal. Yeah, I did see you say you were doing an infinity bike. Well, this was the one that was uh, Tegonazole's um, suggestion. So. Actually, a different bike to yours, I think. 
Because it How doesn't have. It? His one has panels down has the sides. Is he got the cyber one? I haven't seen it in paint. Oh no, it's the same one. Okay, I was looking at it from the other side because yeah. his one has these panels down the sides. So. Yeah, so that's the and same one. I was looking one. for that on the other side. We've got the other bike we could do, but this is the one that I said we'd do next. I just figured that I've not even put it together. So yet. I, I love this part of the Infinity Bikes, but I don't like this part of Infinity Bikes. Yeah. Like this part here. Kind of I really wish it was like like spokes and springs. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that one. Like Either that or like a, a big a big armoured piece or something. Like more like a Kira bikes maybe. Well, the other bike is. I just thought like they're kind of a wavy shape. <laughs> so this is this is that one that we're talking about now, but the other one is this one. So that one's more of a Tron style thing. So yeah. again, if I bring this into chat, please. That's not like I said. We can always set this one. If we think this one's better for panels and then Scott's more. Right. No, this one's definitely better. You reckon? Yeah. Because this one you've got a selection. When we were talking before about different surface types for lighting, this one's got flats and curves. Yeah, I don't think this has got as many curves. Um, I don't yeah. think this has got any circles. Circles. So cylinders, sorry. Uh, right, spheres, sorry. Spheres. So yeah, all, almost all your lighting surfaces, and this yeah. is something we picked up from the non-metallic metals, and that's uh, all your surfaces can be broken down into either flat surfaces, sphere, spherical surfaces, or cylindrical surfaces, and the light responds differently to how each of these are done. Is this how you did the orange, Eugene? Yes. Sure this guy? Yeah, all the, all the stuff I'm talking about here is all how we did this guy. This is why, uh, this is why I'm here. Flick would like to know how I painted this guy. I'm trying to steal all the energy and all the cleverness and all the steel um, and all the skills. As I say, it's, it's a whole mixture of things. So quite often I would start each panel with, like this panel for example, I started it off with a loaded brush of yellow into orange with a base layer of orange over the whole thing. And then uh, added more sort of uh, glazes if I needed to sort of correct where the loaded brush didn't necessarily blend smoothly from one side into the other. And then the same from the back. It would be then just the opposite with red going into orange. And the freehand was painted on at the very end with the, the numbers and things. Looks a hell of a lot more red. Well, unfortunately, it does look more red, but I'm not sure we can do that without making your hands work. <laughs> that's fine. Is, I, don't that's, I think that's fairly true too, other than. It looks very red on my stream, and sometimes it looks very yellow. And it's funny because it's, it's like, well, it is kind of primarily orange, but there is lots of red and yellow in it. <laughs> it can make it brighter, but that's about it. It's not really bright, is it? I'm trying to look at it. And... I wouldn't worry too much about my hands, like, uh, whatever the true colours of the model are. I can tell me, like, too red. We want to bring the yellows up, don't we, really? That's what it actually is. I don't just hate the cat. This is my studio now, Shaden. I think that's about right, in honesty. It's just like it's just Yeah, that's all good. Like there, I wouldn't like... worry about the hands either. There you go. That's the this the stream. Wow. Oh, Thanks, Shaden. <laughs> so yeah, so we've, we've been uh, going through step by step. Uh, with this guy, and that's how we've done a whole armor panel, and then it would just be the same for the other areas. So I'd have to decide whether this is a cylinder, a sphere, or a, a flat. And for this, it's probably a sphere, which means that my light source is in the center towards the where the light's coming from, and then uh, it bleeds outwards into the different colors out towards the different edges. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, you gluing. Yeah, well, if you carry on just talk to this room and do a normal stream on solo for a bit, I will. <laughs> normal stream solo. You know what I mean? Just carry on doing the arm, do the three panels there or something, uh, walking through it. Okay. And I will set this up. Say. So... I also missed the first ever follow with the new alert. I'm quite upset about that. Never mind. So I'm just correcting very slightly where the orange, uh, where the red went onto the other armor panel. Because I want to have complete control over what colours are on the bases with each space. And if you're painting over a different colour, so if I'm painting over red, with a, even though it's one of the colours I want to use on the surface, so there was a small amount of red on there, so yeah. even though there was, I want to have red on this panel at some point, I don't want to have to paint my other colours over red anyway, so, so I'd make it orange right. again. So you bring it back to the base colour so you don't disrupt it? Yeah. I love this show. And then this is only going to have a very small amount of stuff happening on it because it's a very, very small panel. So now I'm just going to be doing the, the, the wet glaze. Oh, sorry, the blended glaze. No. Too many names. Loaded brush glaze. This is the problem when you start combining techniques. It all gets a bit muddy. <laughs> so it's, the brush is primarily water and with just a tiny bit of paint on the very tip. A very, very small amount of paint. And this will give us the, uh, the effect we're aiming for. And again, I'm just putting the tip of the brush at the point where I want the main colour of the yellow to be, and then letting the uh, 
the water in the body of the brush, blend it out sideways across the surface of the panel. So it's drying nice and quickly actually, so I can keep doing multiple layers over it. Yeah, this studio does get pretty warm, so it does dry pretty um, quick. One thing that does happen here is that uh, you can then uh, you can also stipple very small amounts of colour if you're aiming to try and up the highlight in a certain space. Like when you saw where I added the yellow down this this line at the beginning here, mm -hmm. um, you can stipple very small amounts to try and break that line up very slightly. So then bring so the highlight to one edge higher than the other. That makes sense. No, no. So if the line was a sharp line down the middle and you're not aiming it to be like a polished reflection. Oh, yeah. If you just want it to be like light dappling onto the surface rather than it just being uh, like yeah. chrome, then uh, by by, dappling, by by stippling very very small amounts of paint onto that sharp line, it will just help you break up the line very slightly. Mm -hmm. Hey, I made today's stream. Don't think I was going to make it today. What's today's stream about? Where is Flick? I'm here. <laughs> Flick is here. We're we just, just uh, yeah. We, we're, we're a camera down. We planned to have an additional camera, but uh, things happened that meant that we forgot it. Basically, we're, we're tutorialing. So we're going through a 101 glazing kind of thing, starting up from a zenithal light and going through with um, the same color setup, basically, not exactly the same, but very similar, um, that Lathius used on his stream uh, to do the Yujing. Um, and the big Guija. It is a Guija, isn't it? Is it is a Guija. Guija. It has an extra eye that I didn't realize was there for a long time. Oh, really? But, yeah. Guija. So yeah, we're going through that and he's trying to Flick is out of shot, tied to a chair, yeah. My stream now. <laughs> he has 20 monitors and only two cameras. Technically, I have four cameras, but one doesn't work. I, I could do that, actually. That's what I could do. There we go. That's not a bad idea, Scott. Well done, Scott. I like that, Scott. Good idea, Scott. <laughs> Let's bring me in by a random crappy camera. Palette cam flick? No, not the palette cam. The one from gaming. That one. That you probably didn't even see. <laughs> it's terrible then. So now we're just correcting the different colours. Again, this is always a very, very tiny amount of paint. Yeah, and most of the, uh, it's mostly just water. Who is Latheus? I am Latheus. Who is uh, Latheus? Oh, well, I can solve that. I am another streamer here on Twitch. <laughs> uh, I also paint. I painted this guy, and, uh, and so we're helping Flick with uh, with some bits and pieces. I really want to fix this. I got another follow three minutes ago, and I didn't even see it. Can someone confirm? Is the actual follow alert coming up, or are we out of? Um, is it us, or is the cam out of focus? Let's have a look. Let's uh, do a do a bit of production value. Uh, let's bring to it. I think it's moving, I'll blame you. In the meantime. <laughs> yeah, I have knocked it once. What am I doing? Someone presses on completely wrong. And then we do some stuff on this knee where I chipped it off the other day. So you get like the back of my head, but I guess that kinda helps. There you go. <laughs> there you go, that's an extra camera. Um, yes, Felix, the floor is showing and glorious. Yes! New photo. <laughs> See, look, extra cam. Yeah. Genius idea, this. Should have thought about that earlier. Thank you, Scott. Oh, don't drop these. Prop. Um, Felix is now Miss, Mrs. Lethius, yeah. No, I am Spartacus. <laughs> My online wife. Um, following alert to win. That didn't quite work as planned, either. Mrs. Lethius, welcome to the stream. Mate, it's 1 a.m. I'm knackered. Where are the ears, Flick? Gone, burned, destroyed. What is this beanie fashion show? It was a joke. Latius was supposed to be me, so he was wearing my beanie, which was clean, by the way, um, <laughs> uh, and started the stream as me. That was the kind of thing. It's April Fools. It's the first of the month. So yeah, we greeted you as if I were Flickster at the start of the stream. That was it. We pretended as if it was just a normal stream, but Latius was here. Um, and like I say, if you do exclamation mark Latius at any point during the stream, you can find out who this lovely man is. Go to his channel, give him a follow. I'm sure you all know who he is. However, if you don't, he is here giving us a glazing overview. It's like a really, really budget version of, of um, Ben Comets. Ben Comets and the <laughs> other guy, isn't it? The painting Buddha. It's like a really ghetto version of the two guys on the internet. <laughs> Never mind. 
Now we just need the captain to walk in. Wait, what? You should do another scene where you put cat ears in a bucket and set them on fire. Oh, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Oh, did I just hit a thing? I don't know. I thought you hit oh, a I hit keys, piece of paper. Now we're good. Yeah, okay, I'm fixing, <laughs> fixing all the chips and things on this. Yeah, go for it. Right. Although now I'm on camera, I have to go, I have to go and set up that bike in crap it and prime it. So horrendous camera will be there. What's going on? Yeah. So uh, my stream now. <laughs> my stream now. Mine now, Dave. <laughs> I see him. I love Dave. Hello Dave. <laughs> Hello Dave. Hello Dave. <laughs> they're so they're so pop culture that they would have Twitter. No, no. <laughs> it's yeah. just us going on for one. <laughs> it's Bob Lathros, indeed. Flickster, um, I I did just pop in and saw Lathan and thought it was you until he spoke and I was suddenly confused. <laughs> it's the hat. It's the hat. Camouflage. That and the fact that we shaved our massive beard off like yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, it was like early this morning. I think well, it's probably what happened, more. You see, I saw you were you were slowly but surely becoming a homeless person with your big beard. So I thought I'd go over and save you. Prom was convinced I had something growing, like an animal. Just <laughs> 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 oh, look at thank you, Shadow. Appreciate that, man. Hey, look, look, you got you got a bit cup. Oh yeah. Although Ooh. technically it's got all the tests I was doing last night, so it's full of random stuff. So I empty the no, I can't empty it now. Cheers, cheers with the bits cut. Yeah, that's it. Don't drink the paint water. <laughs> the paint water has hardly any paint in it. Yeah, that's the. That's, this is the thing. Like, you can notice how little paint I'm using because if you look at the, uh, if you look at <laughs> all the painting we've been doing, and this is how much paint has actually made its way onto the thing after cleaning the brush. We're using wow. such a small amount of paint. Yeah. Like the thickest bit is this orange, which is because I was doing the base layer with the orange. Well, the other thing as well, as I think, bear in mind, is when I'm I do it, like I said to you, because I'm mixing on the palette. I use a crappy brush, this horrendous thing here, it was the mixing one. So I end up having my water, that's why I've got two water pumps. You notice one was bigger, one was smaller. Because the bigger one I just used to mix the water, the mixing brush off. Yeah. And I'm using this one for the actual brush. So that yeah. makes a massive difference. So the, this panel here in the in the arm, it's like this muscle is minute. What does that sound? Is it gone? Uh, this muscle in the, the arm here is minute. So I'm not even going to try and blend or anything like that. I'm just going to stick a little bit of yellow in the raised area. So and then there's, there's some orange either side of it. And then most people's eyes aren't that sensitive, they won't. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry about it when it's that small. That's the kind of stuff that I don't do, that's why I was painting the same model for four weeks. <laughs> Swedish Minish Mafia is now following your stream. <laughs> Watch your own Wait, movie. What? Oh, sounds no, Viking it. Sounds no, it good. Is. Sounds good. Oh. Bitch boom, he bombed the cup. He has bombed the cup. Thank you, Shadow. So I usually stream during the daytimes, which is why you might not have seen me before. Yes, indeed. Let's, let's make sure that becomes a thing, actually. Whilst I'm doing some production value. I used to stream from 1pm until 5pm GMT. And sometimes we hand over to Flick. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the other wonderful painters here. But, uh, we quite often find us lurking everywhere. <laughs> Yeah? It's so good. Different compared to what I used to do. Bear in mind I used to look up there. Yeah. The whole time. Like, yeah. Now I've had a view of the notification that appears all the time. Oh. Yeah, let me just change the command. What's the undesolated one? <laughs> yeah. Shadow, Shadow's got uh, an affiliation with Bits. I, mean, I think we might have to have an intervention. He, he, he loves them so. He's playing with them a lot. We, we appreciate it. We love them. but. So Shadow likes playing with his bits. He loves playing with bits. Not just playing with his bits, he likes to in play public. with bits in public, in front of ladies as well. I know, I know. I, shouldn't I, be allowed. As a friend, I feel like, as friends, we should both, all right. I think. So you notice that this was all, <laughs> this was just all flat out glazing. Um, oh, well, sorry, the... I the, love the, this the show. ...water brush glazing. Uh, and now I'm going back to filling my brush with orange again, because I'm going to do a proper like, loader brush. Got the uh, yellow uh, on the tip. How can we order a Lithia's in the US to do tutorial? Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of driving. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure quite how that works. 
Wow. So it's lots, lots of, uh, lots of plane tickets and things. And we get another alert. Um, so I'm going to yes. put this. Tiage likes Lee. Woo! So, the alert's working. I need to have some audio. I need to have it again. Oh, no. Took too long. Paint's already drawing. Oh, is it? Give me two okay. seconds. Let me, let, I want to hear the alert again. Because now people are actually yeah. following. This is very kind. Um, Tease likely, thank you for the follow. And I think that, uh, I'm sorry if I'm missing your follows, but we haven't got. No, I've just put my headphones in to hear them, so I don't see them. And we're just chat, looking at the chat up there rather than the preview down here, so apologies. I'm going to repeat it. I want to see this. Come on, too far. Don't be rubbish. Don't be rubbish. It's being rubbish. I, I hit the repeat button, I'm sure I did. Oh, well, never mind. Next time, I'll have to wait for it now. I'm going to hold the, I'm going to sit here into the ear until I hear someone follow and go, yeah. Okay, right, so this is one thing that can happen. All right, that's good. If you, uh, if you do a loaded brush, uh, like we've done here, mm -hmm. and all you'll see is it's made the central area, area paler, because what's happened is the yellow has mixed with the, the orange so much that all it's done is just made the orange one tone lighter, okay. rather than giving us a yellow center. And uh, you'll see... Well, was it enough yellow? Once it, no, no, there's plenty of yellow. It's just it's natural because we're pushing sort of inwards and all the way around. Because you have to... It's a spherical surface, so you have to approach it from all the sides. That means that it has more brush interaction, so it's more likely to blend together when it's doing it. Okay. Um, and so this will happen. You know, just have to wait for this to dry, and then... Oh, oh, oh one second, one second. I love this show. Yes, that's so good. Amazing. Spider, thank you so much for the follow, man, and for testing the new alert. That's the first time I've actually heard it. You're not the first one to use it, but the first time I've, I've heard it and the timing and seen it being done. So thank you so much. Welcome um, to the stream, man. And then yeah. usually I would still leave that as the base because it still gives us a transition. And then I would then change that into a, a loaded glaze instead. So you're adding the same amount of yellow. So then it's then yellow, but I've right. made it now it's just yeah. water. And then I would just focus on that again on the top and then just sort of so we're coming in from the Are you sides. pulling from the center out to do the sphere? Kind so of I'm kind of pushing right. with the center. So I'm pushing in a circle on the center of where I want the circle raised area to be and turning around as I go. And then I'm kind of smudging with the edge of the brush where the water is, the point where that yellow joins the other color. Okay, so most of the focal point is still at the top. And as you're rotating the miniature, you're, you know, as you say, putting right by more pressure so the more fluid comes out of the brush and therefore smooth the edge. Well, it's, it's more the angle like rather than the pressure because it's still um, like when you see how the brush is applied to my finger there mm -hmm. you can see the yellow and about take time, see, see. Uh, you can see like the yellow and about half a millimeter you can't yeah. see the tip of the brush because it's so tiny <laughs> and about half a millimeter of the actual side of the bristles where there wasn't any paint is the part that's touching the model so that's the small lean back lean back come on freaking knew it with torches you can't hear it. I got, it's got to lean back in the ear. <laughs> so I get all the alerts. Yeah, you actually have to lean back. <laughs> <laughs> we should time out Miyako on ticket by time. Yeah, we should actually. We actually win something. Yeah. Little lass has come in and, and, and won all the things, it seems. It's quite the knack. But it's fine. In fact, on that note, all the things are being packed up and all of them will be posted on Monday. So Monday, everything that was won Saturday last will go. It was supposed to go this week, but no, work was work. But packages will be meant. Everything will be on, on and I will give you all tracking numbers on Monday, uh, on Sunday evening, slash Monday. So this is a thing you can salvage sometimes. Hey, doing Von Grunt? Welcome, man. If you, get, if you get a tide mark midway through, which you missed it because yeah, I missed that. Sorry, I was doing. No, no, it's not a problem. The um, I did the red here. And uh, I ended up with a very tiny red line down here. Okay. And now because it was still wet, it hadn't completely dried, I was able to take a very quick amount of orange onto the brush and then go over it. And we ended up with a wet blend over that seam, because which is similar really to the seams that we yeah. were talking about before. Because it was a harder seam, I was able to wet blend it out. And is that because the transition itself is, well is shorter distance? So if you look at the red at the end of that shoulder pad, it's quite strong. And then the orange and the yellow, they're not covering as much surface area. Does that make sense? So you can wet blend in that smaller space? Or no, um, no so wet blending doesn't really have a, a bigger or little space, I guess. It's more okay. about timing, I think it's just timing it. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. I got a Viking nose. Thank you very much, Viking. Appreciate that, man. And this is the uh, the other thing. I had to do a second, or I did another. After I corrected it, I then did another red glaze over the top of it again. Okay. Just to then make, make this, uh, make the transition better because obviously every time you correct something think of it as a fresh surface 
So if you make a mistake and then have to go back over it like I did here with the orange, and then I had to then reglaze very slightly this red area, and then I I didn't actually bother with the yellow because I glazed down into the red rather than up into the yellow. Because the yellow transition was untouched, and unfazed by that the yeah. tide mark. You mean, yeah, because yeah, the tide mark was over the orange at the bottom where the yep. uh, part where the yellow glaze had finished. Yeah, there's a bit of glue left on this moment from last time. Um, I'll call Lathe's over ears indeed. Okay, we're pressing up and Lathe's low tone. We've got like... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I can't do that. No, no, no. Hey, matey. I said a hey, you matey in chat before we started. We were seeing if people would pick up on it. Yeah. Before there was any, uh, before there was any visuals. Has Latheus got a chance to rate Catman on stream? Ooh, I'm not sure I want. I don't know about that. I'm nervous. Get an actual rating. I mean, obviously Latheus has seen the miniatures that are here. They are, what, the last, what, four that I've done are all here. So they've had scrutiny and feedback. All right, so <laughs> see how I've blobbed yellow on there. Blobbed? No, I didn't see how you blobbed it. Did you see, see the yellow here? Oh, yeah, okay. Like, it's not a line, but now I've taken too long. So. Sorry. Seize the moment. Um, and so now I've just, I'm just going to do a, a load of glaze to fix it. Okay. Um, because I don't want to go down into the red because the red is already fine. But this helps me because I was painting the yellow. So if I'm glazing back up with the fixture of the orange into the yellow. Right. So yeah, I see. So, it's, it's just so whilst you originally did the ish error with the yellow, you're using the base orange to go back into that. Yeah. Way. Right. Yep. Um, trying to work out how we can do this. I think I just had a tiny bit of too much paint on the brush. You can see there was like a, a tiny ball of paint on the brush just then. Yeah. And this is something you have to watch out for. When you're painting with such a fine amount of paint, you can still see it, Rose. I don't know if you can see it uh, on the I camera. Can zoom it in for them, give me a second. There's a very. Well, I got rid of kind of some of it, but. No, there's a very small. There you can see it there. Small ball of paint on the tip of the bristles, and you kind of have to just sort of pop that off sometimes. I've done that a few times Little paint nugget. <laughs> Yarp. And those can be a real. Or a pain in the ass when you're painting because they'll uh, they'll just build up more paint on them and then sometimes just fall off onto the uh, onto the model when you're painting. It's very inconvenient. You have to understand, of course, the latest is working in a foreign setup. There's in there's stuff in the way, gadgets and gizmos and tech and stuff. So it's not his normal comfort zone. So you won't be seeing you know the best you can. This is more about guidance for us, for me, for you guys. So don't expect highest work, just expect, you know, we're just trying to give you an explanation of what's used and you can then go and apply that to yourself, to your own miniatures. I'm going to be attempting to do this with his guidance as well, so at one point we will swap over once I actually get the miniature done and uh, prepped. And uh, Lathe will be laughing as I try and do the same thing to a similar level. So my, hopefully my best attempt is going to be his worst attempt and that'll be a good place to start, I feel. <laughs> um... Right, so on the other side of the arm to be more red than anything. So I've actually done the red as the main colour here, and then I just did a tiny bit of a yellow glaze on the top. Man, people are, but we want that flick bit. Oh no. People want you to talk about my minutes. So when we get a break, whilst I'm prepping something, maybe you can go through and critique mine. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing, but... Um, got my expansion stuff for Test of Honor, awesome. The moulding on the, on the Geisha, on the Geisha model is nearly perfect. Oh, awesome, man. Just a tiny mould line on the flat surface of the robe, and that's it. We'll get a photo, Gren. Let us know. Let us see what it is. Okay, so that's pretty much done. On this side. And the glazing and stuff. Cool. Uh, now I do the black lining next. Okay, well, black lining. Um, black lining. And then I do the uh, the edge lining after that. Because then. So you black line first and use the edge line so to tidy it up. Do the black line and then use the edge line to tidy it up slightly. Okay. Because you might need to do re uh, color mixing with glazes and things to tidy up the black Did you bring line. your triple with you to do the edge lining? No, I could do it with this brush. Do you want to use the triple from the miniature? The same thing. Uh, I can try it. Any of them, really? Because I. Uh, are you more than you to black paint some Yeah, I've got multiple. Do you want the, the matte one from Vallejo is there? Yeah, the Abaddon is there. Yeah, matte black's the usual. Well, right I usually on. use these because they uh, I go through black and white more than any of the other colours. Okay. And so uh, buying them in bulk from Vallejo is definitely the way forward. Yes. Right, now I'm going to drill and do things where the. And I've got the bike onto the uh, little port. Now, to the point, how the hell do I drill a bike? Like, 
For the tires, I guess. Can you buy a leaf? Flickster, can I buy a leaf off you for 1,400 flickets? <laughs> Do you think you'll get such, such a cheap amount of flickets? How very dare you. Um, I I'm not it. safe. What's that? It sits on the, on, on the tire lower there, yeah? It's so slightly, is it slightly at an angle? Because you have to factor in where her leg is, one of her feet reaches the floor, I believe. No, oh, I've not put her together. I'm just wedging that together. What I might then do, I, just, I might just put it one through the chassis here. Oh, I can't really. I have to cover it up again. Shit. What? Shit. <laughs> Why? Why would you want me to strangle him? It's very unfair. That's what Shayton's like. Shayton's mean to me, man. Real mean. Combine flickets and split custody. I'm not a wayward child. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you guys think about me. And I know I need a little shepherding occasionally to remember what day it is and other similar things. But uh, Upside down might even work rather than that way and just put that. But like, a pin in each. Yeah, I'm just going to put a pin in each freaking tire. Screw it. Yeah, do that. Probably safer. It's safer, isn't it? Right, so. Just be careful you don't go through that tire. Well, I only wanted a little bit. Like, three mil in each one, I think. Then I'll have it on this at that level, and I can just paint it. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I'm not putting it this together for now. I'm not going to put the handlebars on right now. I'm just going to crack on like this. I think. Um, let's back them up. It's just for me. It's a panel. What do you think about learning, for teaching me surfaces? We want to use this. Curved so area. you don't, you don't really care about no. like all of it. You just want to do a couple of panels. So, so when you're doing this sort of glazing as well, like you definitely want to focus on it panel by panel. You want to do each part individually because otherwise you'll get distracted by how you think the lights go. Yeah. Okay. So. So if we do this piece here, so curve. you probably want to do. I'm just wrecking the scenery. You probably want to uh, do this side and around. So we do this side like Scott did. So you can do this this curve panel and this curve panel and then these flat panels around here. Okay. And we don't actually have a, a sphere on there. I guess you could do that as a sphere, but I see that more as kind of I don't know, kind of a cylinderish column. Yeah. We could do a sphere on something. So is, separate is Scott anyway. streaming this bike exactly? He's indeed making that bike. Right, so. There was a picture of it on, uh, on the Discord the other day. Which, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Discord, yeah, good call. You, should, uh, nice. you should definitely go and check it out. Uh, there's some guys who are new in the chat. And uh, there's a huge yeah. community of Minter Painters here on Twitch. And uh, lots of lovely people. And you should head over there. Whoa, well, did we just get a big car? Oh, we did. We did indeed. From. They were from nasty. Say, hey, where are you at from? Say hello. Hey, from. This is my stream now. <laughs> Hey, bro, thank you so much for the host, man. I appreciate that. Welcome over. Sorry we didn't get to catch your stream. I had to go and pick up a wayward Latheus. <laughs> I get lost, I wonder. It just happens. Yeah, I, I got lost. I don't know what I was Right, so... We forgot the second camera. Yeah, we failed. Which improvement. Which is why we in this one. So we're here, to, we're here to show off this guy. We're not quite show off. We're here to paint stuff like... Wow, like, from! Like this guy. Um... As, uh, as Flick was asking about glazing and, uh, and wet blending and loaded brush, and that's the combination of techniques that we use for this guy. So, uh, so we've been painting those on this arm for this guy so far. And you can see that's uh, so how we go. But I would need to do a, a load more base painting to actually carry on with them. So I'd need to uh, do several layers of orange to be able to get a, a coverage which would go over the black nicely. I'll leave him there from the corner. That? Greatest stream upgrade ever. You see the animal escape from face? It did from. Don't worry. Three weeks, it'll be back. It doesn't take very long for it to regrow. Everyone's so freaking mean to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start banning mean people. <laughs> it's cool. They only love me for my beard. Uh, which is gone now. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, time to retire. <laughs> I'll be back in three weeks, guys. So. That's it, yeah. Three weeks off again. Grow back. I'm sorry. To be fair, I knew there would be some uh, some feedback about the beard. It's <laughs> making you beard out of bits. <gasps> yes, yes, we did indeed shave. Oh, those bits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there sure. he goes, making bits. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> Where's the um? Oh, yeah. All right. See if we can do. I love this show. Prepping and cleaning and tidying. So, oh my god, I feel so short now. Let's see if I can do edge lining while I'm uh, using a double zero instead of a triple. Truck made is just follows. 
It just come up. Oh, did I miss the alert, or is it just doing a thing again? Is the alert really slow? One beat, one bit equals one hair. That's a lot of bits required, my friend. Well, you did see how big my beard was before, Shadow. You realise what a mission you're undertaking there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if made so that come up. Thank you for, thank you for the follow, my friend. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, this will be weird. I feel a bit weird you. thanking people yeah. on your stream. Well, next time it's on yours. What's that? Oh, no, I'm not, I don't want to stream oh, okay. gaming. Of, uh, of thingy. Just an idea of like, ding, ah, ding, that's, ding. that's what's on here. There's, have you got any needle nose tweezers? Needle nose tweezers. These are nearly, nearly needle nose. Yeah, that's like the closest you're going to get at this point. If the wire is there's a, good rub some. There's a hair on the back, which is. It's a brush hair. Oh my god. Um, Shadow's helping you get some more. Uh, <laughs> you're trying to regrow my. What is he doing? I just have to I'm sit here and... with a lot of bits to burn. Are you rebuilding Latius's beard? Is this intentional? Since we have the technology, we can make him stronger. Yeah, you're like the million bit man. <laughs> That's what you'll be. I need to play the tune now. I need to sing a tune. I need to put the ear thingy back in because I completely missed Truckmate's follow and I feel so sorry. Right, not like me. I apologise. There you go. Headphones are back in so I can listen to Latius. I have one in so I can hear you still. Propagation. You can afford it with all the cougar pocket money. Cougar pocket money? I didn't realise. Oh, I see. Yeah, of course, I guess. They would give him pocket money. That's a bit. That's, yeah. They've got to, keep him, got to keep him sweet. Keep him sweet. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right. So what's Lathan's doing? You can't see what I'm doing. It's very boring what I'm doing. So you carry on watching and learning. Lathan's making a bike. I'm basically putting a bike together so I can quickly. Lathan's <laughs> the <grow. laughs> I quite like that. Lathan's the grow. Are you on mid? Are you on? I'm not. I'm not. Can you grab the uh, glue that's over there? Uh, I can. I'm wrestling with uh, trying to paint edge lines with a brush. It's too big for it. Where's the glue? Um, yes. uh, that one. The, the one with the rubber on top. That's it. Uh -huh. There's also that tiny one there. Oh, yeah. There's that Fair tiny enough. one there. You can get some that's really, good. really small ones if you really want. That's okay. I keep. I keep. Uh, I, I feel weird about licking somebody else's tip. So. Uh, Bloody hell. Yeah. That's true. I forgot you licked things. Can I do another thing? Shadow's even more. Shadow is literally trying to uh, build your beard back. He, he feels very strongly about this. It's the digital representation of your uh, of your long lost beard. Well, not long lost. Three weeks. <laughs> lost well, this not, morning. It's not long. Yeah, I was going to say, he only disappeared today. <laughs> Hey, Dirty's in. How you doing, man? Been a while. How's things? Hey, Dirty. Um, I'm still not getting any sound. I'm concerned and confused. Hang on a second. They've got sound. Don't worry about that. Oh, I'm just deaf in one ear. Greatest latest stream ever. Does that mean that all mine are terrible? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to step my game up. There we go. So it looks like one of the headphone bits is a bit strong, basically. Silence in as well, how you doing buddy? Yeah, unfortunately I'm missing a lot of the chat because I'm, uh, I'm not used to where the chat is. Yeah, lick the tip. And click, indeed. <laughs> It took Victor, what, two months to grow that peach fuzz? Screw you, Shayton. Screw you. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> that was two weeks. Two weeks, that was. Later, is it so refreshing to see allow you, what? Refreshing to see you allow your pet Victor on stream. This is what I mean, Shayton, full time. This is his job. This is what makes this fuel thing. We've been clipped. <laughs> We've been clipped. Oh, that'll be you. That'll be you uh, feeling weird licking someone else's tip. I almost guarantee it. You can't say something like that and not expect it to get clipped. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> New to painting here. Hey man, welcome. I know mini paints are better pigment. Well, I know mini paints are, be are better pigment density, but to get started, I would like to do a huge disservice to myself using cheap hobby paint. Um, you can use hobby paint, yeah. but you have to water it down a lot. Like you can use. Okay, we've got it here. Yeah. 
this is something that quite a few people are using at the moment, which is uh, this is artist acrylic paint, and this is a really high density pigment paint. That's uh, it's good. It's just you have to wait. You just have to water it down a little because it's uh, will be thick on the surface otherwise. Torches is helping to your uh, your your beards become a thing now, man. They the are beard, filling the bit. Beard like, fund. The beard <laughs> fund. Yeah. Get ready. You're hundred off the next badge. Well, there's a bit of moustache. Right. So I had to repaint a whole bunch of that then because uh, I went over areas with the black. Indeed. She's gonna, the first thing she's going to do is laugh at me on this little freaking ball. <laughs> <we're going to. laughs> How's it going, guys? Where's the camera? Oh, yeah, about that. It's going to bomb it. Thank you so do much for the, for the... Whoa! Just do it! What? Just do it appeared. Propagation. <laughs> it's so loud. I've turned it up so that you can hear. They can hear you because you're you're used to be quiet. Oh, I see. So the volume in general is just louder on the screen today, which means I'm getting one ear's worth of abuse. <laughs> so uh, a tip here with doing your black into recesses is like rather than dragging it all the way to the end. So I'm just poking the tip into that end. I'll poke the tip into that end, and then I'll turn the model around. Wait, wait, stop. That does not count. I didn't drop it, he did. You can't. It still counts. Does it still count? Yeah, it still counts. It's on the stream. Come on, man. And then uh, turn the model around. This is the cost. <laughs> and then I'll push the uh, tip into the opposite end. And the, the reason I don't just drag it down to the end is because you'll end up with it kind of overflowing out. Yeah. It will sort of, you'll end up with this kind of effect where you've got this little line that goes over the end of it otherwise. So, because it, it's a short but deep recess, is that what you're saying? Yeah. God damn it, Gilly. On your stream counts. Fine. Oh. I'm not even a cat today. Everybody, everybody wants to be your cat. Everybody wants to be your cat. Everybody wants to be Look at the, I don't know if I like this, look at the stream, look at that, one, two, three, four, four rows of, yeah. Jesus Christ, torches. It's a monsoon. Right, we're going to have to upgrade the cut, just because then, your beard will grow within like a day. <laughs> It'll do that anyway, to be fair. <laughs> Oh my god, all the alerts kicking off. Thank you so much, torches, that's very kind of you, obviously, very, very appreciated, thank you, man. Um, I'll make sure that all the little bits go back to, uh, oh, it's still going. I'm not sure if that's the same alert or I don't know what it's doing. It's catching up. But I'll make sure all the bits go to Latheus for his all his um, assistance here. As long as Latheus is wearing the Flickster hat, he's you. Wait, I've upgraded. <laughs> I actually get a skill upgrade. I've already said that I'm, I'm Flick today with, my, with the hat on. Not only do I get the upgrade in, in uh, paint, but also in looks as well, eh? Well, I didn't want to say. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say. It. Yeah, you did. Well, there's an exhaust on this thing as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Shadow, Shadow specifically doesn't want his bits to go to me. Oh wait, I don't want my bits to go to ladies. <laughs> All right, fine. I appreciate that, Shadow. Thank you. You're very kind of you to support the stream here. Welcome back. By the way, we've missed you. We've not seen Shadow. I made a quote. I made a joke at ladies at um, the Shadow in M stream yesterday saying. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm gonna leave now, I gotta go. And I said, like, fine, we'll never see you anyway. And he's like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> he like, like some kind of <laughs> little girl having a party. It was quite funny. I enjoyed it anyway. Um... Hey, okay, I think, how you doing, man? Uh, I used to paint a lot, actually. I was really into it. But then I had some family issues and couldn't afford such an expensive hobby. But now I'm getting back into it. Well, that's cool, man. I mean, I can appreciate that. I mean, I had a, both of us. In fact, you did the same thing, didn't you? So both of us, um, I'll talk to this camera. Both of us have had gaps um, in our painting as well. So I stopped for around 15 years. Not for f uh, family reasons, just because, I don't know, I just have millions of hobbies. Um, so I just wasn't into that. I moved on to doing other things. I was doing esports and motorsport and all that kind of stuff. But it's only when I got... Um, uh, started painting some miniatures for my wedding in well, my wedding was in October. I started painting around September time. Um, then I got back into it, and then I got back to it in a big way. Found Twitch, never left. So don't worry about that. That's awesome. Coming back to the hobby is great, and you'll find actually probably after a big return, you surprise how quickly you'll, you'll pick up it, pick it back up again, or get back into it. 
Um, and I would argue probably you'll find you actually, with the amount of resources that are available now, both on Twitch, YouTube, and in general, you'll, you'll probably excel a lot quicker than you did when you were painting all those years ago. I certainly found that anyway. Hey, Shoshi. Oh, Shoshi's in. Hey, guys, it's so cool to see you both on at one time. I can wave with that. So I've got my own little crappy <laughs> camera and you've got the nice camera, but you know, that's the way it should be. <laughs> hey, Shoshi, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, At least I'm trying to, yeah. I had a, I had a seven year break here uh, through health issues. And so, yeah, I just got back into things as well. And uh, I have sort of massively tried upping my game since September uh, last year. And so, uh, yeah. yeah, so now we're up to the stage where we're doing this. Whereas before we were just doing... Uh, to be clear, that's his work, not mine. Before not I, this stream, that's late this stream. Before I was just doing a single colour with a wash over it and then the basic colour back over it again. And, uh, and now we're sort of doing a little bit more. Uh, see, it doesn't focus. Mm. I, can't, I can't, on my stream, I can't actually get my camera to focus the point okay. where I'll actually pick that up as of the actual icon it is, because it's like two millimeters wide. Bring it in slightly closer. I've got my set around the There you go. <laughs> now you can actually see the actual hashing yeah. and, and the line marks not so well there. Maybe there is. I was, just putting so I was just trying to see what I can do with the camera because mine's set to a higher level now. There you go, you can see the actual hashing there as well on that one. Yeah. And on this one, probably. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, if you want to go and check out Latest, give him a follow as well, guys, for sure. Please do, he is here to help me and help you guys. Um, it's a good idea doing some tutorials live, really. Get some fixed our brains. Am I going to act like an idiot? I don't know the exhaust is going. It's got to go on that bit there. I thought you knew about vehicles. Say again? I thought you knew about vehicles. <laughs> I do, but this one's got a weird kind of up kick. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, I see what's going on. So yeah, we were talking through all of this uh, uh, earlier, Shoshi. We were talking through all these different stages and how we were getting to, to where we're at with this currently. That work is out of sight. I'm not sure if she's laughing at you not putting it on camera or whether she's actually explaining that it's really good. I'm probably I, painting. I suspect it's really good. I'm probably painting off camera again. Probably painting off camera again. <laughs> Obviously, guys, this is not latest. It's standard setup, so he's going to be out of his comfort zone as far as... Did it go up like that, maybe? I want it going up. I would say like that. Because that doesn't make any sense. Because it like No, it definitely doesn't, definitely doesn't go like that. And because that it would be pointing outwards. doesn't make sense, because that could work. Also, yeah, I'm going up. Right. Um, yeah, obviously, this is not his normal com uh, painting area, so he's out of comfort zone painting in a around my camera and mic and other bits and bobs that he's not used to. So, do bear that in mind. But he's trying his best to teach you guys and teach me. Uh, focus. Oh, okay. Sorry, obviously we were looking at a big greaser and now he's looking at a little dude again. And I'm sat here on my little bouncy ball, by the way. Because <laughs> we can't get two chairs in currently. Um, and I'm trying to put together a bike so that I can have a go at doing some bigger area panels. And I was going to have a prep last night, but unfortunately work got in the way, as is my life. Thank you, Shoshi. Even one. I keep looking up here because of where the text is, but the camera's over there. I'm using super old slang. Dynamite. That is dynamite. I want to say radical now. But I was going to say cowbunga. Cowbunga, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to say cowbunga. <laughs> just to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, guys, the VOD will be up. We will also be downloading the VOD and trying to get it across to latest in YouTube for his own content or my own either way, but we'll be directly supporting. Um, so if you aren't here live and you're watching this back on the VOD, thank you very much. Um, go and check out Lotus, like I said, streams during the days, 1pm till 5pm GMT. Um, I think he's doing a Tuesday to Friday now, I think, mean, just uh, for personal reasons. But four days a week for at least, normally what, four hours you'd say? Yeah. Yeah, 1pm 1, 1 till 5pm GMT. We try and do, depending on life as it is. I've never actually done any teaching before, so uh, I can only apologise for, for, for what this has been so far. No, I think you've done really well. I say, I won't, we'll see when, like, when I'm failing miserably how you do with no, you're being an idiot. No, no, that's a flip, you're being an idiot. No, stop, stop. Have you got a big like frying pan or something? <laughs> I've got multiple women hit me over there with a frying Just pan. Just for reasons. No. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a thing. Would I do that? Funk, you're doing it wrong. 
It's just motivation, that's what we call it. Motivation, no, I think. Such a kind person. <laughs> In my interest, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to learn, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great guy, great stream guys, really enjoying the in-between breaks for actual work. Awesome more. Thank you very much. Glad you think. Uh, this is totally tubular. <laughs> totally tubular, man. Gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nope, focus is out on the main cam. I did that. You know what? Or is that just old chat? I'll do it again. Can't help it if Lathe's moving. He's not used to being, you know, where he normally sits. So. Yeah, I, I, kind of, I, I'm usually much more hunched over, and I, there's a, there's like a big, yeah, like I technological can, thing. This going horrible, this horrible. There's a big technological thing in front there of me, go, like all of this. So that's the mic there. That's the pop filter there. That's the camera on top there. <laughs> Welcome to my normal painting situation. Right, so let's get this exhaust on. I'm just like bouncing occasionally outside of my Yeah, that's it. Am I distracting you? <laughs> no, not at all. I just think it's funny. I love them. I love them. <laughs> what it's supposed to be is a fun Saturday stream. Hey, Generic, how you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome to a uh, a Saturday tutorial, learning with Lacey. Yeah, learning with Latheus. Said that three times fast. Yeah, I cool. try, try. I can't even type it three times fast. Like they're saying, I can't type anything three times fast. So this is another thing. Like the edge lining really makes. Oh wow, that makes a makes massive the difference. Glazing pop, and it's the same with the black lining as well. It all makes a huge difference on the actual glazing. Edge lining and the glazing. Let's, let's talk about that. We have a, let's say the mixture of the contrast. So stick the, this on, and then we'll go a little. We'll have a chin wag about that as well, because obviously there's a technique. Which whether you want to tron edge line it, whether you go in and do a, a lighting source specific version. Haha, <laughs> this is cool. Morning, all. morning. Hi, Sailor. How you doing, man? Welcome, random as well. Can we get more mics around lay, please? Full 360 view. <laughs> more mic. Well, more mics. Am I still too quiet? I can't turn you up anymore. Unfortunately, I just, levels, I just so. don't naturally project. He doesn't shout like I do. That's what you're saying. When uh, I want to paint as Miyako. Well, that's good. I'm glad you want to paint. That's what we're here to do. When Are I went to inspired? America, every single American I met told me to speak up. <laughs> Valley is flicks to you to have a great dynamic. Well, what can I say? What can I say? I love this bastard. We've been married for 10 years. Yeah. Did you know, Malleus, we're actually married? True story. If you go to Major Dodo stream, you'll find this out. Expecting our third kid. <laughs> well, wait, what we are? Where's our other two? Don't tell Flick about the other kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet I've done this exhaust upside down. Scott's going to go, no, your tits the other way around. Just doesn't feel right. So who 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 the baby daddy? <laughs> well, let's be honest. We all know who wears the trousers in this relationship, and it probably is not me. <laughs> I wear cat ears. Enough said. <laughs> um, Flix, um, so do you remember the show Art Attack? Of course I do. Art Attack's amazing. Imagine the Highlander style death match between him and Bob Ross. Oh, oh, was it on... Hart? Yeah, was no, oh, Hart? Tony Hart. Tony Hart was his name, From right? Heartbeat. No, oh, that, that, was wasn't, Heartbeat. that wasn't Art Attack, that was Heartbeat. Art that's even, was that's even annoying... older. That was Neil, Bu Neil Buchanan, was oh, it? That that was Art Attack? Art Attack was a kid's show version, wasn't but it? I thought Bob Ross was in the military before he was a painter, so I'm, I have to put my money on Bob Ross. Yeah, Bob Ross has got the army skills. That's a weird thought, isn't it? Bob Ross is in the military. What does he do? Go over there and say nice things to them to death. He's like the Canadian military, isn't he? He's like... Here you have some happy little trees. Yeah, happy little trees. There's some happy little rangers. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a happy little bullet and your happy motherfucking skull. <laughs> you missed. That was a happy little accident. <laughs> we don't No miss. such thing as misses. We yeah. shoot other things. <laughs> I was about to say we don't bomb civilians, but I think it gets yeah. a bit dark at that point. Let's, let's not go too dank on this nice, light-hearted, fun Saturday tutorial lesson on how to uh, get rid of Flixter's partnership. 
<laughs> that was terrifying. Why was that terrifying, Shannon? Bob Ross is also dead. Might complicate things. Wow, tortures went dank. <laughs> I didn't know either of you were married, now my heart is broken. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, that was poor Shadow. Married twice, don't tell your wife, says Malleus. That's a valid point as well. Lexi's not aware of this. It's an internet marriage, it's different. It doesn't count, right? You already got like seven of those. Yeah, I've got a bunch of internet. <laughs> Let's be fair, I've got a lot of internet wives. <laughs> to be fair, Flix I'm also usually, from some internet wives. Flix usually my internet dad. Yeah. <laughs> and is Jane is my internet mum. Yeah. I am, like I say, I am internet wife to uh, Frump Nasty to help him. And I'll just basically annoy him with production questions. <laughs> Who obviously did host earlier, so thank you so much, Frump. If you're still here, I don't know if you are, I doubt it, but if you are, thank you so much, man. Very appreciated. Oh, painted a whole arm. Wait. Which was rather See, unanticipated now, for today. I would normally laugh at that, but you've painted an arm in, in what? What were we looking for? We've got our uptime in an hour and 50. You've talked through it, you've discussed it, and in an hour and a half, you've got a full arm done, both shadows, highlights, edge lining, and black lining. I'd still be doing the dude's butt cheeks, let's be honest. Well, I, can do one of these. <laughs> I can do one of these in about four hours if I don't talk. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but then again, you're confident with the technique. So let's just discuss that one more time for those that missed it earlier. You did uh, multiple layers of thin to base art. Let me let me say through it so I can yeah. burn this in my brain. So multiple layers of the base coat, which was our mid-tone. Skull face orange. You did skull face orange, indeed. Uh, we did the troll face orange. <laughs> uh, troll layer. Troll face orange. <laughs> troll face orange. <laughs> Four layers, or if was to cover the zenith, so you need to cover both the black yeah. and the white. So it was about four on the top because of the uh, the white on the top area it was nice and yeah. easy for the color. Hello, darling. Hello. Um, one second. Um, so okay, so you did four layers on top and then a little bit less on the, on the dark areas. Uh, no, no, it was it was even more. It was like oh, okay, six so or up. six or seven layers on the dark for the okay. orange. Then you used a loaded brush technique with the original base paint and a little bit of the highlight colour with the brush pointing at the highest point. The highlight and, was just on the tip. And there's yeah, just on the tip, that's correct. And then you dragged that down softly with the brush angled so that it was smooth onto the surface in the direction of travel from of, the highest point. Perpendicular, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So once they've done the highlights and you're comfortable with the highlights, are you waving behind me? That's really <laughs> me. Waving behind me, that's me. There you go, look, chat's up there now, my love. It's cool, isn't it? That's why I make people say it. Okay. Your, look at how much your top is tripping out. I can say, it's got some crazy lines going on there. isn't it? Because she's got lines on it. Look, the camera's picking them up. I feel like I'm in the look 60s. Look that! Right? That's weird! Don't move, and it goes meh. Yeah. Meh. <laughs> 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 you know what that is? That's gnarly, that is. That's gnarly. That's <laughs> rad. Yeah. That's really rad. Old school, cool things to say. So she came in with... What did she say originally? It was... Remember. Oh, I can't remember what she said now. It wasn't radical, was it? No, it wasn't. We said <laughs> radical. Uh, what did she say? Could have been tubular. Tubular, yeah. <laughs> Gnarly and tubular, I wish it was. What was it? Super old slang, that's what they said, didn't they? Uh, if you're going full on thin and most excellent. Most excellent. Well, I was thinking like the old teenage toes. Yeah. Work of out of sight, there you go, that's what she said. That works out of sight. <laughs> oh. That's rad. Dynamite. Groovy. <laughs> Groovy, says Orchrist. How you doing, Orchrist, man? I can't imagine Bob Ross yelling. No, I can't either. Lexi and Mini Flick. Yes, Mini Flick's on camera. Two cameras. You've got multiple angled I know, Lexi. I, know. I don't know which face to turn. <laughs> <laughs> that would look huge from any angle. Well, this one, this one's multiple frames, so you can, like, you know, this one's nice and tidy, so it's all good. That's why I wait for the frame. Far out, says Beamington. That's a good call. Far out's oh, yeah. a good one. I like far out as well. I am. I've been bouncing around. <laughs> it's been merrily bouncing. I've been mean, doing this. Just go and get the bigger ball. You can't say that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> just did. <laughs> um, no, I'm okay at the moment. I can see this and watch because I've got the camera in the wallet. Totally. <laughs> Congrats to the new edition. Thank you so much, um, Jarek. I appreciate it. Not that far now. Not that long at all. Mrs. Flicks are the biggest upgrade to the, is Mrs. Flicks are the oh is the biggest upgrade to the paint room yet. See, Shayton said when Latest opened the stream that it was the best production value upgrade we'd ever had on the stream. I'm a little bit salty about that. I'm just, just a little bit upset. And then and then he said that when I was off stream it was even better. Right. And now you've come and in. Now I'm here. And now it's even better. It's, it's so basically what he's trying to say is I don't need to be here and you two can just carry on. <laughs> Shayton. It would no longer be flick paint stuff. No, it would be Flick's paint. It would everyone true. but Flick paint stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would be. She's not the biggest, just the best. There you go, yeah. 
You're calling my wife big? I is that know. what you're doing, Sam? I don't know. I'm pretty big at the moment. Yeah, in, in fairness, what Chris she is. I mean, yeah, don't, side, side profile shot. Look at that! Wait, 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 wait. There's my head. There. Head for scale. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a head when it comes up. That's it. <laughs> Looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> That was a terrifying experience. <laughs> Your first child comes out and it's just my head going. Production values. I thought this would be a high <laughs> definition. The is all wrong. That's it. Yeah. How do I change the colours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, well, you're so funny. Uh, dear. Hey, Knox is in. How you doing, Knox? Welcome. I might have to shout, but we've got the mic turned up, but look at the volume, it's still like down here. So, I don't know how well you guys can hear us, I apologise, we are off stream, off uh, mic. Obviously got one mic in, it's, uh, in front of Latius. The hilarious thing is, you're having to shout, and I'm still too quiet, and yeah. I'm right over it. <laughs> We're in green now, you're alright now. <laughs> like Nox just realised. Oh man! Sad Everyone's times. so mean! Sad times. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> to be fair, Lexi was almost nine pounds, and Raven isn't a tiny girl. Whoa, nine pounds! Yeah, well, when we started, I had the uh, sexy cat man on the stream, and yeah, I was asking him where the, the cat ears were because I was going to wear the ears. We timed you down. I know, but where were they? We were going to put the cat ears on ladies <laughs> as a joke, and I went running around the house trying to find where you hid them. <laughs> you like sprinted off. I was like, <laughs> where are the ears? In our, well, they're not in our room. They're not in our room. Yeah, as, as, as in there's just a pile of, a pile of wigs and yeah, ears you and heard stuff that I just chucked in a corner. I think it's next to my wardrobe. Oh, your wardrobe? Yeah. Ah, okay. No, in I the box with the toys. Me. I was trying to help Tiny. I know, that, it's fine. Now you're cooking with gas, that's it. Mrs. Flickster, where's Mr. Flickster's cat ears? There we go. Mike sound is good. Okay, cool. Wait, baby, I see a little person being built. Indeed. Uh, April. It's, it's not actually that little. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's you wish it were at this stage. Let's do this. <laughs> Bouncy flick is distracting. Bouncy flick is distracting. <laughs> I think it should be a permanent that's stream feature. <laughs> you, sh you should do all of your painting on the, on the board <laughs> yeah. now. This is it, guys. We're going to paint. Imagine trying to put on a camera like this. <laughs> no, you have to keep your, anchor, your wrist is anchored to the thing as well. <laughs> yeah. It's like that the whole time. <laughs> Right, we're going to go exit. We're just doing some eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you just sort of dot like this until you get it. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Lux. Indeed, it is, it is, look, look, my whole family's here. Even my ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Long lost. Yeah, that one's alright, I suppose. Oh, I can rest on that. Yeah. Oh, that's good, that. All this, all this effort, all this time for this moment. Yeah, this is it. This it's, is it's, why. It's, it's a brilliant rest. I have to say, I, I use it as like a. Except, except my pillow's <laughs> kicking me, which is kind of weird. Probably still hungry. I didn't even No, I did say they asked where you were, and I said you were at the pub with your friends, but you can't drink. So what you've all done is taking a bunch of pregnant people to the pub where they can't drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them brought their kids too. Oh really? Yep. And then you regretted it at this moment. That was alright. Flick went all through all that effort for a pillow. To be fair, mate, it wasn't that much effort for me. <laughs> uh, just made a huge Cromlick order, have you order? What, Chris? Dress up in the bedroom, way more easy now. <laughs> hubba hubba. Got some, oh, got some goodies on the way. Awesome, man. Glad to hear it. Uh, okay, but I think we're, we're, we're pretty much caught up in chat. Okay. Is that I think I've missed point. That is mine, yes. Don't have to <laughs> that work. is mine! That's what normally happens. <laughs> right, cool. I need to... I mean, you can... Where are you going then? Guess what happened with, 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 with our lunch. I don't know. What happened with our lunch? You weren't here. <laughs> well, about four of us ordered the same salad. I feel like it was in there. Um, four of us ordered the same salad, which was chicken, bacon and avocado salad. Because why wouldn't you? That sounds amazing. They all turn up and we start eating and we all slowly but surely realise that there is no avocado in our chicken, bacon and avocado salad. And we're all looking at each other thinking, are we all going insane all at the same time or did it, if we missed something? So I waited ages and called over a random man and said, isn't there supposed to be avocado in this salad? And he went off and checked and came back and went, yes, yes, there should be avocado in your salad. I was like, well, should we do something about it then? <laughs> yeah, no, yes, yeah. confirm, you should have had it. See you yeah. later. <laughs> so, yeah, 
like, well, there's four of us missing avocado, so could you bring us our avocado, please? And sure enough, they brought us all little uh, teacup trays with some sliced avocado on and gave us one each. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was quite funny. So is it as in the menu is avocado? Or is it like... It, it says specifically on the menu, chicken, bacon and avocado salad, and then lists all the other leaves and stuff that's with it. And they missed out the avocado. Um, okay. Uh, Lathis, you've got a painting question. Painting question? Uh, how, mm, how, 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 your voice is on my GPS. How does it feel being a GPS? Wow. Make a U-turn! Make a U-turn now! <laughs> Make a U-turn! Uh, <laughs> like How thin stuff. down is your paint? Uh, the paint is very, very, very thin. Uh, it's more that we're using a very, very small amount of paint. Uh, as we were saying earlier, uh, there's a little bit of spit <laughs> meshed into the bristles of the brush. There's no and nice way to say it, but it is what it is. Tiny, tiny amount of paint on the tip of the brush, and then that's pretty much what we're doing for most of it. And then we're just glazing over the top with those. There is also the uh, uh, the the loaded brush stuff with the the base layering, which is uh, you sort of have a, a very very watered down thin glaze of the base color, and then a tiny bit of uh, whatever the highlight color is on the tip. And again, again, yeah, it's always really really tiny amounts of paint. As you can see from this is like an hour and a half of painting, you can see just how thin all these paints are on the. This is where I've been cleaning the brush, and the thickest part is where I was doing the base layers, and even then this is pretty thin. Because uh, the base layers are just multiple, like six or seven layers of thin orange. Blade is best medium, yes. <laughs> if we could Blade medium, best medium. Yeah. Oh, we could bottle you! We could bottle me. No, I can't yeah. produce that much spit, unfortunately. No, oh, come on then. We... Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of my worlds comes with free with a free the, uh, just amount of Every people. time I see Gavin Port, I remind him that Gavin Port has a model with about 80% latest in it. <laughs> um, you should see what I can do with my. No, never mind. No, wait, whoa. <laughs> Let's keep this PG. <laughs> okay, right, so I know you're waiting for me at the same time. No, it's okay. It's alright, I'll, I'll interrupt because apparently Sailor Jeff wants me to say Omaha. Can you say not Omaha? Yeah. Go on then. I, mean, I just did, Omaha. I'm not sure if I can hear you from there. Look, look at the volume there. Well, he, he heard me waffling about avocado, so. Okay. Um, wow, I lost so much chatting. I blame the meds for, bit, for the on the crying, making me all emotional and shit. Nah, not. It's, it's the loving situation you're viewing right now. It's the one big happy family, the hobby family. <laughs> Having shadows. fun, man. Shadows taking a sharpie to his lovely medium to rename it Lithium Medium. Lithium Medium. Oh, it's a genius <laughs> idea. I give you a group hug, Nox, but I can't reach you. <laughs> like, I'm a bro hug, man. It's all, no. Uh, is that tiny hug? Tiny hugs. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. Round, round the camera. There we go. Oh, it's good. Like a virtual high five. Like a virtual high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you missed my link to te my test it on a minute. Oh, but here it is again. All right, cool. Let's have a look. So I can do that production value whilst you're over there. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Then ladies will see how I do my whips now. So over here, we've got this bit. We've got yoink like that. And then that loads that screen there. Like that. And we can look down. So, I don't know if you can hear me, but this is the test of stuff and grand stuff. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Just a tiny mold line right there in a geisha's robe. Where? What? I can't even on see the, the mold line. Oh, there? Yeah. That one, yeah. And it goes down the other side as well. Yeah, so that's it. In the feet. That's really good. Uh, this is. This is Widow Takida Takida Nail. See, seeking revenge for her murdered husband. These are cool, man. I love Japanese inspired stuff. I, I, I'm so. That one should be very proud of me for not backing Rising Sun because I am that close. Every time I look at it, I'm like. <gasps> there was two. There was Rising it's Sun so and another one that came out at the same time. Oh really? And people always laugh at me because like I can't remember the name of the other one, but it's one of the characters in it is there's a lady riding a fish. She's riding like a giant horse-sized goldfish. It's just flying <laughs> through the air. Goldfish. And whenever I try to describe which one I backed, it's like it's not the Rising Sun. It's the other one with the lady riding the fish. And they're like, Wait, I can't find what? it. <laughs> like, I didn't go insane. I swear there was there was another one with it's the lady true, riding the fish. Yeah. <laughs> there was a fish. Okay, with the size of a horse. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> HQ has just discovered the wonders of our 
I was as Ojiku popped in and going, what the hell is this? My stream now, Ojiku. Yeah. You can't get away from me. Man. I'm slightly creeping across the internet, taking uh, taking over one stream <laughs> after another. Not backing Rising Sun. What what is wrong with you? Says Narco. I'm sorry. I I, I haven't got enough flickets. Okay. <laughs> they don't take the flickets well, on Kickstarter. Rising Sun still has two days left. <laughs> <laughs> so I only backed the dragon and the fish lady, and I wanted to do like a little water garden with a kind of um, platform that she was on, and then the dragon was kind of coming up out of the water around her and behind her. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, oh, I've got, to, I've got to scroll some bits and bobs. I missed a bunch of stuff. Let's go back up. Oh, we're still showing up. Let's uh, this video. It's going to be back to some painting. Okay, whilst, uh, whilst I'm talking. I'm voluntarily giving up the streams for you. Oh, it's sorry. Something about a violent coup. <laughs> there was a violent coup Wait. with yours on Thursday. <laughs> Is it no longer your stream shadow? At least they're voluntarily giving up their streams to you. There was a violent coup in mine on Thursday. What did I miss? I have so many minis to build. I'm just cleaning mold lines whilst watching today. That's cool, Greg. Getting through them. Chugging away. Uh, yeah, now I thought, I, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a real small backing, but I just can't justify more miniatures at the moment, man, with so much going on. Uh, Sailor, oh my god, that was it. Awesome, thank you, Lexi. American voices are boring for GPS. <laughs> All prized in, how you doing, man? Flix, I don't want to alarm you, but there's a woman with a child behind you. <laughs> Growing a child. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Live growth cam would be the slowest thing ever. <laughs> that sounds very weird science when you phrase it that way. <laughs> So it's um, turn around there's a small plant pot with <laughs> <laughs> Great seeing you two of um, stream later. No worries, Satan. Thank you, man. Take it easy. See you later. Uh, oh, it's Shadow Glen that said about the Sharpie stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. The majesty. Yes. Uh, so it really confuses me when you do this. And you scroll up and start reading back to it. Yeah. Like, that was said like five minutes ago. I'm really confused. Yeah, well, <laughs> Is my stream on huge delay? Yeah, no, I just go back up to catch up because I don't mind missing all this out, but it's cool. Um, vote for Phil. My buddy Phil started his campaign to become the new claimer. My stream my stream viewers <laughs> voted him over me. Dethrone Shadow, we want Phil. <laughs> what, me? Or a different Phil? I'm not your friend though, am I? Shadow claimer, that's not how it works, right? Am I allowed? I don't know. Maybe it's a different fill. There's not another fill. You've not replaced me with another fill. Live growth oh, cam, instant cool Twitch ban. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> oh, oh. I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Rappaport. That's an amazing name as well. Rappaport. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome. Uh, uh, we had three people follow with the new uh, alert, and I didn't even notice. I didn't have the, I didn't have the headphones on. I was obviously. I didn't even realise it was that. Like, you were obviously me. Yeah, I was obviously him. <laughs> I was not knowing. I don't always miss the lights. Um, but then since then, we've had uh, a couple of people follow uh, with the new alert. Indeed. It's so good. For those of you guys that don't know as well, the alerts you're seeing here, why I'm so excited about them, is that the, this is the first stream where the follower alert has been here. Uh, it's been made by another creative streamer called Blipsqueak the Clown. He's done both our subscription alert and our follow alert so far, and we'll be building many more. So if you want to see the kind of quality stuff he does, go check out his channel. You can see my alerts being created live on his stream during the week. Um, and of course, he is available for you guys to commission and to have a little chat about if you guys stream. I know there's a lot of streamers in the chat right now. Um, but yeah, go give him a, uh, go check him out. I'll give you an alert now. Um, go give him a follow. Go give him some love and check him out. He streams... Um, most days of the week hasn't got a massive schedule, but he's on a lot. He did, a, for example, yesterday he did eight hour streams. So go watch the VOD and you can see that follower alert being created live. I had to do the audio for it, for it but everything else I didn't. <laughs> that was a nightmare doing that one, adding the delay. I mean, it wasn't that bad, was it? It really wasn't that bad. No. I suspect he probably spent longer making it than you did putting the sound. Together. This is true. And I, I just get that feeling. Yeah, I mean, I didn't spend eight hours on the audio, let's be honest. Yeah. You should be a detective. These hunches are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, cool. Are you sure you're not a psychic? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? Only, only with him. It's not very hard to predict me, let's be honest. I'm fairly predictable. You are unpredictable. People miss me at the pub. miss me at the pub? What's going on there? What's how they missed me? Like, that's what shoot me. Did you know they actually missed you? No, that's very nice. So uh, where were you when I was? <laughs> That's cool. 
I did try and message on the, on the WhatsApp, but I had to go and do a drive and pick up a thing to do a thing. <laughs> pick up a thing? Harsh. <laughs> thing confirmed. <laughs> Wait, what? You told them exactly what we were doing? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ, what did they say? It wasn't man barbies then. Hmm? It wasn't no, man barbies. Man barbies, the yellow one. What well, is one that really winds people up? It's toys, isn't it? If you call them plastic men or you did. I don't know. I called them grown up toy soldiers yesterday. Toy soldiers, that's it, yeah. If you call them miniature toy soldiers, many people lose their shit. There are many posts on Reddit. I was sitting opposite Paul, so he's a nerdy maths teacher, so he was like, cool, okay, yeah, yeah. And we had a big chat about the wedding miniatures. And I was sitting next to Brad, and Brad said that loads of his friends at school used to paint Warhammer, but he's never really quite into it. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Brad to get into it ever. Uh, chat, chat, but flicks that like I'm afraid of clowns. And, oh, have you seen the new trailer for It yet? If you're scared of clowns, I was watching Soda Poppin' last night, and they made Soda Poppin', they made Soda Poppin' watch it, and it was quite funny to watch. Or rather, watch him watch it. Get it? Good, quit. Yeah. But, uh, hey. Is there a new sub one? There is indeed a sub alert now. Um, I think Sailor Jeff. No, who? I can't remember who it was. It might be me. But, hey, yeah, we've got a new sub alert from Blip anyway. Um, let's catch through. I've got loads of stuff going on. Um, I know I didn't already knew this. I have 10 skeletons and a clockwork dragon to build when they are sent to me. Yes. Uh, honestly, like I say, Miyako, uh, they're there, so Monday is the next post. They'll be packaged tomorrow, I promise. Everything is being packaged and sent out on Monday. I've got two things going to Australia, two things to America, two things to the UK, and then of the miniatures as well, which might not go out Monday because I want to prime, uh, I want to uh, seal them up. Um, they're going to go, what's it, two to America, one to Germany, and one to Finland. So all that stuff goes on Tuesday in theory. Um, I'm going to have to make Latheus my vice president or something to win it back in my next campaign. <laughs> campaign running. Um, I'm more of a board gamer, so this announcement really excited me. So what did he say? What board game is that? I don't even know. That's cool. I don't know. That's why I asked. Thank you very much, darling. Game of Thrones. All right, cool. So that's Game of Thrones from um, TH, who followed us today, by the way. So TH is new to the stream. Triage. Triage. Triage likely. Tar, okay. There you go. I don't know. Triage, like triage. Triage, well, it's, like, it's, got, it's got like a T. Oh, Teague like League. Teague. That's what I said yesterday. Teague like League. Ah, that's why his name is that's like that. It's to help you pronounce it that way. Like it's Teague like League. Oh. That would be clever. I'm not clever, so moving on. <laughs> hey, Teague. <laughs> Flixter, you're my friend, don't worry. Oh, thank you, Random. That's very nice. <laughs> Love the new alert. Awesome. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, but Flixster, I'm afraid of clowns since it's an all. Yeah, well, indeed, Bob, I promise you, uh, Blipsqueak is a gentle clown. Jenga, man festival, how you doing, man? Um, by the way, did you TW's April Fool's Day video for water? Oh, no, I didn't. That's why someone said I should watch it. I get me. I mean, it's that, that like my shadow got the thing about yeah, the GW water from earlier. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> The Twitch Music Library has gotten a lot better since when it first started. I'm loving everything that's been played so far. Yeah, so this is the Twitch approved non-copyright sound music today. We're doing this obviously because the intention is at some point to clip the bits that are actually tutorial based and put them into videos or highlights or whatever, whether that be on Lathis's YouTube or on my videos here. Either way, we're going to clip them so and try and put them into something useful. Um, You should have brought the stream up. I'm confused. I don't know what torches means. Teague is saying, have you seen a new It trailer? Yes, I've seen a new It trailer. Like I said, I saw it on, not only did I see it on my own Facebook, but I also saw it on Soda Poppin' stream when six, like, what, how many people were watching him? 16,000 people or more were watching it at once. It was hilarious watching his reaction. Um, is that a size three brush latest? It's a double zero. It's a double zero of the Winsor & Newton Winsor normal range, series, not seven. the miniature range. Okay. It's terrifying. Yeah, indeed. Uh, usually, I'd use a triple zero for doing the edge lighting that we did here, but uh, I only brought one brush with me because I'm a noob. 
<laughs> Lexi, why don't you give the man his ears back? Because reasons. 2am, much tired, but much watch stream, says me. Okay, well, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you hanging out. We both do. Um, funny thing considering that if you go to the Origins of War games, they were called Toy Soldiers. Were they? Toy Soldiers? Uh -huh. Tickets, five, says Gilly trying to win things. That's exactly what they are, though. Toy Soldiers is accurate, but both American ones are for me. <laughs> both the American ones are for me. Yeah. Someone's Gilly not trying to win me. <laughs> yeah, maybe Gilly's trying to win you. There yeah, people up, trying to win me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> up for giveaway, end of the month, as you guys know. It's uh, it's one original Latheus. It has been out of the package for a while. Uh, well used. There is some weathering. <laughs> Parts need replacing. Be pre-warned. Yeah. Uh, Flickster, I want to go play 40k right now, but I'm really hungover. What do I do? Ooh. You go and play 40k, play 40K really 40K hungover. hungover. Yeah, do a hungover 40k. Just, just don't, don't get into our argument. I was going to say, as long as the person you're playing with is really yeah. chilled, you're fine. Maybe, maybe don't expect to win. But... Yeah. yeah, maybe not win. Or, or just win and, and throw a hissy fit because you've got, you've got a headache. And <laughs> These are my rules. You know why? Because I've had a headache. <laughs> I've just watched the It trailer. Oh, there you go. Jean's now watched it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Chaotic's another one who uses the Raphael ones. So uh, the Raphael 404 brushes, um, oh, the Raphael brushes, um, Trevarian uses. That's right, I can read the script. One second, guys. I've just ended it. Oh, okay. If they call Never back, mind. then I'll have to go. If it was important, okay. That's why I was watching. If it's important, they'll call back. Yeah. A Latheus original best giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Need to get your flickets in, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, right. So I'll just realize I'm getting used to it being over here, and this is over here. That's there, that's there, that's there. That's there. Uh, right, so I am gonna finish finally doing it under snips. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and eat sweets. <laughs> Thank you, I'm gonna, get them. I'm gonna eat sweets. Yeah, Is that what you just said? Yeah. I'm gonna go inside and eat sweets. Well, yeah, thank God. Because no one ordered dessert at the pub and I wanted dessert, so. <laughs> so that's social awkward where you can't have dessert because no um, one else did. Also, because um, it was Susan giving me a lift and she had to go pick us up from the pub for Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I'll jump, I'll jump in that one. We'll do a swap out. Oh, I can get out of this bitch. Yeah, cool. Oh, my legs. Oh. Whoa, this is really high, this chair. Look at, look at the difference. Damn. Right. Okay, Everyone, everyone's leaving me. Wait a minute, there's, there's something going on I'm not aware of. You're disappearing, you're going. <laughs> you're staying here. You go away. Cheeky bugger. I get to use my, this is the first time I get to use my new setup. Bask in the glory of the new monitor and, and, and the camera. I'm really hyped though, like, this is kind of... <laughs> 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 All right, too much. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, we was gonna swap them both together so that Lathis was here and I was here, but we went and um, um, we forgot the camera. Yeah, we, we, were, we were talking about miniatures and nerdy things and I managed to uh, forget to get the extra camera. So we've got one camera, so we figure what we do is we'd have main thing on. Exactly, so whilst I'm pinning, I'll bring this on so these guys are watching me do things. And um, I'm going to pin this, prime this, zenith all this, and then we're gonna, I'm going to learn this whilst Lathius is teaching me. And then he's going to carry on doing the one that he was painting. Right, anyway. Go do a thing. Go do a thing. You're gonna have a cat. <laughs> okay, yeah, lunch didn't happen for us, we forgot, so. Not right now, but later on would be absolutely fantastic, but we'll see what's going on. Uh, I go AFK and come back with Lathius and Smithing. What did you do with him? Well, I gave him away to Knox. Knox has won him, so I've already sent him off. He's on his way, winging his way to. Uh... <laughs> Lexi is shaking her hips at the flick cam. I thought you didn't like being on the camera. There you are dancing. Well, my face isn't on the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm beautifully headless right now. You, I tried to buy him and you gave him away. <laughs> She's rocking the babies asleep yes, indeed. Yes, I am. Right, go, go and eat sweets, love. Okay, love you, bye. Love. Bye, chat. <laughs> this, is, this is like a real big insert into my life. <laughs> this is what my life is, like when I'm not on Twitch with you guys. Normally, Alethius isn't here, I have to admit, but... Cool, that one's all right. It's really, I need to go, I need to go deeper, boys and girls, deeper. 
<laughs> no, we see you. Oh, yes. Face cam is on Lexi. by Lexi. Are, are you pinning this? I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm basically pinning the bottom into this cork here. So I can hold it like this, because you know how fast and slow I paint. So, um... Let me get a ball for a bit now while I do this. Uh, a little break. Get a drink. Um, uh, Lexi's gonna bring us some food later on, apparently. If we need to. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pin this only into the cork that I can hold it in. I'll be painting this over the next couple of days. This is always the plan anyway, other than the bus. But I didn't want to do the glazing tests on the bus, because the bus has got a weird surface on it. It's got like a... <laughs> Did you just fall back? I nearly went back. Do you want to use that to chair? Perfectly. You sure? I need to. I'm on your balls now, it's so good. <laughs> Look at, there you go. They got this is crazy. Um, yeah, so I'll be using this miniature as the test for me to learn with uh, latest guidance. And then I'll be doing this. Um, the only way to really ha um, drill home. See what I'm saying? Drill? I'm using a drill. It's pretty funny, that. Uh, the only way to drill home a technique like this is to obviously. Is that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get on the road. Get on the road. Oh, I didn't glue that very well, did I? Look, it's like horrendous. Um, yeah, the only way to drill a technique, new technique home, is to just keep doing it over and over. So something like this allows me to have a bit more time to, and more panels to do, basically. So yeah, and I'll do this, and I'll, I'll probably end up switching and doing the actual panel, Shiana. Um, doing that, Jazz. That should be more than enough, to be fair. I'm terrified this thing's gonna burst underneath me. Is it? Is it? I don't oh, know. Just go get that one. Honestly, I can move over. I'm only pinning things I'm while just, we're talking. I'm just paranoid. <laughs> I'm sitting on a giant balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you already sent it to me? I didn't know you had the shipping info yet, <laughs> indeed. I'm going to redo that thing and I'm going to rip that off. Screw that, we'll do that in a minute. Um, yeah, you can sharpen and get the rub, the, uh, get the glue off that if you want. <laughs> um, work, work. Work, work, yeah. Um, oh, you pinning this way then? Gotcha, I never pin anything, but I'm having a ton of trouble assembling my Infinity Anaconda. Yeah, well, this is the kind of thing I'm just... Oh, as you can see, this is a brand new cork. So I bought this from... Uh, green stuff weld. So it's a really large cork compared to that of uh, the normal one we use for like sexy catman, for example. You know, like like surface area wise, it's massive. It's intent. I bought them intentionally for bigger projects like the bike, where this, the actual two points of contact, don't even fit on this smaller side here. So, <laughs> so I'm switching. I'll use it this way. So we're going to put it on the uh, the bottom side. Um, this stream is awesome. Tell me you'll do this more. Well, we will try. Obviously, there's a there's a lot of things involved, both travel-wise. I have to go either pick him up or go over myself. And obviously, there's health concerns and there's obviously time concerns and a small child and all the little things called jobs and lives. But we will absolutely, if if you guys enjoy it and if we can stand each other after this, <laughs> we will uh, <laughs> definitely do more. Same back time. Yes. Same back time. <laughs> Now we'll swap it over, we'll do both. And that's the other thing to remember, guys. Obviously, Lathis is here helping me out. So, uh, obviously, we're streaming on my channel, and he is here. But we will be doing things with him, if we can, on his channel. Even if that means coming here and then just streaming onto his channel. Because it is supposed to be joint. It's supposed to help both of us, not just for me. So, make sure you do exclamation mark Lathis to go and check him out. If you don't already know this man, you should. But can you, uh, can you join me later and teach me how to wear cat ears correctly? Yes. On my stream. This is it. We'll do a cat ear stream on yours. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. That would be hilarious. Just randomly turn up on yours. This is the worst glue, by the way, for this, but never mind. It's like, it's a, trouble with it. it's like really crap. The, the proper suit, I'll use a suit, proper one. I've got like a, a Games Workshop one that's obviously fine, but I'm trying to use up that big bugger. No, so, but I've got like a so nice. These little shitty disposable ones that yeah. you buy. Like ten of them well, this was a pack. You get five of these from Games Workshop, and they're actually pretty good. Um, my stomach hurts. Oh no, man! Oh, that's cool. That's the hangover thing as well. <laughs> Did you have one of those dirty, drunken kebabs? Is that what we're talking about here? Because I, I, I'm. What's this? Who did that? Oh, Shadow, I picked up these adapter and something. Yeah. Click and drag. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you the production ways. Oh, it should. Yeah, that's all they did. Oh, did you? Pretty cool. Yeah, man, they're awesome. Or do you have a screen with Well, not. Oh! 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 Look at that! I've never seen that before. Hell yeah. Teague, thank you so much, man. Welcome. I really appreciate that. 
Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. What? Thank you for fueling the hobby. That's the that's the cheesy line I use here. That's what the fuel barrel's all about. So you feel like a hobbit. I've never been so sure. <laughs> there you go. Throwing up all the flicks to rocks. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome him to help him. Yeah, welcome in to the channel. And yes, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> that was intense. Hell yeah. That's what we do here. We fuel the hobby. Again, that's the new alert. The word fuel is spelt wrong there. <laughs> man fuel. I think man festival's new here. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is spelt wrong. It's incredibly wrong. It's intentionally wrong. There's a, uh, there is a story behind it, which I'm sure if you spend more time on the channel, you will learn. I'm not going to break. Did I cut the other? I guess I didn't. I didn't cut the other one off. Um, yeah, it was a, a mistake I made as a youth with a piece of scenery I made. I made some fuel barrels and Twitch, when I showed Twitch, they did what Twitch does and they latched onto it. They enjoyed it so much that it became a thing. So now we fuel the hobby, spelt wrong intentionally, everywhere. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, there is an actual fuel barrel. They've got a guy called Fueling now that's being created by Blitzqueak. We've got um, plushies, in fact, is the other thing that's coming. So we've got um, fuel barrel plushies as well. And all that kind of jazz, you know. All a bit of, a bit of fun. Because well, that's what... Show, show it to Leith. Show it to Leith. I think they want to see the fuel. Do they want to see fuel barrel? Are we going to show fuel screen. again? Really? Do I have to show him again? I think that's just going to be a periodic thing from now until the end of when you stop streaming. Yeah, this is it. From, from, this is my life now. As show. As you have fuel barrels as a theme. Yeah, it, it has be. to be explained. That's probably a little bit too much. Oh, this is a good bit of... I like that he says show it to Lay in real life. <laughs> like, yeah, it's going to be, it's much better in real life. It's not as much, not as embarrassing in real life. All this time it's been a computer, advanced computer generated yeah, this is image it. to fool you. <laughs> it was CGI. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent all the time creating a mock-up. I hired some people. I did a commission work. <laughs> all right, you all knew right. knew how popular it would be in advance. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, so this is uh, here you go in real life, Lay. I'll let you hold, hold it. To touch it. Look at this. Ready? All right, right. Let me show one thing. Wait, 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 wait. Just for, just for. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a piece of history, man. Festival. You have to understand this. This there, there was a story behind this. I spent so long as a teenager with with such dedication, with such love to put this together to tell a story of this blood angel and his loss with a rocket. And how close, you know, by, by putting his body in the way, he protected the rest of his squad from where it would have hit the fuel barrels. Now, again, I, I've shown this several times. This is nothing new to some of you. But yeah, there you go. There's the fuel barrels. They, they're definitely not caught with silver. And I clearly meant to start in caps lock. And then uh, my caps lock came off on the keyboard, clearly. There you go. You can hold this. Look after it, all right? You just just be careful with it. The camera's there, okay? Just I'm 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 watching you. My abilities to paint have improved just from being in proximity to it. <laughs> just the majesty. Yeah, the, I can feel it. The like, sheer majesty, the awe like that you're yes. kind of just absorbing you can, into my skin. You can almost just yeah, taste and feel the power of paint just coming through you there. There you go. Feel the power flowing through me. <laughs> it is a good pain. It is a good pain. <laughs> it is a good pain. So there you go, that's why I feel the spelt wrong all over my channel. Because I showed the internet this once and then they never forgot it. <laughs> right. Oh, hello. The internet's like a really confused elephant. <laughs> it never yeah. forgets, but it just doesn't work. Such a tragic story, says Tigger. Hey, there's no tragedy involved. That is a thing of beauty. We should learn from that. That's why you keep these things. You don't throw them away. That is that there is why we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> when the cult of Flick glows large enough that there'll be an Ark of the Covenant in front People will make pilgrimages to come <laughs> They'll to come, come to Mecca. Worship at the shrine of fuel. <laughs> we'll have the fuel in a glass case. <laughs> lit up. Touch. Lasers <laughs> round. Nobody else will be able to get this power. <laughs> 3k followers. Hyper-realistic fuel needs to happen. Now, actually, on that note, so some of you may know, uh, we, we went through some, some troubled time on Twitch. We went through an issue where we had a lot of uh, our community being... Well, separated. Twitch made some changes to the way that creative was done. We're no longer on the left-hand side. It's very hard to find creative now, in my opinion. Um, but they separated us by having a miniature section and a creative figurine section. And then you could create your own ones and be in tabletop and you could be wherever you want. And I was getting all stressed trying to keep everyone together. So that's what the Discord was about. However, by doing this, some gentle souls reached out with some love and they uh, bought me some things. I had no idea a package was just arrived at my house, which in itself is kind of scary, uh, which included this fantastic 
addition to the bikes here. We've also got another one here. So Yohimbo the mercenary. Um, so at some point he'll be on stream. Uh, and we'll be doing some cool stuff with him. But also in that were um, these. So these are, there was like loads of them. I mean, I, I've got them all hidden behind the camera. But So these are obviously fuel barrels. There's hoses and buckets and fuel canisters and fuel drums and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to be painting these at some point. Now, they're never going to get given away because they're fuel. But I'm going to have them around the stream, potentially dotted around in fun places. But that could be something maybe we use to make the hyper-realistic fuel barrels. Maybe. Maybe use one of them, create a diorama or something, have some fun with that. Because I haven't really got a plan for them. They just sit here as very cool mementos from some very cool people on Twitch. And some good viewers and streamers that banded together to show the love. And I felt the love. But, um, yeah, maybe we'll use that. We'll just have fun with that. Uh, uh, sign, how are you doing? Oh, wait, I've missed some stuff. Where's the, can you uh, just scroll up some chat for me? Oh. Oh, <laughs> don't fall back, Lay. <laughs> like, that was on camera as well. <laughs> I'm not moving yet, I'm still there. <laughs> um, it's at the time to explain fuel again. Show it, show it to Lee. Awesome, let him witness IRL. Really? Um, new CS only work it. I don't quite know what. Did I miss someone called New say something? Oh, I'm so sorry. If I missed something, guys, I have to say it again. I apologise. Um, who is this young man? What? This young man? I'm, I'm he, this, mini, this is my pet Latheus. I'm Mini Flick. Mini Flick. Yeah. Mini Flick's arrived a month early. early. <laughs> Some advanced growth hormones. Yeah, that's it. I remember in, uh, in Man Maniac Mansion, there was a chainsaw, but no fuel. Uh, I see fuel for it. Clever you. I see you did then. Howdy Crash, how you doing man? I have a 50 gallon metal drum in my garage. Too bad British Cubs would assume the worst or I'd ship it to you. <laughs> yeah. I've got uh, a fuel barrel from, from my, uh, my race car in the uh, in the unit as well. Right, okay, so. Um, follow, the follow up name, Zach McCracken, amazing. <laughs> um, there was a huge fuel storage in the character's comment. I don't need it if it's for a different kind of game. Oh, I see. You can make a decent chair out of it. That would be quite cool. Why does, does Lethius look like he's 15? What has he done? He's on a small, bouncy type ball because we didn't have the space for two chairs currently in the way we're working. So what I'm going to do now... And I shaved my beard. Yeah, and he shaved his beard. That also makes him look a bit of a bit 15. So what I'm going to do now, guys... Shaved 20 years off easily. <laughs> shaved three weeks off is what it did. <laughs> yeah. Way, five, what are you doing? Why is everyone wearing a beanie? <laughs> Because I'm pretend Flickster. This is, this is pretend Flickster. So when we started the stream, being that it was April 1st, we had a bit of a laugh. Um, so this is another streamer, Latheus. If you don't recognise him, exclamation mark Latheus. Go give him a follow. He's um, the man and the legend behind this beautiful piece, which I'm very carefully picking up. Because if I drop it, he's going to kill me. Oh, my God. This is all his work, not mine, to be absolutely clear. This here is the quality this man paints on stream. So if you want to know how to do this stuff, that's what we're here for do. Step one today is the 101... We're going to do the glazing, the pan. Obviously, the most one of the major impacts of Latheus' painting style is the beautiful transitions, so smooth. So, what I'm trying to do here is uh, steal some of those ideas and tap techniques and try them out myself. So, what we've gone to do so far, we've done a, obviously a bit of hanging out and chilling, but we've also done some tutorials. So, we've worked up a minute to using very similar colours, not the exact same colours. It's a slightly different yellow. Um, but what we've done is we've worked up. Do you reckon? I just can't remember. Okay. Um, what we've worked up in the same colour palette we've done here, you can see. So this arm has been worked up. Uh, let's bring in some zoom. Sorry, like, can I just jump that for a second? This is what I have to do when I lean over all the time. I wanted to move this up here. Yeah. 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 Like, like, Sorry, over. guys. All right, let's just sort out the uh, zoom. There you go. So you can see here that Latheus has worked up on stream this arm to a very, very similar style and a very, very similar technique um, to this original one. We so. Yep, so we talked through this earlier, so I will be clipping the VOD here. It will also probably put it onto YouTube separately. Um, working out from the zenithal base, which is the black and white here, all the way up to this finish point, or well, not finish, but at least this, this level, which is obviously edged, black lined, and then the glazing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go and prime and, well, and zenithal this bike up, uh, whilst Lath is probably going to carry on doing what he was doing earlier, which is adding the base colours to the chest and to the back here. Uh, and then we'll switch about both. So we'll do a bit more with Latheus and he will guide me through this and then we'll do the bike. I don't know what colours we'll do the bike. We'll probably might even use the same palette and make it like a using bike for all like uh, it. would be fun, wouldn't it? So we'll do that. Oh. It's, yeah. So she's normally black. And obviously, don't forget, a, uh, for you guys. Like yeah, she's A left. So maybe, I don't know. Up to you. We'll pick some colours. You help me pick colours that make sense to practice. So. 
Um, but if you guys want to see the um, this bike, the same bike and this chick, which is, uh, yeah, it's hard to show there. I'll probably bring it to here, it would be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, we tried. Um, here. So this is the this is the uh, bike we're doing. This is the bootleg ALF. It is the Amazon Special Edition. If you want to see this done in a non-metallic metal style, if you want to go across to AV6 Scott. I don't know if he's still in the chat here, but um, literally AV6 Scott. He is painting the same bike that I'm about to do in a glazing type, but he's doing it in non-metallic metal, which is very, very cool. So um, go check him out. Um, yeah, it's a very similar technique, isn't it? I think so. Right. Anyway, I won't put it in there. I'll, I'll give you the range back of the stream. You can carry on prepping and doing this guy. Um, Mieko should knit a beanie with a fuel barrel on it. That would be amazing. Oh my god, an actual beanie. I've only got three beanies, by the way, because I got these. Have you seen these? Like, grab that set of hats behind you. I brought these on to stream to show one day, and I never got around to showing it. Today seems a great traditional day, to, like, great day to do it. Great event. Yeah, hat stacks. Right, so this is, this is the, the uh, level of, of hats I have for, the, for uh, stream. So we have my early morning stream, where I try to uh, bring in the power of genuine vision. He's the early morning streamer for me, so I, I, I channel my inner Irishman with my flat cap. I like this one, but it gets in the way sometimes. You end up knocking things with it, but it's a good look. So then I figured, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring out my old Peaks beanies. So we've got a uh, bad at, oh, hello. There we go. So when I was doing my MMA, oh yeah. Oh God, that didn't work, did it? No, it won't even go on properly. There we go. So we can go street. It's a good look. See, look, I look like a peak now. So all the cool kids are doing it, right? But then I figured, I'm not really, you know, I don't really follow MMA as much anymore. Let's go full sellout. So this is from when I used to, uh, was in the team. So therefore my team beanie. Very cool, huh? You can buy these as well, but that's all I've got. <laughs> so maybe I should get a fuel barrel beanie rather than the other one. A fuel top hat would be, oh, fuel top hat. Oh, there's an idea. <laughs> Um, saved. Didn't save it. Burn the tap out one. Yeah, indeed. It's, it's old school. I haven't, like, this was free, I think. I oh, know. Maybe I bought this. I can't remember. Ages ago. I, got, I went through find all of them. So, but yeah, I don't wear them. That's why we've never seen them on the stream. Uh, yes, I did. Indeed. Death Watch. We've been through this many a time on the stream. Just wear a can on your head. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um. Uh, second chat. Wait, what? Hey, how you doing, Dalty? Welcome, man. Um, one that says fuel on it. Either would be amazing. Miyako would love that. Right, I'm going to leave you guys back in the, the, the capable hands, more than capable hands of Latius. I'm going to go put some black rattle can on things and stuff. He's going to carry on talking and chilling and painting and, and doing a thing. Or was it doing a woo? Isn't that the... so, uh, Sometimes we do the woo and we sometimes do the woo. we do a thing. Sometimes Thanks. we do a thing. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave them. Right, I'll be back in a bit, guys. So non non-specific, non-generic <laughs> things are occurring. Yeah, right. Let's put that over there. I'm gonna do this, and I need to swap out and do. This is rundown. Yeah. I, okay. I need to. Uh, I need to put it to a I can't get the other one. It's just back here. Yeah, that's good. I just I can constantly feel myself slowly sliding over backwards <laughs> each time. Yeah. I'm not sure it would fit. Look, like, if you get comfortable. With it. Oh. Yeah, see that is like. Yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> it's been an explosion of hobby in, in, <laughs> in oh, the yeah, space. Oh yeah, sorry. Let me move this. No, 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 it's all good. It's all good. I am going to move that back. Oh, yeah. Don't have any choice. <laughs> um, I will do. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Um. Right. Let's see. Ah, uh, AV. Yeah, AV6 indeed. Can I give my follow yeah? So I'm just carrying on with random painting, I guess. Yeah, just, just paint away. I'll do like, if you want to keep an area to help me later on, that's fine. So I mean, keep the other arm or a leg or something, but just, just all, I don't know. Maybe do the other arm or something and we'll, we'll do the. Uh, oh, other I, was panel. Kind of, I was just doing his body in this. Yeah, crack on it. That's cool. I know it was down, so I did this quickly. Did you find the hobby leaf? Did you flicks to have it all this time? I've, I've searched hard, but I wasn't here. <laughs> no hobby was found. Hey. 404 hobby not found. <laughs> wow, you went full man. I'm just gonna paint your arm. <laughs> Every time you get in my way, you're gonna paint it. Glaze a little bit more. 
Unfortunately, you wouldn't notice the difference because the, the layers are so thin. Holy peoples. What is this man? Oh, hola, peoples. Hola. <laughs> hey, Mr. Seppi. You are witnessing the first ever joint stream. We're doing like a, a April Fool's fun initial joke where obviously Lathy's pretended to be me. Um, but since then we're just doing a tutorial thing. Um, we're kind of going through the phases and, and Lathius is trying to assist me in glazing and just general understanding of uh, consistency and therefore at the same time we're streaming it so you guys can get that same information bomb. Uh, so if you missed it, obviously to this point, you can go back and watch the VOD, but we will also be snipping and clipping bits as well, creating some um, highlights, or whatever you want to call it, and most likely it will be exported to a YouTube um, of some kind at some point as well. So, but for now, just watch the VOD and enjoy the stream. Wait, he said. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, co-host. <laughs> 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 nice. Sports fan, go sports. <laughs> you've got the colour commentary guy, and then you've got the guy who's the, uh, the hobby. I'm clearly, I'm clearly the host, and you're clearly the talent, and that's the way this is going to work. So I'll do all the spiel and the filler, and you can just paint things real good. Sound like a plan to me? I'll paint things that good. Yeah, I gonna paint things good. <laughs> I don't do the talking, but I can paint real good. <laughs> that's why I got twenty of really angry Americans now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you buy a fuel beanie, make those happen. Where's that? Uh, Silent Jeff at the bottom says, I would buy uh, a fuel beanie. I said I would buy a fuel beanie. Well, that would be fun. Blixter just oh, back rising sun, don't hate. Spieler, no! <laughs> don't make me do it. No! <laughs> Public service announcements. I have test of honor on order and I'm getting the geishas, leave the fan off and paint it separate from the rest. What? If, oh, if have test of honor on order and are getting the geisha, leave the fan off and paint them. I love this show. Tranquil memories. Thank you so much for the follow. That's quite loud. I still might have to mute that down slightly. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the follow, man. I love seeing that new, new alert. So good. Shadow, Shadow wants to fight you for the rights to be a redneck. What? Why? Don't you dare start re that going redneck on me. That's my shtick. I'll fight you. Oh, really? I didn't really know. Too late. It's been done. Oh, no. There's nothing wrong with backing uh, Rising Sun Spieler. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's I want to do it. That's the uh, problem. Yeah, it's just that he doesn't want to spend, in my way, spend more money. <laughs> I really want to back it so much. <laughs> it's so pretty. There are so many beautiful things. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to turn down the, uh, the follower that ever so slightly. I feel like it's deafening all the people. Hey, Mini Kaizen, how you doing, man? Welcome. Uh, yeah, I discovered it. I had to rip it off. Oh, I see. Maybe, maybe we should go with fuel plushies and beanie. I was going to do a t-shirt, but maybe a beanie makes more sense considering I wear one all the freaking time. And then you can wear it on stream. I can wear my own fuel beanie on stream. Is, how, is That's pretty you, high set out. You'll it? be the co-carnage of miniature painting. The co-carnage of mini painting. Yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. Co-carnage is badass. Uh, alert box. Come on, Stream Labs, work with me. Uh, uh, I need to make food, be back when I've done that. Yeah, no worries, man. Ah, uh, Echo's in. <laughs> Echo seems surprised. I can't think why. <laughs> you looked up at the mic, it's there. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I was falling over backwards, perpetually after, after sitting on the board. Perpetually falling oh, over backwards. Shadow. New bits badge. Did you got the new bits badge? That's what he wants. <laughs> Beanie. Wait, what? Lathius, indeed. It's Lathius. It's all downhill from here, Shadow, now that you've achieved that. Has he actually got the new... I'm waiting for the new thing. It's still purple. Or is it already purple? There know. he is. Green purple. There he is. Now it's green. Way. Congrats, Shadow. New bits badge. Thank you so much for the support, man. Flick, you look much more beautiful. Oh, much, much, much more handsome. I'm not quite sure I'd take that, but don't worry. <laughs> it's true. Right, follows. Let's turn the volume down to 50. What's the what's subs on? 30. Let's just put that on 30. And 
save a thing. There we go. Beautiful. And let's go back then. Uh, okay, cool. Right, that's done. That's done. That's done. Right, I need to carry on doing this bit. Get this done quickly. And then we can get new painting. What's the time? No, I'll move on. We're not for two hours. It's two oh, wow. No, nearly three. Good lord. Okay, yeah. So we need to crack on. Otherwise, we'll be here for the Evers. I was talking to the Lethius fleet. I know. I know. <laughs> you wouldn't give me Rolf. I want a beanie. Oh, sailor. I can't publicly state that I can be bought such things. Publicly. <laughs> and if I say I'll give you one, then everyone's going to want one. I'm still talking about the beanie bits. Just in case anyone takes that out of context. Not that Twitch ever does Who, who would do such yeah. a thing? Not that Twitch does these things. Nah. <laughs> Honestly, this exhaust will be the death of me. I haven't once misquoted somebody on the internet. Never. Ever. Heresy. Uh, she's no you. problem, buddy. I love my bits. Well, thank you, Shadow. We love you back. Um, the river dragon is awesome. Oh, has he just looked at um, Rising Sun? I don't know. Because there's two. Uh, there's two Chinese. No, like, T, like which one have you looked at, man? That are very similar. Jesus Christ, the new GW Necromunda revamp is massive. Is a massive not like this. Oh, is it? I oh. kind of like the, te the, the terrain I've seen from it. I really like. You know, when you channel. You <laughs> need to make a Dr. Zeus style fuel barrel hat like the cat in the hat. Isn't that long, like, when white and red thing? Isn't that what it is, Dr. Yeah. Zeus? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is my channel now, I okay. think. Uh, yeah. I'm taking it's them over one, one at a time. <laughs> my channel now, Just Dave. absorbing them all. <laughs> Oh, what's that guy in Heroes that takes all the, uh, like, Scylla? Is it Scylla? Uh, yeah, Scylla. <laughs> just absorbing, just going I, around to... I can get down with being Scylla, he's badass. <laughs> just visiting every single streamer and just absorbing their stream powers. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Rising Sun, yeah, it was Rising Sun. Right, that's it, I'm going to have to back I really it. Wish I could I'm going to have to back it. I really wish I could find the name of the other one, it's bugging me that I can't remember it. Stream, help me out here. Stream, guys, friend, we're all friends here. Okay, now when you say things like I'll never buy miniatures again on the internet and people get mad if you kind of break those things. If I was to go and back something where I'm supporting the miniature community in the, in the area, you know, I'm giving some money to a company that it's not called mini or not, is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know which one Rising Sun is. Wow. Do you think I would morally be okay with buying more plastic? Can I back Rising Sun after saying the things I've said on my stream? Can I? I think you're seeking justification for I something might. you already know you want to do. I might be. I might be doing it anyways. I just can't tell the wife. <laughs> if the stream gives you permission, doesn't it? that means she has to let you. <laughs> That's it. The stream said I had to buy it, love. I think the new material is awesome on the other hand. Wait, what? what's Shani? Oh, Shani's in. What's he talking about? I think the new material... Oh hey, let's put 10 year old models in a new box and add some average terrain and call it a new name. Uh, it'll I help like... us sell more space marines. That's how Fragaloid's feeling. I like the new terrain. Mixed reviews so far, guys. Latest, I'm going to have a crusade over, over there when I take my trip to, over to Britain and conquer all the streams I want from my back way to <laughs> Yeah, comes over here and claim them all for his own. Stream claimer. Stream claimer, yes! Stream claimer! Got your number. Yeah, got your number. Chaotic. Uh, I also have such a huge crush on the guy that plays Sila. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty fit, to be fair. From a lad perspective, Sila's pretty cool. He's very gay as well. What else does he put? Uh, is it um, Glorious Bastards? Like, he's legit gay. Yeah, I'm sure. Right? Well, it doesn't mean I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's yours now, that's is it. That it? <laughs> yeah. Is he another wife? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's a husband. Like, husband. He would be politically husband. correct. Because <laughs> the rest of this isn't. <laughs> I'm sure he's in Inglourious Bastards as well, isn't he? I don't the remember him being in Inglourious ba Bastards. Silo, yeah. Silo was um, Spock in the Star something yeah. movies. So, Silo. Let's type Star in Silo. Track. track. Yeah, and if I go to IMDb, that was that was more like the game was that it's, he's in it's heroes. there's potential that you could you could get away with it. I'm sure he was in Inglourious Bastards. Where's it? Where's his IMDb? I don't know the cast of who were in, in Glorious. You're not confusing him with Brad Pitt, are you? No. Jesus Christ. 
How very dare you, Mr. Pitt would be mad. I mean, you have a problem, Flick. Take it from someone with a problem. <laughs> Lacquery Quinto, there you go. Thank you, Trevor. Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. You did Snowden as well. Star Trek, Gaffigan, Pitbull, Hannibal. Who the hell am I thinking of then? Control F. And glorious. Why? So I don't remember him being in Inglorious Bastards. Who the hell am I thinking of then? Is that three quintos like the actual dude? So if I go to. Has a huge crush on the guy who plays Silent. Yeah. Like yeah, that's what that's what triggered this. Like the rest of us, probably. Yeah, indeed. Uh, if you get Rising Sun, I have three other projects you should back. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe does one of them have a lady riding a fish? <laughs> yeah. I need to know the name of that project because I can never remember it. Teague says you would not be buying miniatures. It's a board game that happens to have minis in it. Ooh, Ooh yeah. That's good, Teague. You can definitely stay. Thank you very much. Feels like some class lawyer. That's there. definitely loophole there, isn't it? Any flicks? Did it, any flicks? Flick. By the way, any plans to do a horse painting tutorial in the future? Well, not. No. Stop it, Flick. You have a problem. Get some help. You might need money for a hotel soon. Says the Seppi. <laughs> Daddy claim a quick what? Stream claim, I guess. I just realised I've never painted horse before now, and, I've, and I have seven to do. Yeah, that's a problem, Gren. Good luck with that. Um, that just reminds Flickster, me. Flickster, I'm going to take all your plastic crack, not because I love you, but because I want it. I mean, I just love you, and I want you to be healthy again. Yeah, it's an addiction. I'm a I'm a man, so that works in my favour. Well, there you go. I think you mean Eli Roth. Yes, I bet you're right. I've, that sounds like I'm. Yes. Where is it? Yeah, it is. See? Looks like it. It does actually look very similar, yeah. Welcome to the dance floor. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the dance floor. Come on. That's to be fair. Welcome to the dance floor. Welcome. Welcome to drop the beat. I can understand the confusion. Yeah? Yeah. Those <laughs> come to that eyes. <laughs> that was like a bit bloodshot. Yeah. <laughs> See? Come on. Come on now. Give me a little bit there. Flick is too busy working on his video showing his setup. Wait, 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 what? Flick the back rising sun, then late back this. No, I'm not clicking it, shining. I'm not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. He looks very similar to Zachary Quinto. Yeah, Torches is all up in the nose. There you go, that's why I was on the right. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Torches. Um, Flick is too busy working on his video, showing how he set up and all that, and he's very busy with it. Yeah, I am. I'm still like that. The actual video's done. I've just not had a chance to actually edit it. I'm waiting for a video intro being done by a certain clown. Another bits and bobs. Um, oh, I can't even read who that name is. Um, Dark Radu, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream, man. Um, Latheus, do you want to say what paint do you use? Acrylic gouache. You can use. Good lord. What paint? Do you use? Uh, yes, we've been asked, uh, Dark Radu, what paint do you use? So you can repeat that, answer that whilst uh, going. Games Workshops, Citadel paints, uh, also Vallejo's uh, acrylic paint. They're both acrylic. Um, although Flick has all of his decanted into dropper bottles, but usually they look something like this. And something like this. So Citadel paints available from Games Workshop and model colour or game colour which are both available from uh, Vallejo which is spelled strange because wow. they're, they're Spanish. <laughs> I don't speak very I realise there's like a gap breaks. Um, Flickhouse is the cancer the Games Workshop paints into, into dropper bottles because the Games Workshop paint bottles are horrendous. They, uh, they suffer terribly from uh, paint drying in the back of the, the lid when you try to close it, which then stops it from closing and air gets inside and then dries out the pots. So these are these are much more paint efficient. Right. I'm 
I'm gonna think about it. I'll go and do a spray thing. So your stuff is Reaper or P3. Yeah, I, I haven't tried the uh, Reaper or P3 or Army Painter is the other one I've heard about. Uh, and there's also Scale 75, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about Scale 75 recently. But I just, I've been using Games Workshop paints since I was small, and my original reason for switching over to uh, Vallejo paints was because, as I said earlier, the, um, the postage cost to buy Citadel paints from the Citadel website was as much as the paint pod itself and so I, I still needed to look for an alternative and Vallejo was uh, was a fairly popular or well recommended one um, and they, they're fine like the the only thing I will say is be aware that there's different brands of Vallejo paint so model air color is primarily very very thin and it's intention uh, intended to be used with airbrushes but you can still use it as, uh, as more of a kind of glaze type paint um, Game color is, yeah, as I said, uh, it can be quite glossy. Uh, game color. I mean, the pots all look the same for for these different ones. Ooh, I think he has them all here. Yeah, here we go. Um, they're all quite similar, but uh, they're different thicknesses. So, model color is a matte paint, and it's the thickest. Then game color. This is glossy, about mid mid thickness, and then air is very very thin. Put these all back in the right place. <laughs> Quick, while he's out of the room, <laughs> rearrange all the paint. <laughs> Damn, no late back in bottom. Where'd you get the labels for the dropper bottles? So he just takes them off of the paint box. You'll notice these are exactly the same labels. So uh, you can just peel them. I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to do this with his pot, but uh, you can just peel the end off and they retain enough sticky that uh, they'll stick to these pots because they're obviously round also. But they're exactly the same labels, they're just the legit labels. I think Brazil is kind of prohibited for Black Games Workshop. Oh, what is that? Do you not have any... I mean, I, I don't know anything about Brazil. Do they, do they do not have... Games workshops and do not have an, an ability to be able to, uh, to ship them to you from like eBay or something, some sort of online retailer. There are quite a few online retailers who, uh, who have like 20% off or something on their, their costs. I think Flick has Goblin Gaming. I don't know if they ship to Brazil though. Um, but uh, I mean, you can check out their website, they're underneath the, underneath the video. I think he has hot links and things for that kind of stuff. I don't know, this isn't my stream and I'm promoting his sponsors, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Flick has dropped something again. What was dropped? Did I drop the paint pot? Yeah, I think I dropped the paint pot. That's fine, he won't notice. Yeah, he's going to start knitting a beanie. He should be. Surprise him with it one day. Send him a picture. <laughs> Hashtag sellout. Sellout for no money, is that still sellout? They're just an example, but from my from my purposes, they're an example of uh, of a kind of company that will do a web service that will allow you to uh, to purchase miniatures online. Uh, I haven't printed the MP. You need to get more ink. Uh, there's another streamer who you can find on the Discord called Frump Nasty, uh, who does Guild Ball. I'm not aware of anybody else on Twitch currently who's painting Guild Ball, but he would be my go-to if you have any questions about it. Uh, Flick is just outside, by the way. Uh, by the way. Um, he's, uh, he's base spraying the bike. He's base spraying this bike. And uh, I, think, I don't know if he's doing the Zenithal at the same time, but... Uh, the plan is that he's going to be painting sort of these kind of colour transitions and gradient painting and trying to get some nice smooth transitions while uh, while we go. And I'll be here kind of trying to oversee and hoping for the best. Um, I did some promotion for Goblin Gaming. Oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> and uh, <Four> times <laughs> said, said where you were, talked about paints. So, yeah. 
No. Yeah, I've been, I've been told I miss that out, but uh, I well, I'm out. not earning any money. Can I so. say that <laughs> how does that work? Yeah. You'll get a commission on the commission based on the commission <laughs> that I get. Is that how it is? A fraction of a fraction of a part. Yeah. Right, we'll wait for it to dry. I've only done it lightly because obviously speed and also yep. maybe wipe the top anyway. So. Uh, yeah, okay. Do oh, I was going to say for the black, you kind of want the black to go in all these like, we'll bits because right. it would just save okay. loads of time in the long one. Okay. Oh, I'm to keep the out of I don't know if there's any music on, by the way. I can't hear anything. So uh, I'm just going to have to take for granted that there's music going on and. I'll try not to sing independently or just hum to myself. Mm -hmm. A swivelly chair as well. My, my chair doesn't do do all of these things. I have a massive comfy chair at home. It's like one of those big lazy boy armchairs while I'm trimming. And uh, <laughs> it doesn't have this mobility. I'd, I'd just be sitting here doing this the whole time otherwise. Mm. Looking a bit like Stevie Wonder on the camera though, unfortunately. Stevie Wonder painting. <laughs> Here we go. There's a new, a new thing for Twitch. You have the collection of board games yourself and you can complete Arkham Horror. Oh, awesome. I have played I have played a bunch of Arkham Horror. It's a good game. Ooh, that was not the colour I thought it was. That's what I get for not looking at the model for a little while. where we're just glazing up and down now trying to uh, get this blend to smooth out. Yeah, from the from the sound of uh, how long you're doing the, the spray blast for, it wouldn't be too thick anyway. Yeah, we're going across like this way, like proper thing. Yeah. That's not always done, but it was just one of. It's them. just drying time then in that yeah, case. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. one here, probably in some deep, but yeah. so. Final, actually got to get to work. Shining works on the weekend. Brazil has heavy import taxes, that anything would be pricey. Um, for you, it was even more pricey here. Okay, are oh, you from Brazil? Oh, awesome, okay, I'll take off. He was saying he's struggling to get uh, to collect Games Workshop there. Oh, really? And that's why how I got onto the Goblin Gaming, because I was saying, right, there's online retailers uh, who, yeah. uh, who can do things. Online retailers, yeah, we're exactly. But yeah, import tax obviously gets around that. Um, hey, Cinder, how you doing? Welcome. So that feel new here. Well, welcome. So, um, pretty confused. If you're new here, then this, uh, this, <laughs> this will be is confusing. You're lying there. This is definitely not the usual. Uh, this is not a normal thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> so uh, just, I'll explain once again. I feel like for those of you that've been here the whole stream, I apologise for repeating myself. But we are here doing a dual stream. So this, uh, as you see in the main camera, bottom left-hand corner of the overlay, uh, is Latheus. He has his own channel, exclamation mark Latheus. If you want to go over there and give him a follow, which you should. Here, that guy, yep, him. And this is my channel, here, me, hi. So many there. cameras. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> that one. That's your face, one. There you go. <laughs> um, this is my channel normally. Um, and we're just doing a normal stream. But this is a one off special kind of thing for at least for now. We might end up trying to do some more of these uh, in different setups, different guys in you know, some different locations. Sometimes we'll be on Latest's stream, sometimes my own, um, depending on what we're doing. Um, but yeah, it'll probably be a bit of fun. So I'll bring Latest over here and do a bit of a dual thing. And we're doing like a tutorial today. so. Uh, Latest is assisting me in learning. I mean, I'm already doing glazing, but I'm, I want to um, improve my technique. So I'm here to learn about consistency of the paint, thinning down the levels, how much paint on the brush, direction of the brush, and that kind of stuff. So we're doing, um, this is something that Latest has um, painted before. So this is an example of one he's completed on his own stream. Um, so what we're doing is taking that same technique, those same blends, we're doing this kind of a, a tough blend, generally to use yellow. So we're doing yellows and reds and oranges uh, on another miniature here. So Latest has been going through the painting all of his own in the same way, thank you, thank you much, glorious, glamorous <laughs> assistant. <laughs> um, 
painting up in the same way and then I will be doing the same technique on a different miniature. So that's what we're doing here today. But, um, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. You should go watch him. Um, I'd like to think that I'm trying to learn. So yeah, myself here, um, and just upgrade. And that's what we do here. Some, most of the time when you guys watch me, you'll be learning with rather than from. But there's always things I can try and teach as well. Um, but here, we've got another streamer to try and help me. Um, yeah, so can I ask how much it would cost to get one to get into this at a beginner level? Um, it really depends on what you decide is a cost. You know, it's, it's budget dependent. So you can get into the minute uh, into painting miniatures very very cheaply. You could buy some basic miniatures off of eBay that have been pre-owned and not painted. They're like basic, I'll be cheaper. You can get uh, starter sets from somewhere like uh, Games Workshop or from some of the independent retailers uh, like Goblin Game, like you said. Um, and you can get them fairly cheaply. It depends on what your aim is. If you just enjoy painting, then you can get more paint orientated setup starters. If you want to actually play the tabletop games, then obviously there's, there's games where you can do a kickoff for them as well. Whether that's Warhammer or whether that's Infinity or Malifaux or any of the other, um, other types of tabletop games. So it really does depend what you want. Flick is really quiet. Yeah, I'm talking away from the camera. I'm talking, I'm looking at that camera when the mic's down here. That's normally my position. This, this here, this is me. Stolen. <laughs> he stolen my spot. Stolen the flickness. <laughs> um, kind of want to start a new hobby after um, to do after work in between my other stuff. Um, yeah, I like it that way for a change. Says to oh, Gilly being mean though. See, like, it's my mods that give me crap. <laughs> it's what we. That's why you get make us mods. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I make you mods. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, also there's loads of ways to get into the hobby. It really does depend on uh, how you want to, what you want to do, what your aim is. Uh, my suggestion, if you're unsure if you're going to continue doing it and just want to give it a shot, honestly, if you can do get to, get into an actual games workshop, they allow you to sit down and paint a miniature. So they'll give you a miniature and a setup and some guidance. You can sit there and spend the, whatever amount of time you want in store uh, and just see if you like the art of drawing, uh, enjoying a painting. You know. Um, if you can't do that, then yeah, buy something off eBay or buy a starter kit from some independent store and just put paint in places and see if you find it fun. Also, there are lots and lots of mini miniature manufacturers now. Games Workshop is by, by all means not the only one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like these guys in this thing, these are these are all Infinity. It's a different games manufacturer by a company called Corvus Belly. Yeah. So um, um, there's Malifaux. Weird. Yeah, so like, Weird are a company that make Malifaux. So this is something that I painted on here. Malifaux? Yeah, it's Malifaux. Really dark, but yeah. So, yeah, so there's like Malifaux from a company named, named Weird. Kingdom Death? This is maybe a, oh, a, God. Good, a, good, a <laughs> good and a <laughs> bad example that. of Kingdom Death. Oh. <laughs> Kingdom Death are known for two things. They do a horror survival game, which is very Geiger inspired with uh, lots of genitalia and scary, terrifying monsters. And then they do pin-up models like this guy here. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so that's Kingdom Death. There's also, as I said, there's um, Corpus Belly, who do Infinity. There's Weird, who do Malifaux. Kingdom Death, who, as you just seen, do some weird pin-up stuff, um, as well as their main game. But there's also loads of others as well. Warmonger and God, you could go through loads, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah really there's, there's like 30 plus companies at this point. Hey, BF guy, how you doing? Uh, if you're in the Midwest US, there is Origins in Columbus, Ohio in June, and then Gen Con in Indianapolis. Paint clinics at the cons, yeah, exactly. Well, there's, there's masses and masses of uh, tutorials online as well these days for painting. And if you're looking to get it right from the ground floor, I was saying this right at the start of the stream, the, uh, the Games Workshop videos from, uh, from Duncan, they're very good for teaching you how to go through all the basic stages and uh, teaching you all the, the techniques and how much paint you should be using. Uh, be aware that obviously they will be primarily focused on their own products for painting, but the advice that they give and what they tell you you can do is uh, is very useful. So, uh, Failing that, like there's loads and loads of streamers here on Twitch these days, and most of them are all really friendly and uh, happy to give you <laughs> happy to give you advice if you ask for it. Um, as I say, as Flick says, he's learning from me and I'm learning from other people, so Although there's still there's a lot of things that I still don't know how to do, and uh, other people have been very kind in teaching me while I've been on here, and uh, and in turn I'm also very happy to teach other people when they ask. You just ask in the in the chats of the various streamers that you see. Um, if somebody could do exclamation Discord, actually, there's uh, 
I can do it. Uh -huh. The Discord. There's two of us now. The Discord has a whole uh, whole mass of painters, and that's a very friendly community with lots and lots of people painting. Um, that you could go and join and talk to them, and they would uh, they're also happy to help. Uh, Ray Reason, I buy Reaper Minis because they are $5 each and good brush fodder. Well, exactly. Again, if you just want something to paint and don't really particularly care about a specific tabletop game or any kind of cut rules or guidelines, and yeah, again, Reaper's another miniature, a um, like good example of cheaper miniatures. I just find it a little more freeing to not have to paint for a specific. If you're playing yeah. for a game, then there's always this an obligation where you have to paint a certain amount of models to play the game. Yeah. But if you're just painting for stuff you like, then you can literally pick and mix from all the different manufacturers. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, torches uh, back in a bit guys to pop down the shops no worries I'm in another blizzard in springtime that sounds odd and to say the least we also advise you don't uh, uh, or we also give advice if you don't ask for it this is true uh, uh, Gilly's asking Sole can you give us your professional opinion about the cat man professional opinion I'm hardly professional I don't know like, give us your professional opinion about the cat man uh, what does that even mean I sexy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, professional critique of its aesthetic. I, I guess it's really my painting ability. But, yeah. Um, it seems I've run out of cat food, all right. Hey, hey, hey. WizKid has came out with a pre with a pre primed mini line that's really cheap. Two minis for about $4. Oh, that's cool. So, my question is are you happy with the cat man as he stands? <laughs> you note me. So, no, but in the essence of will I send it out? I would want to add the things I didn't get to do on Thursday stream. So that would be depth, a bit more reds in certain areas. Um, but other than that, I like his face, I like his hair. Uh, the ears, I haven't done the blacks fully, but I, I wanted to add the gloss, so that's always going to happen anyway. So I'm going to okay. gloss, gloss up the fur to make it shiny, like it's actually naturally. And I'd add some depth on his legs, and that's about it. I like the abs, I like the striations under his arms, I like his arms in general. As in, this sounds really weird, but yeah. But yeah, uh, it's the first time I've used the Vallejo colours as well. So for me, it's a skin tone test. I'm actually quite happy with it. Cool. So. Then yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that sounds like a cop out and a half. <laughs> well, no, because... Mm. So ultimately, for me, painting is like whether you're personally happy with the model. And if you want to do more to it, if you were like, what would be the next step to do with this model? Then I could give you that as an answer to that question. But I think to just generally say how does this rank as a miniature is just really unfair because obviously <laughs> everybody has brush, is it? <laughs> everybody has their own like level they're trying to paint to for different things like even me painting this and painting this I'm going to paint these to two different levels and I'm probably going to be unhappy with both regardless <laughs> so but if you're happy with the miniature then that's all good like mm. and you, you're always going to have stuff like I could always learn this I could always learn that yeah. and you could always do these extra things and if I, if you were to look at somebody else's miniature and go, oh, this is this is terrible. Why have you done this? Why have you done that? Why haven't you done this? And they might not know how to do those things that you've told them to do. And so they might just feel really bad unnecessarily because they're just at a different stage of their learning. Yeah. And so I try to avoid doing like just an outright, this Criticism. is good or bad. Yeah. I would rather say to somebody, do you want to learn uh, a next step forward from where you are or are you happy with where you are and if you already know where they want to be like Flickr already knows what he wants to do next on the model so there's no point me interfering with that until he gets to a stage with his painting where he's like I would li right, like to do this and if I know how to do that thing that he wants to know how to do then I'm happy to try and assist with learning how to do that mm. but for me to just arbitrarily go you should have done this 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 and this to it it doesn't make any sense to Flick's current stage of where he's at with his painting so. it's interesting that you say that because surely there'll be something I might not even thought about as far as like a depth thing, but I don't think I was like, like, I don't know. I like the face, I think that was good. Well, I said the other day when you were, when you were painting, I said that I would add more, I and mean, we could do this on the stream yeah, if you want. Um, I would add more. I'll bring uh, it into Zoom, so that we don't sort out the, uh, where are we? Oh my god, the camera's over here. Hey, Anna. Is that on stage, you're in? Ah, uh, she is. Hello. I've stolen Flick stream. Yeah. Uh, let's bring camera, there you go, camera's in Zoom now. Fire away. Um, as I said, I, I would have had, I'd had a tiny amount of shade on the inside of the thighs yeah, on, totally on right. here on either side. Mm -hmm. But I would probably, um, I wouldn't use the default colours I think you're using here. It's this colour that you're using for shade, yeah. isn't it? Right. So you can use this, but I would probably change it slightly and make it slightly warmer, is the only thing. Warmer is in... Um, so which is the colour you're using? Um, from this kit. So it was actually this one. 
and it does suggest to use this one, but I've never got around to even touching the model. Okay. So that might be the one I'm missing. trying to avoid that a skin tone before. No, but if you look at the uh, shape. This is the other thing. Like, I would be learning as well at that point. Because so, you're using a different color to what I would normally use. Yeah, so this is the. Uh, I'll bring this on the stream in a minute. So this is the thing you get. Show him where it's most flammable. What? Yeah, Musafi hates the miniature, by the way. He wants to burn it. <laughs> so it's here. Is... It's why the orange orange hair, he's flame hair. So let me bring this in the stream slightly. It's going to be really bright. There you go. So you can see here, this is the warmer colours here. Oh, okay. On the so that's, so I've got to this point now. Oh, so it's a different palette to what I would use anyway. So it brings up to yeah. this level. So you can see, well, if you look at the, like, that's the actual, well, this, this looks browner. That is actually, that colour there is that colour. But it's just some weird, because like it says here, to use Rojo. Yeah. Uh, sorry, there you go. There, so I got base, r red beige, which they can't see. Yeah. There you go. Red beige, light colour, and then they've got the black, red, and violet red. So I got to the point where they've added black, red here under the eye sockets and around here and then it says to start to bring up that's where the actual blending happens and then it's like that's when you start adding this suddenly it's really rosy top, yeah. so it's the glazing bit with this and I haven't done yet so I, I, I could probably add more shadows and add that in but again like you said trying to finish time I mean it depends on how much time you want to invest in each piece doesn't it as well summoned by the cat man yeah. suddenly next door's cat powers of cat what's going on in here? <laughs> So yeah, there you go. So that's where I'm at with that, with him. But it's interesting you say that. So colours, I'm on camera. Because I would be tempted to. I mean, he's very straight flesh tone with some shadow, but he doesn't have warmth to the skin. Um, in the same way, like when you look at your own flesh and you've got all these kind of pinks and oranges yeah. and all the rest of it mixed in, and so you could do very thin glazes of those in these areas like this and like in this area here because it's the curvature. It would catch some shadow from the black hit, yeah, which would then mean that you would end up with a slightly darker skin tone. Wouldn't necessarily be wouldn't necessarily be a black shadow, but it would be a darker version of this skin tone itself. But that's then once you if you did that on this section, this is part of again. You then like, have to do the rest of the map. Yeah, you? exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's a lot of extra time because then you have to do under these areas under here and then down the sides of these areas here because they're in shadow and then probably slightly in this area around here. And then you end up having to do all the way under the underside and then you're doing those out of these and then you're doing around here and then all, all the underside of this because this whole area would be in shadow as well. So it's that whole, like, if you're mm -hmm. happy with the skin where it's at, like, the next step along is a lot of extra work kind of thing. And so, especially if you're tabletop gaming, it might not be practical to do that extra step. See, if I was keeping the miniature and I was doing it through a painting ability, then I would do it. If you're just doing it for yeah. practicing, then sure, you can keep going to the cows come home. And then once you've done that, you can then go focus back with highlighting in the flesh again, because then you'd then do an extra layer where you'd like take out the muscles on the tops and you yeah. do the tops of the muscles over here. And then there's lots of like tiny glazes. Which is where today's techniques would come in with the shading. And, and the then, and so yeah, there's there's like layers and layers you can do. And then on top of that, you then do the RSL, which would yeah, then change which, all of this yeah, stuff exactly. around here. So there's like there's this there's like umpteen layers of things you could do but it might not be right for the person that's painting it like especially if they're already happy with where it's at so. the best thing to do is dress and pose like the mini and get some photos taken <laughs> so you can see realistic <laughs> shadows no. are, are you also of the zachary no uh, zachary quinto persuasion yeah i think he is <laughs> Right, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, like, the things that I always look for in miniatures are I look for clean painting, first and foremost. So I look to make sure that I can't see any brush marks on the surface, which you achieve by lots of thin layers of paint. I look to make sure all the paints are within the lines. I mean, on both of these things, fine. And then you're obviously you're advanced beyond that as well, because then you've got, I can see there's got color, there's like shadow transitions mm -hmm. in here, and you've got the eyes are painted, which is also really good, and you've got the teeth done. Um, I personally would paint him differently, and that's just me. Like I would paint it white rather than black, because I get the because I would paint this more like clouds rather than uh, yeah. fur, and that's just a personal preference thing. That's nothing he or I would have done right or wrong as a result. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> it's just uh, there's obviously there's things he could do, but then there's things I could do with this, and people were like people were really happy with this. But there's still stuff I could do with this. Like if I were to then give a critique to this, um, I need to change the blacks on all of these areas around here. I need to change the glazes because they're currently a really washed out grey and they're not actually proper light sourced. 
um, which is something that he's doing, and that's through the whole of the black all around the entire model. I thought that I thought it was um, a, the subtlety was intentional. I need to fill this dent <laughs> in the sword blade because this was a, a manufacturing error that just came in the sword blade, and I hadn't realised until I'd started painting it. And so now I have a, a chip in the blade, which I tried to make a feature of with a little uh, with a little bit of edge lining on it, but it's not it's not correct. Um, and I could go on. There's like there's always things that people can do. So you're like looking at it from a critical thing. It's, you can look at it with, do you like it? Yes, I like it. Do you, mm. Could you improve on it? Yes, you could improve on it. Should you improve on it? Not necessarily for what he needs it to be for. Yeah. Um, but those are all separate questions. And uh, how does it? How do you look at it with your, <laughs> with your critical analysis kind of thing? It yeah. depends on what people ask for. That's why it's always really hard to when somebody asks you for an opinion on something on the stream. And I try to get people to be specific with are they just showing off the miniature and they're happy with it, or are they looking for next step advice, or that it's missing something and they don't know quite what needs doing, or there's lots of different um, different ways of approaching how completed a miniature is painted. Uh, so yeah, it's a really weird question. Uh, I hope that kind of it went through, well. Gilly's not even replied. So I, I think you've, you've, we've we've successfully confused him or and rambled and enough that between the two of us, exhausted all the uh, options. <laughs> Basically, there's stuff I could do if I want to take to the next level, but I'm not going to because I want to give Orc Pride his mini and I want to move on. Which is exactly where you need to be with it. Yeah. And that's the same for these as well. Oh, I know. So, it's different though, isn't it? <laughs> the only thing, uh, when I looked at these actually, the only thing I would change to this, and again, this is a personal preference thing, not something you should or shouldn't do, is I would black line these. These divide lines and the I lines around all of this. That. And that's because I like the aesthetic of blacklining, but that's not something you should do, and it's not something you've done wrong. That's but just because I like blacklining. No, no, it's just because I like blacklining. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's just a personal. Literally, when I looked at these, I didn't think there was anything right or wrong. I just thought I really wish they were blacklined because <laughs> I like blacklining. So there's a very slight. I know. Get, you know, there's a very slight yeah. overpaint there. I know. But like I said, do I keep going? <laughs> or do I just send them no, they're, they're, to the Gonazal who's been waiting for so they're long? Good. They're good. So... I think the only thing I would actually change is the bit that you already knew you need to change yeah, it. I and that's it. the lid of this paint pot here. Which is horrible. It just went wrong. No matter what I did, I couldn't get that vertical right. I am like, I might just do the same vertical I've done there on this now, but this is more of a yellow. Because this, this whole yeah, pewter pot was can, different to this guy. If you can do this on this, that would be perfect. I can't just do that then. But it's just that's more. Are there three different styles? That's yellowed. Yeah. That's white, and on the back is high contrast, as in just cartoony. More. Okay. That's more dirty miniature style. That's Trevarian style. That's just a generic style. That's literally what it oh, is. On this, this so back, the bit of the cloak, of the bit of the arms. Yeah. So everything that's on him. So cloak, back and. I, I, I'm pointing correctly. I don't know. Yeah. 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 So the cloak there, the cloak there, the camera. arms there, and there are all the style that dirty miniatures have told me. Yeah. If you go to the front and look at this one, this is more. This uses the Japanese uniform, white and browns, and it's like the Ben Comets style. Trevarians and Ben Comets, yeah, Trevarian. both together to the same thing. That original one was just one I found on the internet, was just a yellow, and again, okay. my first go at it. So I started with that first and then moved yeah. up. So you can also see the progression in my ability and understanding. Mm -hmm. So it's like that one, then that one, then that one is the way it went on that miniature. Yeah. So, but again, I could change that, but then they'd never get their miniature back. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the problem with commission work. If yeah. uh, if we if you, as a as an artist, yeah, as an artist, <laughs> if you were to keep going until you were happy, it would never be finished. Yeah, still more you could do with Catman mini flick. Yeah, indeed. Oh, Catman mini flick. Yeah, I suppose. Isn't that that's miniature? Uh, I don't like black lining on fabrics. Oh, interesting. It's not for everybody. It literally, it's not. I mean, it's this is a, a personal preference. I just like the uh, the kind of illustrative, like comic book style to miniature painting, and that's why I black line my minis. <laughs> it does help to find surfaces on some things, especially like mechs and that kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, but yeah it's just a personal preference. You see what Miss Effie put? We are witnessing the end of a friendship. Different tastes in male fur bikinis <laughs> and everything. I know, what are we going to do? <laughs> That's it, we're over now, we're done. Someone hold them back, they could be blood. <laughs> <laughs> fur will fly. <laughs> fur will fly, yeah. Oh dear. Right. Okay, cool. So where are we at that one? Your current stop mat. I oh, need to do this right, now. Anyway. This one is basically yep. dry. It is dry. It is dry, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's no reflection. So I'm just going to do what the like normal 45, mm -hmm. eight inches as usual. Mm -hmm. uh, your usual elephant. Which way though? Normally I go front and back, but it, like front is that way, back is that way. But like it's a sideways on miniature. I mean, you don't have to zenith it. You can just do raw paint over the top of it. But... 
Depends on what colours you're going to paint. What colours are you going to paint? Well, we're going we're gonna to make it a Eugene Bright, can't we, for fun? Are you going to make it a Eugene? Oh, I'm going to okay. do exactly the same then, style as that. Okay, then you, you need to Because you've got the colours there that I've been... Then we can actually see the blend and we'll know if it works. So. Okay. Is that cool? Okay. Yep. So you're just down either side once. Down each side. Left yep. way, each way. 45 degrees, um, 8 inches away. It, it might need a... Because I only do... This is only two. This is like once and then once. So you, from you each side. motion twice there, sorry. You so like once from each side. So it's one pass. And then one pass. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Same thing as me. Good, make sure we're on the same, same page. Um, you're going to have to listen for any follows and all that kind of jazz because you'll all watch them. that. Exactly. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm not shaking that on camera. So. <laughs> That's a gift waiting to happen. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, do -do -do. Wizard of the Coats. Unpainted is cheaper than Rupa. Ooh. There were new Wizard of the Coats miniatures. I haven't even seen them. Look how the amount of pissing about you can do to fix a painted model. There's a point where you have to call it done or just start over. Exactly, torches. Very much the case. Hey, welcome back. Hey, you Scott. Oh, hey, hey. We were just talking about when a miniature is actually ever finished. And the answer is never. But yeah, for for bizarre questions that they don't really have a uh, an answer one way or the other. That's one that I always struggle with, and that's why it's uh, I don't tend to give a huge amount of feedback when people show me miniatures that they painted unless they ask for specific paint back feedback. Because you could have somebody come uh, come into a stream and go, "Oh hey, I painted this thing. What do you think?" And uh, you could give them this. 10 page dissertation on all the things they could do to improve it uh, trying to be helpful and they w they'd finished <laughs> that, that was like that was the, the peak of their ability and they'd done everything they could do and they were like really happy with the result and you just pissed in their Weetabix and uh, say shit in their bonfire either e equally bad but uh, um, so yeah so I, I'm always a bit weird with that question specifically It's time to put down, yes. That is a big part of miniature painting. Knowing when you've spent enough time on a model. And that can be different depending on whether you painted like display or tabletop or for a board game or that's why I tend to have kind of rough bands of when I like for a tabletop I kind of spend like four to six hours on a mini depending on how oh, big it is. And time for, investment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And for um like board game will be an hour maybe for a miniature because they're gonna take a lot of wear and tear from finger finger use. Um, and this guy here, he was like 30 hours, which is a lot of time for me to paint a single miniature, and I was just really done with him at the end. Quit, 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 quit. Oh, just he's getting on around, everywhere at random. It, up to you, Miss Effie. <laughs> up to you. Uh -huh. I'm saying the idea is to try and avoid that if possible. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're still continuing, just continuing the conversation oh, okay, from cool. before. Uh, hey Gangan. It's definitely a bell call, isn't it? Oh, Gangan then. Oh, <laughs> Mama flicks in. I've stolen his stream. It's mine now. <laughs> hey, we're back. Scott's back as well. See, I've even, you got, missed the I've even got his hat. Yeah, <laughs> she'll recognise that as well. <laughs> so, AV6 Scott is now joining the channel. He's the guy that I was on about um, that is doing the same bike we're about to do some glazing on, uh, but he's doing it in a non metallic metal style over in his channel. So, those of you new followers that you were asking about that, go and, go and give him a follow. That's him. He's in chat now. I think he's playing with lawnmowers at the moment. No, no, they're back. Well, they were. They're back now. They were playing with lawnmowers. Um, uh, uh, now I went to say time for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Turn. I was going to say, I just have this mental image of, uh, of Scott and Nikki pushing the lawnmower together. Yeah, I'm, they, they both, both hand in hand together. Yeah. I can I can definitely see that. Or maybe no, I reckon uh, I reckon Nikki will be talking and Scott will be pushing. I reckon. Is Nikki like sitting in a on one of those like recliners with the sun just absorbed <laughs> That's it. sunbathing? Go yeah. come on, no yeah. faster. No faster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, caught yeah, after a day's work. Hi, Flick. Hi, Latest indeed. And and then Flick was gone. Oh yeah, indeed. Yeah, I had yeah. to go. Hey, and Ross, 
I'm never happy with it, so no harm done. No, not at all. It? It's it's th that's the problem as well. Like, because there's I could take as that's what I said. Like I could take this, which is yeah. finished for most people, and display cabinet for a lot of people. I could take this to another level beyond where it's at, but it's not uh, to describe all the things that I would need to do. That like where do you stop? So it's yeah. it's way easier for you to say to come in and say. This is the miniature I've finished. I've painted this arm. How could I improve this arm? Like, what's the next step for this arm? Like, a single step and do that. Because you might... I might give you a list of 20 things and you're bored after the first two or you don't know how to do the first two so it takes you extra time to go and research them or something. So, like, learn learn the steps one at a time and improve your painting bit by bit. It's like, why well, each time I do a new miniature you try and, like, learn one new thing on that miniature rather than learn all the things on that miniature and it sucks because like you see all these people doing amazing stuff like I look at Trevarian and Kane and all these golden demon winners and think oh they're doing all this crazy stuff and I really want to be doing that but the reality of it is that there's a long process of learning that they went through to get there they didn't just suddenly go I'm gonna Ding. paint yeah. every step on this miniature today and learn it all in one go there was lots of like in between stages that got there yeah and that's the key thing to remember a lot of it you know I've seen people already going and doing, including myself, to go like, let's try and do a technique by using their style and assuming it's just going to work first time or like trying to you know, jump steps. It's just time and practice, like anything, isn't it? Everybody has their own style as yeah. well, which changes things. Like I tried to do the the Ben Comets. Um, yeah. Uh, what's it called? High the contrast non-metallics. Super high contrast yeah. non-metallics, and he uses a lot of white in his painting, and it's just not quite for me. It's not quite my style. But what I did do was I took his techniques and, and implemented them, added them to my own stuff. So uh, I still learned a whole lot from it, but I didn't I didn't exactly do what he was teaching. Is it? Sorry, I noticed a big gap on the um, overlay. I was like, what the hell? Oh, of course, it's the first of the month, isn't it? Right. Um, whispers. Shh, don't tell anyone, mate. Oh, dead. Oh, I see. Dead and already taking a lane. I just woke up. This is not Flick. <laughs> <laughs> this is Flick, that's the point. Yeah, that, that was the joke. That was the April Fool. But also, in fairness, it, our plan wasn't to do April Fool's. It just happened to fall on that day. We were, yeah. we were going to do this normally anyway. And it was like, oh, actually, that would be quite fun. So it, rather than going and promoting the label was going to be here, I was promoting that I was doing a Saturday stream and that you should definitely check it out. But now I can do it. I didn't advertise because I didn't have a clue what was going on, no. what day it was as usual. So <laughs> it all worked out. It's all right. I did my bit. Um... No worries, Lee. Oh, yeah, you read that. Um, still quicker than Flickster. What? Scott just randomly attacking me. What do I do now? What was he doing with me? I would give him a shout out, and now he's having a go at me. Something to do with lawn mowing. Something to do with, well, doing the lawn quicker than me. Yeah, I guess so. I don't even have a lawn, really. Um, Anabolic, how you doing, man? Uh, if you're a war gamer, there's definitely danger of spending so much time painting that you'll do by the time you're done, everyone's moving on to a different game. Yeah, well, that's the other thing as well. There's, like, deadlines set by the actual game events. And tournaments, I, I had exactly so. that problem, actually, with the, the tree folk that I painted and the, uh, mm, the Skaven. Yeah. yeah, so both of those. The Age of Sigma was an escalation league, so they started off with the starter box set right. uh, on the first week. And then everyone was supposed to be painted by the end of the second week, and because I didn't start mine like building and painting on the first week, by the time I actually got around to painting and building them, like, it took I was like a week afterwards, and then I was irrevocably a week behind if I had to carry on every time. So it just wasn't worth me trying to catch up because yeah. I had to done masses of offline painting. And uh, the same for the blood bottle, I was painting those for like two weeks, and then I'd missed the league. But... Yeah. Um. A hat party, indeed. Uh, I know I missed it. Oh, okay. Uh, Torch and Flickster and Lathe. Uh, here's a chapter I did back in 2001. My first attempt at black armor and a winter theme. He's got to a point where I said, nope, put it down. It's not like a grand I still don't know. I still don't know how to do black armor correctly, as this is a testament to. I was looking on um, mentors, is it miniature mentors? That, that there's a black specific guideline on how there's, they do there's it. There's a few and different ways they of... do it in like with blues and very yeah. stark edge lining. There's I'm a few a different of. ways of doing black. That looks really cool. Oh, they bought the base, the snow base, the like clumps of snow. But again, this is like 2001, so you know, obviously the first response I would say, obviously, is that we have to admit, oh, I'm not trying not to stream, let's just do that. My first response would be that the paint thing is, but I'm sure Greg's aware of that. There you go. So this is, what, what's the... Use actual gold, the paint, the gold detail. 
uh, my first attempt at black armor and a winter theme. You got to the point where it's like, no, you put it down. Yeah, you can keep going and going and going. Some, some people will pull 20, 40 hours in a minute because they like painting, but what do you do with it then? You're too afraid to play with it for fear of damaging the paint. Uh, well, if you. The, you'll find that, I mean, because I, I say I spent 30 hours on this guy and I'm going to play with him, and he's already been chipped twice. Like, I chipped the paint off the front and off of his head, and I just repair it and then carry on. Yeah. Um, and that's just. Loads of protection, best you can. Really people with the. Yeah, maybe. put a bunch of, well you have to be careful with super thick because it can destroy the paint underneath it, but mm. it can like leave, it can do this weird white frosting thing in the recesses, if you make it too thick, but uh, yeah, I mean, people who love painting and their primary enjoyment is the painting, they'll probably be quite happy just playing with them when they're painted that much. I mean, if you're painting for display as well, that's just a different entity entirely, so. Um, something I'm curious about, I don't know what you just said there, about sh um, you, how you ship those guys without destroying them. Well, you can get, so there's loads of different travel case options. A lot of people use um, magnets and have metal, uh, magnets in the bottom of the minis and metal shelving, which locks them in place. And obviously then they're protected in like a big box or storage carrier, that's one option. I mean, we all use foam, uh, old foam briefcases with cutout slots, but again, there's obviously there's still that rubbing, it's still gonna happen. And the main thing is not the travel, it's the handling itself. Obviously, you know, the oils on your skin and just generally picking it up, knocking it, fingernails, all that kind of stuff. So it's really a preference. And that's why a lot of people will uh, commission painters to do like a tabletop where it's good enough and, and to stand out, but not so much that you wouldn't want to dare and touch it. And that's where there's different people, some people like myself, most of my stuff tends to be for fun of painting, therefore goes on a display case or whatever. But that's going to change the infinity you see um, that uh, Lathe is doing now. I've got my own versions that I would painting up to try and actually use as well. So I'm going to try and make myself go to a certain level and stop as well. So again, everyone's different. Um, I don't know how I'm going to transport mine. I'll probably end up getting one of those set cases with with the magnet probably. But obviously there's a, there's a um, cost involved. You can make your own. There's, you know, again, there's loads of variant ways. Just being careful. Carry them one by one and walk to wherever you're going. <laughs> um, you're in a gravity engine where they're sealed in front in the middle it, of a tub. Yeah. That's it. Float. Uh, you need to paint that as well. Mm. I need to paint the yeah, idea. You're right. I need to stop. Okay, cool. That's perfect timing then. Do, do, do. Oh, we need to check. Yeah, um, use that chair. Can you, um, can you sit? You don't have to ask close to you. I love this show. Uh, I'm going to take the outside stream around, do you need uh, a drink thing? Yeah, for it. Okay. I'm going to use this chair and leave it behind me. Streamer watching in Titan Boom like shit about. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I drive this out of the way and you can shift you wherever makes sense to you. People Jenga. Yeah, people Jenga indeed. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the head headphones on my left ear. Yeah, you're going to from back here. Oh, you can watch the screen there. <laughs> Right. Multiple streams you're walking in. <laughs> right. Get as close as you can within reach of the Okay, so if I try and drop this back in there. So now we're going to watch me fail horrendously at doing this myself. Yeah, I'm going to use my one because I'm like, on the exactly what mine does. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. And that's yours. That's your only one. Right. Right. That's, oh my god, I think it's over moved. Now we can put this here, back here again. Uh, could you bring the mouse over this way slightly so we can mess with the zoom? Can you move that out? No, 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 no. Oh, Let me just do that. There you go. Sorry. Just reach over you a second and let's just make sure that the camera's on the this two. Yeah, it does. Look, well, we, <laughs> look, look at the top <laughs> camera. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, did you just Craigasm? Yep. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Right. I feel really actually high now, as in like physically high. Can't yeah. remember the ball now. Like, what the? Me right. Too, me too. I feel, I feel like. Uh, oh my god, is April Fools indeed. Oh my god, there's so much chat to catch up on. I'm just going to skip loads. No mind. And thank you for the shout out. No worries, man. I'm only kidding. It's fine. Uh, I really struggle with the black until I use blues and greens indeed. Um, because I mean, I'm happy with how it turned out, and I'm tempted to strip and repaint, but I want to keep them as is. Keep them if they're, they're if they're miniatures that you like, you enjoy, you have memories with. Keep them. Trust me. All the stuff that we've been having fun with here with the stream is miniatures that I would like. Oh my god, I definitely want to paint that again. But it wouldn't be. Well, we wouldn't have fuel if I'd have got rid of it. You know. So there's some I've already, I have got rid of, and I regret getting rid of. There's some that I still have. So. Um. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't strip him. Maybe get another model. That's what I would say. Go find if you can. 
like on eBay or something, go find another model exactly the same and paint them up next to them. Because that's how I started doing the stream, didn't I? I did the Eldar for the same thing. I've kept the Banshees that I think are quite terrible now, but at the time I was very proud of. So I took one of them and I did another one. Um, sorry, I did one more time. It's weird. Um, War Dog showing his drop pod, and it took me a long time to get everything perfect. Let's have a look. Let's bring that over here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. This is my normal freaking tank thing. It's always really bad, actually, and a lot of painters have really bad posture when they're I'm painting. already following. And you should, you should always try and... Well, I'm still like this, but I mean, I could reduce this slightly, but right it doesn't go down any yeah, further. Well, it's really so. hard because of having to see over all the apparatus as well. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, I'm and that's why I have bad posture when I paint usually, it's because I'm usually, like, hunched over the, over the camera and I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Yeah, man, people don't know the hardships. <laughs> the hardships of painter-wise, yeah. Right, so you used a triple zero on the normal range. Well, I'm going to use a zero because that's all I've got, really, and it's a slightly bigger surface. A triple zero on the what, then? You use a double zero a double on the... Zero. Yeah, and I've only got a zero. I don't okay. own a double zero. Sure. So we're going to go one level up. You're, so, you're on a bigger surface, though, anyway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, sorry, this is War Dog's uh, drop pod to ever get everything perfect. So because of things and issues with Instagram <laughs> nightmares you have to do this every freaking time to actually get to see anything that's cool man like, look at the inside that blue's badass <laughs> it's a very similar scheme to my Eldar with the, my sweeping hawks and the black and the white I quite like that look I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it again if it was a choice but um, right okay so throw them in a plastic bag you very compact yeah that'll work I like it yeah throw them in a plastic bag <laughs> I missed a follow. I didn't hear a follow. Did the alert come up? Did it make this noise? Oh, I know you can't. Yeah, War Dog. I'm so sorry, man. I had the headphones in as well. That's interesting. No, I must have been with shopping chairs. It must have been. I'm so sorry. Uh, War Dog, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate that. I apologize. Um, uh, so obviously, this is not a normal situation. We've got a guest. Um, at least this is here, another streamer. Um, so yeah, the alert went off. I just, I must have just had my headphones out. We were moving about, so I apologise. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We were swapping. There we go. Mystery solved, guys. Right now, first thing I'm gonna do. Is, yeah. Okay. What did I say? Just swapping. Oh, just swapping. Yeah. Oh, giant with the host. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Right. Obviously, I will leave this like here-ish on my way. But this guy is going right out of my way of me daring to break <laughs> this beautiful thing. Right. So I'm gonna put you. Where am I gonna put you? That's safe. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, cool. You do things. Right, so obviously we're going to bust out the normal palette again. So we're going to switch to my palette and switch to me painting. So this will be me trying to take advice and imitate effectively. Why has that moved so much? It must have knocked it by accident. So give me a second. There we go. That's better. Way. Right, so same thing. So we start with our mid tone was Troll Slayer, which used a thin mm -hmm. over the central. So yeah. first of all, Lighting on the bike. Now, this is a much bigger surface area. You, when you did this, we were having a. You had a direct light source, or you, no, no, the light was up here. So, so you chose the highest point. Well. So yeah, I chose an arbitrary light source, which is kind of. Oh, I'm not showing them. Let's just do this. Yeah, yeah over his arm, so it was like in that direction. Arm, yeah. Okay, so and usually I choose it off to one side, either to the left or to the right, kind of 45 degrees up in that direction. Oh, it's, I love this. It's nothing. I love this show. Way, Sin Reborn. Thank you so much for the follow. I love it. I, love it. I, mean, I feel like I want to add some sort of noise to that initial animation because it's silence and then he squeezes and goes, I love this show. <laughs> it's a new alert. Thank you so much, Sin, for the, uh, for the follow there. Welcome to the stream. Uh, two guys, one mini. One bits cup. Yeah, indeed. Uh, the bits cup. Oh, i tell you what, I might get away with emptying it in a minute. It's got all those extra bits in it where I was uh, testing last night. Right, anyway, yeah, so 45 degrees from the top. Like area down. So if we were to say this was the front of the bike, mm -hmm. would you go 45 areas and point it like have a different? Or is it easier to say right, screw it, going from the half or? Because obviously this is quite a big well, you miniature. Can count, you can count both sides of the bike as separate sides, light sources. Because it's going to be pretty rare that people look at the bike just from the front. Yeah, true. So we could say that if that was our light source and it's going to be coming from above, like here ish. Is that so what we're you saying? Want to aim for. Let's have a look. So. The lights come either from like this angle or from this angle. Right. So I would say front right hand corner would make sense. So sure. each time's front there. Yeah. So the re so the, the bonus of doing it from the front right hand corner is mm. that your primary highlights are just for this one. Sorry. 
using a, a thinner brush tip is easier. Nikki loves the new alert. Yes, that's another Blitzqueak special, that one. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm so chuffed with it. So we're managing to keep fuel engaged and um, obviously gear. So. Right, you're gone. So you were saying, so we're trying to keep... Um, so the advantage of having the light coming from this direction is that you get a nice shot colour gradient down the uh, yes. side here and then it will go off around it. If you have so the light coming from this side, it's going to put your main light source like here and then it will go off around and there'll be a lot more of this will be in shadow, yeah. which will look a bit weirder from... So from what there. we're saying here is the actual the vertical the height is going to be like down here, isn't it? Oh, sorry, you can't yeah, see it. So there'll be it's a down there. line down the centre. Yeah. Here, which would be the, the main... You can even use that as the main direction of where your light source is coming from. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we're going for 45 from the front. Then we're gonna use this first. I'll mix it up. Um, we're then gonna do. Uh, I love this show. Yay! Thank you, Cinder. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate all the follows today. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content here, don't just follow me. Exclamation mark, Latius. Make sure you follow Latius as well. The lovely chap here who's giving us all the help and advice, and is uh, running this tutorial class. It's a class, basically. He's teaching. So obviously we've had the demo already, so now we're going to watch me fail miserably as I try and use what he's uh, been saying and teaching. And it's different for me, because my style of the way I've been learning to glaze myself and my own. I've done glazing before, this is not like a completely new thing, but it's more about the amount, look at the paint on my, look at my palette cam now. The difference in paint, I might have to put a bit more on that. Cause no, no, that's it, that's all the paint. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at this. Look, look at these blobs. This yeah, is, look how much there is of this one, though. These are blobs that have spread out over time. Well, yeah, but if you need more, then you put more on the separate blob. Okay. Because otherwise, what will happen if you use a big blob of paint on your thing, then you'll get halfway through it, and then the, rest, the other half will start to dry. Yeah, I've been doing that. On the skin tone on Catman, I had to add water. and. Not only do you end up... Yeah, don't, yeah. as soon as you start to add water, you've got those... You'll still have some, like, a skin of paint then mixed in. Imagine, like, custard. Yeah. It's exactly like custard. Like you'll end up with that skin then mixed in with the rest of the custard. So you get those nice lumpy bits, which are tasty in custard. But <laughs> awful in paint. Yeah, indeed. He's uh, um, you. It, um, but so yeah, I say go give him a follow, guys, please, and think, and uh, show the love to him as well. Right. So first yeah, thing is like yeah, small amounts of paint. And if you run so out, you add more paint. Slightly. The joy of the dropper bottles actually. This is so mm, much nicer than going to actually. They are. So okay, it's like him. Again, Gilly's a hall monitor. Gilly's the hall monitor, is it? Yeah. Oh, working. Oh, sorry. Before, just check one more work in progress before we get involved. So sorry. Um. Uh. uh blah, 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 blah. What am I doing? What would you do without your mods? I don't know. What, what shenanigans were going on? Did I miss something? Or oh, the mod telling me something? Well, it wasn't me. I'm here. Yeah. Well, I said one of my <laughs> one of my mods is sat here tinks around a paint. So yeah. Um. My fifth edition Eldar that we never were were going to be orange purple though, were they? Oh, Kirby's here. Hey man, how you doing? Welcome. I can't say it's probably funny that I... Uh, it's probably funny that I should be, but I can't help but thinking learning with Latius as a public access show, including a rainbow and a logo. Hello, matey, and potentially a cat flick puppet friend. That's amazing. That might have to happen as a logo for next time. We're going to try and make it into like a semi-series as well. We'll, we'll switch it up. Sometimes we'll be Latius, sometimes we'll be here. Um, and obviously different locations as well. So we'll work it out. See if it become a thing. If we enjoy it. Oh, Paris. Oh, if you Paris. guys enjoy it as well. Oh, yeah. Paris. That's it. <laughs> Exotic locations. Exotic locations. Oh yeah. Nothing but the greatest content here on our channels. <laughs> there you go. But welcome, Kirby. Um, okay, cool. That come out, man. Okay, doing shenanigans. Indeed, shenanigans is BF. Yeah. What were they swapping? This is getting weird. Chairs, locations, positions and cameras, nothing else. We specified chairs. We did specify chairs. Nikki loves a new alert, that's awesome. Jaws theme for the intro. <laughs> then I love this show. Okay. That's a tangent. Working on this is chaotic. What are you working on now, buddy? Oh, cool. Oh, this is your sculpting, isn't it? Oh, awesome, man. I'm too scared to do sculpting. If I start doing sculpting, man, there's another avenue of chaos and things to learn. <laughs> I think it's a bit flat, the torso, I mean. Uh, I honestly do... I wouldn't come to me for tri for first sculpting. Traverian, uh, Inspector Dave, Manke, uh, Dr. Barbados, Joxol. These are all amazing sculptors. Exclamation mark sculpting in the chat will give you the shout out to their channels. Go and watch them. They'll ask them the questions. They'll give you so much better advice than I can. I daren't even suggest any kind of feedback chaotic. Um, I don't even want to read what Frags put. That's weird. Uh, Dr. Lay is giving a lecture indeed. Um, War Dog says I love the Templar stuff. Did I miss another link? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. I think we're up. All right, cool. Let me crack on actually do some painting. Otherwise, we're run out of time. So, 
I'm alive, says Man Festival. Well done. How's the hangover going? I think you should, you, you should get two microphones set up if you do a duo in the future. Yeah, well, obviously this wasn't in, as well set up as we'd like it to be. And originally, we were going to have two cameras and I'd have the mic central. But we just honestly, we came home, we got here, got home. And then because due to traffic, I was late getting home anyway. We basically just sat down and went live. It was, that's why I was prepping a miniature on stream. So, right. So I start off with this curved area then, because I think this yeah, is where we've been focusing. So, so if I just do the orange, the whole of this surface for now, yeah, the whole way across it, I'm going to turn. Do the other side for the purpose of the learning. Here. Yeah, because you want to paint the flats as well. All right, so we're going to do it across all the way down to here in the orange with no... So you're going to do that whole band, yep. And up here as well? If it's part of it. Yeah. Start off with just paint, paint that whole thing in the orange. Okay. You, you'll paint that separate band separately, because obviously the... Every new surface is a different, slightly different reflection. Yeah, so again, this is what I would do, is like, that, that's too thick for me normally. So but you're, you're on quite a large surface as well, so you can smooch it around. Okay. Yeah, so that's not going too much to all around. Yoink. Yeah, the thing um. with using the, uh, like a, a glaze, uh, what's it called, glaze? Talk up a bit louder, you're a bit quiet for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger uh, surface area. The first brush technique that I did, the one that skips loaded steps. Oh, the loaded brush. brush. Yeah. By doing a loaded brush, the uh, yeah yeah it waters it down naturally, it just masses anyway. Yeah. Okay, so cool. yeah, you can probably up that, <laughs> mm. up the paint load a little bit there, because mm. that is really really thin. You're gonna have to do like 20 coats to get that to come. Yeah, the indeed. That's better straight away. I'm just scared to put so much paint on. This thing where I'm like, oh god, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna move about enough, or I'm gonna cause a. No, you can still see from the way the pigment's pooling, and that it's still more water than it is paint. Like here in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching on the camera. Can you see it probably there? Yeah. Though? Let me just do the zoom actually. Look, whilst you're doing that, let me get the focus right from where I'm gonna be relaxing because that's. There you go. That's better, isn't it? You can see what's going on now. So you can see how it's like for me it's thicker here at the top slightly yeah that would concern me normally but now i'm gonna let it dry yeah. and go back again that's, that's what you want all of it right that's weird it's the, one of the tunes that i, I ha have in my normal favorites has just come up in this uh uh what's it called it num copyright sound twitch playlist so i feel like i'm on my intro so me? Yeah. The hitbox is below you. Well, I was average at best. I had a fairly average several characters and nothing special in any of them, which is why the time investment wasn't worth it for me. Yeah, well, the combos and the super I could do through all the uh, tutorials. I could go through all of the challenge mode when that was released. I could hit most of the combos that I was aware of, but I wouldn't do it consistent enough to make it a go. But my problem mainly was time. It was like learning everybody else's moves to know what to expect and what they can do and playing the footsies and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Oh, the Christ. Games, so a lot yeah. This is looking fine, but you need to give it time to dry before you do it like Okay, so I'm going too quickly, mate. I can't... Ha time because to dry. What will happen is... I mean, you can see it. You can literally see it drying as you're watching it, because the, the shine, the white shine of the light will go away as the, as the surface dries. Yeah. Um, that... But if you don't allow it to dry, then all you'll end up doing is you're Tearing just pushing it. all the pigment yeah. around that's already on the surface. Okay. And that's the thing with just all glazing anyway. There's a lot of... Patience in glazing. I mean, you kind of get away with a whole bunch of stuff because uh, you're painting with such thin paints so that the uh, mm -hmm. glazes dry really fast. Are you good to go again as well? Mm hmm. I've done it, Gilly. Stop whinging. God, you try and do a favour. You can always, you can always, um, the other link you want to do if you want to um, do some Trevarian is, um, down below, there are two miniatures left that Trevarian is sculpting for this stream. Yeah. So that's the other way that works. I thought that's too much war again. Let me see. Uh, Fragloid the bike is this. No, <laughs> that blurry visioned bike. It's fine. I didn't want to get in the way of your painting. <laughs> it's fine. It's alright. Pencil see ya. Yeah, how do you even say that? Peninsula. Pen Penthesilia. Penthesilia, sorry. Penthesilia. Penthesilia. That makes more sense. So Penthesilia is the bootleg version. There were two rele two versions released. And we're using this as our good example for glazing technique because it's a large surface area. See, I know that Fragnose is going to be as well, so he'd be able to make it out from the, the box. 
Oh, I see. I wouldn't advise you don't do that. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, that might cause us problems. <laughs> um, so yeah, you spelt sculpting wrong, Gilly. <laughs> All right. So again, same consistent like that for this larger surface area. Yeah, yes, you go, but start at a different point. So, so like you down start at the same point every time, you're always going to end up with a primary build-up of colour in that space and then it'll get less overwork. Okay. So if you're, especially when you're base coated like that, if you start at a different point each time, because your your paint will go on thickest at the point when you first apply the brush when you've only got the paint on the end of the brush. Yeah, because, you know, there's more the material there on the brush, yeah. yeah. And then you're probably going to need another one and yeah. that's when you start at the back end of it and then you're probably most right. of the way there. Right? <laughs> yeah, but I saw my own error when I checked, friend. Yeah. Thin those coats of paint. Yeah, thin those coats of paint. Oh, yeah. This is all, pretty much all of uh, when, you, when you start to paint. Yeah. But, uh, when, you, when you start to enjoy painting, I kind of put it this way, because when people paint for gaming, they don't care, they just sort of slap the paint on usually and kind of get it done as quickly as possible. And when people are painting for their own enjoyment, and you don't want to see brush marks on the surface anymore, uh, you start to care about like finding ways to make that not happen. And so yeah, you yeah. have to. Have... But, like just to be clear as well, like this isn't anything new to me. It's just more about enhancing and improving the technique and understanding I've been using. So I've already thinned my paints for years, or since I've been doing it, and I've already started to learn to glaze. So the last minute that I painted what was glazed properly with these dancers, um, which is all done the same technique. But this was my first ever attempt at this, at this scale. I'd done a bust before that, like a larger model. Um, but looking at this, I, I, I can see issues where I think I could do it better or, or different next time. So what I'm bringing in here is someone who's obviously very, very good and more, had far more experience to try and improve what I was doing. So this is more, shut up. <laughs> it is, you are, tough. Accept it, you are. So the idea is to, uh, to reinforce what I already think I know and also help me improve in the consistency of the material like I was already straight away I'm using too much water on the brush and then not enough material in places and I'm starting in the same places so it's things like that that will help my smoothness of my base coats and yeah and hopefully overall the finish from the miniature so this is just a base coat this has already taken me what four attempts to do this one part and I'm not caring too much about what I'm painting it this is normal anyway as I said it was like eight layers I think it was to go through the orange on the arm on that arm, yeah, and it was probably more than eight layers on a lot of the spaces on the Grigio when I was doing him, because I haven't, uh, I haven't done any, anywhere near, like, as good, uh, <laughs> as anything face spray over I love this show! Like oh, Tigger, thank you so much for the follow, man. Welcome to the stream. Um, alright, cool, so, uh, one and a half thins goat. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen this water video yet. I'll have to watch after the stream. How did the cat man turn out? Um, Catty. He won't be seen on stream again, but we might change it a little bit. Um, unfinished, says... Kelly says unfinished. It's not unfinished. It's just not done. Right, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do it from this point at the back here because I don't feel like the back bit. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just one more. Yeah. So I'm just reinforcing my own understanding that's, of That's the sort of going by eye as well. You might yeah. be able to tell when you can see the grey or the black through it. Um, sometimes you might even want to leave a tiny amount in there because it might just be a little bit of mottling or something, which just kind of adds a bit of interest to the surface. Texture to it, yeah. But you're going to be glazing other colours over top of it as well. So you might end up covering it depending on how much is there. Some inhale visibility and yeah. how much it's going in your way visibly. Uh, I mean, personally, I would also paint. That this, corner, yeah, that's why. The, the uh, no, the inner ring. Oh, you would bring it over. Yeah, at the same time as painting that top. Okay. Section. Okay. The whole, whole bit. So we're gonna go over the hoop, under the engine here, here, and into this one. You can do. I mean, under we'll the, do the hoop first. The option, but yeah, I would personally. I do the whole, like the whole, of a section, of, of a surface. So if you're painting a tire, you paint the whole loop around the whole of the tire. Um, around all the parts that are that section. I'm not sure if that is that section though. I think it is. Because it loops over, but it's very hard to tell that they've got a different, they've got like a, 
it's the bit under the shiny bits there. It's so difficult to see. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. You want to get the light? Because I'll move across here slightly. I'll read some chat. Yeah, this is just the thin lines that goes through. This, this new piece that I'm painting is an additional one. That's like Zen. That's another piece to paint. But the loop is the one I'm talking about. Is, um, so this loop here. Or the inside front. So yeah, so you've got this panel which is what you're painting and then this loop here. That's what you were right about, was it? Not the bit I was doing. No, not this at all. Oh right. So so you have this line that goes all the way around. Okay, cool. I understand. Sorry, I would point the wrong one. Because and the reason there's a reason for it as well. And that's because when you start doing all the colour blends and that on the top, you wanna then do the next bit on the counter blending on the the next panel across. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have to rebase, the chances of you, because basing is usually quite a thick amount of paint, and if you have to rebase beside the other section, you can end up basing all the stuff you've already done, which is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> She's just a pain in the ass. I love this show. Whoa. Man Festival with the follow as well. Thank you so much, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Welcome. And like I said, guys, I know you're following me, and I appreciate all the support on the stream. But don't forget to follow latest. So we first put the brush. So kill blood. What we're doing is something which is kind of called. Um, can, you, can you hear you? I don't know. Talk. I don't know. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's something. Um, uh, there's something called the loaded brush technique. That one won't work. The lo yeah, loaded brush technique is what it's called. And the loaded brush technique is where you have a kind of glaze of the colour mixed into the bristles of the brush, and then a different highlight colour on the tip of the brush. Uh, but we, I quite often do a loaded glaze, which is where you have the body of the brush is full of water, and then the tip of the brush is just with a small amount of paint. So, in case you guys couldn't hear that fully, I'll just reiterate. So there's two, one fundamental technique applied in two different ways. So, after doing the initial base, which is obviously the colour itself, <laughs> as we're doing now, just thinly and all that kind of jazz, when you start to do the initial glazing, what Latheus is saying is he would load the brush itself, the main brush or the body, with the base colour, and then just a touch of your initial highlight, and then you would go on that way. The other way to do it is to load the brush, as I'm doing now, basically, which is, like, I'm using water, you can't see off stream, so just enough that that's too much. Yeah, it's too much. yeah. so just enough that it glistens effectively, so you can, I, I just did, or you can use proper water, whatever, and then just a little bit of that, on the end, so again, just to go, it's orange, it's very hard, there you go, on the black surface, you can see that much better. So we're talking minute amounts, and I'm using the moment to do the front surface of this panel, but I would use the same technique on the main panel. Hey, Man Festival. It's Man Festival waving. He's saying hello to you. He says, watches me, goes to work. Oh, I'm there you go. Of this, well, so. there you go. Man <laughs> Festival watches Latheus every day before work, as should all of you. I watch him whilst I'm at work, so it's slightly different. Could be pure blood. Uh, that was something that really surprised Flickster, was this was my yeah, my tissue down. after like two hours of painting, and you can see how little paint there is on there. Yeah. Um, uh, let me catch up some chat. Sorry, guys. I was trying to... Can, uh, can you check that or something? I think that's about right. Okay. Check the actual base layer thing and make sure you're happy with that. You got it? I like the light horrible. I should probably bring this one around and swap you over to on, the, on my left. I don't know. Yeah, it would make it thicker. Still thicker. Okay, cool. Well, you can still see the grey for it, isn't it? Yeah. Like, especially on the side at either end. You're not trying to keep those tones there. You want it flat, do you? you okay. Yeah, you just want a flat colour. Okay. Um, right, That's guys. I was saying about the, the uh, zenith of the lock, because you're going to be going over most of it with your own manual painting. Okay, cool. Um, Charles is saying how they come. I, I thought it'd be done by now. Uh, he basically is. I'm just being a fussy bugger, and I'm also changing things. Also, that was the first um, Catman was the first skin tones I've done in a long time. So I additionally took a lot of time. But this what this is all about today was that I should be. Uh, this should speed up my painting because I was doing things with more than I was doing originally. I was far too much water in all of my glazing attempts, which meant I was actually taking five brush, you know, travels um, from to the palette and back to do something that could have been done in one. So it's that kind of thing. This is all, this is part, it's just confirming knowledge and time, so. Um, I, I, I used to have that problem, I thin paint way too much, and when you use the Begman can settle in very weird ways. Exactly, manifesto, exactly the same. Um, uh, okay. 
funny. Oh, it's about this. Yeah, okay, I will go follow Latis. You keep my, you keep mentioning. I'm glad, Anna, you should. It's a good idea, that. I feel like you might enjoy... You, know, you might enjoy that stream, I feel. You can always unfollow me if I'm shit. It's all, it's all <laughs> yeah, you can always unfollow and then refollow. Right, so we're going to do another one from the same bottom corner and then go up. And I'm going to move this pick on which I left. I just realised he said it was Anna. <laughs> yeah, it's Anastasia, yeah, exactly. See what she did there. Right, I'll let that dry, and then I'll go back the other way one more time. Cause again, because it's orange, it's got quite a few layers, we're on like four now. Yeah, there's like there was six on the dark area. Yeah. Because your Xenophil is slightly darker than mine was. Yeah, I should probably have brought it a bit lighter. Which also means but. that you're going to have to do an extra layer or two. Mm-hmm. Um, still more paint than flicks go through in two hours. I get through loads of paint. That's the problem. Actually, no, maybe I don't. To be fair, my palette was the same palette for all week when doing the skin. But like I said, I was doing like, adding water to a dead palette, effectively. I wish I could watch Matrix regularly. But he's very inconsiderate and starts as I'm leaving for work. Yeah, I've, uh, got, I've got a few friends in America that do that. Right Unbelievable. Is that how they I love this what? show. <laughs> Dirty streamer. <laughs> Seven sucks. Thank you so much for the follow. What he's trying to do is he's trying to make a heart. He's trying to do this. Oh, my fingers are in the way. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's going to get clipped, isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> the love, guys. and Flicks are sharing the love. Although, I can't really say sharing the love after you call people titty streamers who do it. <laughs> they share the love too. They, they do share the love. This is uh, both of them. <laughs> Uh, first time seen on Twitch. That's, Aww. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I disagree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Um, now you should also check out uh, Dirty Burger or Dirty Miniatures. Now. Yeah, Dirty he Miniatures now. Yeah, uh, impeccably good blending of his miniatures. And, uh, yes. His, uh, his stuff is also on Call Mini or Not, I believe. And yes, it is. He's also all over the place. But yeah, Dirty Miniatures is also very, very. He's my pet project. Miniatures. I know Trevarian has mentioned Infinity, but I've never seen him paint anything. Yeah, so I don't know if Trevarian does. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and these guys are like, they're, they're clearly, they're like happily got the ones. I'm still not quite there yet. I'm like just below. I think I'm probably just below like bronze with my painting. I can kind of see the edge line of, <laughs> yeah. of almost being in there, but I still need to do some bits and pieces before I, I think I'll actually get out of the place. And so it's part of the reason why I haven't got I think you point. place. I think, I don't, the thing is, I don't know Golden Demon format to whether they do like, I know there's stages of, of judging. Well, there's like finalist pins, so I yeah. think I could maybe get a finalist pin, but I wouldn't want to enter it back unless I thought I could get it all the way. Oh, I see. You don't want a thanks thanks for trying pin? Not really. No, uh, see. I'd be quite happy with that. I'd actually... Just go for it. I'd be like, look, guys, I got a pin. To me, that would be actually really cool. Uh, maybe if my brush has way more paint on it than you guys... Uh, like the colour goes further back onto the brush, the oils is not even halfway. Yeah, so part of the reason for that pure blood is yeah, pure, definitely. when mm. you're when you put the paint onto the bristles, try and avoid getting it to the, the ferrule. This is, is the ferrule, this bit here. Yeah, the point where the brush meets the metal. Because if the paint goes up into that space, uh, it, when it dries it can it can like dry and cause all the bristles to splay outwards as the paint is like washed in between the bristles. Um, and so it can shorten the life of your brushes, and so it's just a brush care thing. So I always try and paint so it doesn't really go past the sort of half yeah, the about the halfway. The I mean, this is this is an extra. You're you're watching me use a lot less paint than even I would normally, and I have been up to this point. But that's kind of the the point of this entire thing. We're doing a specific technique. This isn't just the only way to do it. This is this is Latheus showing me a way to do it because I've specifically requested to learn this style because it's something I'm enjoying, and I know I want to improve on all of my miniatures. So, but you know, there's, there's loads of different ways of approaching. Equal, you know, all of them with their own pros and cons and all that kind of jazz. Loot saved, edited, and uploaded to a dating website. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> what the hearts. That would be pretty funny. I, I tried Tinder before. They weren't, there's no interest. You tried Tinder? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. How much swiping did you do? Is that, that's how it works, isn't it? I did, a, I did a bunch of swiping. Did you? Yeah. Trying to, I was just saying, would run a mile every time. <laughs> oh my no. God. That's how fickle you have to expect to be that kind of fickle thing. Any kind of app that's for dating that's based on the initial aesthetic is yeah. <laughs> kind of what you're supposed to be expecting. Hey, yeah, we're well, doing some tracking ladies, you're interested, but uh, mm. 
Yeah, the, the, the package. Yeah. Um, wow, War Dog, just dating sites. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Jack is in. How you doing, Jack? Welcome, man. Uh, Mito didn't even make first cut at Adepticon. So it shows how absurd it's got, how absurd it's gotten. Wow. Almost all of the painting competitions now they're just so much higher than they were five, ten years ago. Yeah. And they'll continue to be because now everybody can see all the tutorials online for wet blending and airbrushing and yeah. everything. Like you can see all the different techniques and everybody can learn everything. Well this is what I was saying about it being more accessible. Things like we're doing right now. This is no, this is massively accessible. For me, especially and hopefully for you guys, that's the point. This is a huge. You mean that you wouldn't be able to do this ten years ago. Not like not to this level where it's just this interaction and uh, you know, this cost. Is that mean sold out already? I didn't even realise it was on sale yet. What did? Shadow War Armageddon. I don't even know what that is. I think isn't that the new Necromander? Oh, is that what they're calling it? The new net commander. I think so. Are you gonna play Destiny Two, by the way? Am I gonna play Destiny Two? Oh. It's on PC, confirmed. Is it? Yeah. Well, then I probably will. Happy fun times. Okay. Happy fun times. Well, I say that I probably will, and then there's I remember a, that I've got a child coming, which kind of means it. There's a backing level that's like ninety quid though, and it's <sighs> for, it comes with the season one and season two pass. I was like, ah, you called me the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I I want to see some uh, I want to see some proof that you're not going to play all the levels backwards again and rip us off <laughs> <laughs> content the way you did the previous time. Oh, reskin guns. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um. Mycho's entry. Do you actually have a link to Mycho's entry? I'm I thought Mycho was that. doing a chibi one. Wasn't he in a specific chibi competition that he didn't even make the first cut? Wow. Is there, I didn't even know, realize that Chibi was a thing. Yeah, there's an uh, Adepticon. It is. Okay. So they oh, have. Because it's Simon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and they've got a massive range of Chibi miniatures, like all their board games. Are chibi. I didn't even know it was. It was Dodo that told me that Mitcho was entering. Obviously, unfortunately, again, Mitcho is one of those ones I don't get to watch his stream because of the timing. Okay. So I, I think I've seen the end of like one. He hosted me on one of my new morning streams, which was like, whoa! I didn't, even, but I didn't even realize he was on. He said it wasn't what he wanted to bring me. I'm curious to see what he does. Yeah, look at this 2009 Golden Demon uh, open category first play. Oh no, don't. Chaotic, the old, the old Golden Demons, they make me cry. 2009. When you look at those, and even I'm like well I'm ahead. clicking it, I gotta click this. Even, even I'm well ahead of like the original Golden Demon Awards. It's, it's, oh, Rain is in it, really? hilarious. Hey Rain, how you doing, man? Sorry. Um, Latheus, oh, so look at this. So that's 2009. That's not, not that bad. bad. I was expecting worse. <laughs> no, what I've seen in the past. I said that's not bad. I mean, that's a good clean paint job. It's got some nice tidy freehand on the shear. It's good. It is good. I, I don't not, see that placing now compared to what competition there yeah. is in, in the current competitions. Yeah, so like that to me, with time, loads of time, would potentially be achievable in certain locations. I could do the armor, I reckon. I could probably do the orc skin. I would never be able to do the freehand like that. Not yet. It's clean, but I, the, orc, the orc isn't impressive by the day's painting. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'd be happy knight, with that. The knight is really clean freehand on the shield, but there's people painting, like, tiny frescoes on the yeah. and stuff these days, so... And the, the, the metallics. And the, the metallics on the blade as well, that's... People are all using gradient transitions, even in their metallic paints, not just on the metallic paints. Yeah. So, and that's not, I'm not even saying this is bad. No, it's, just, it's, it's not, not bad at all. Just, it would really struggle to place in a current competition environment. That's all it is. And this is why, to me, competition is unobtainable, in my opinion, for me, personally. I know too many years I've missed, but you know, let's see. If you're watching the stream, wonderful person who ever did this, I can only apologise. Yeah, whoever sure did this, that, don't get me wrong, your stuff's le legitly awesome. I just, relative. Uh, up well, well, yeah, it did that in 2009. <laughs> Chances are. Yeah, man. It's nearly eight more an hour. You didn't realise how much time has passed. Mm hmm. Right, so. Um, I could probably, again, I could probably do a little bit more. So, oh, I'll look at this one. 20 minutes. 20 uh, minutes. I really want to see the terrain as well, but I haven't sold stuff, so I'm probably going to have to get the stuff and wait. I'm assuming it won't be a limited print one. Hopefully, it's not a limited print one. Not that it wasn't, was it? No, it wasn't limited. I think they're just making it, like they're just bringing back, like Silver Power was not too as well, so it's completely back. Like, how did they go win? Well, that's what I mean. The, the amount of com content that was available for people to learn painting back when this was winning is so much less than it is now. You would have to pay, I mean, for the, for the, 
I don't feel like I'm really teaching here, but for the content that I'm yeah. giving and teaching about glazing and loaded brush and all that sort of stuff, you would have to pay somebody usually to get that kind of content. Well, this is what I've said that on my stream, like, just in general. Even the stuff like I've been talking about, and mine's low, low level. You think about, like you say, you, Trevarian, uh, all the next level painting guys, you know, dirty miniatures. Everyone who's at a, a legitimately decent level, and someone's completely new, comes in and can sit there and watch all the VODs or go back through it, learn loads. You would never be able to find that back in the day. Nowhere. Not without going to a... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Without going to a convention or having a one-on-one -on -one or all that kind of jazz. So the depth of the place it. The thing is, crystal brush is judged in such a way that unless you can paint at that level, you don't even know what the judges look for. Yeah, I kind of find that's the same with Golden Demon Awards now, though, Jack. And it's really weird because I... The more I've learned, the more I understand of what I see in the, the entries that have won Golden Demon. And that's, that's I think, part of it. It's like, you kind of, you start to realise where they've glazed or where they how they put together a piece of freehand or where they stippled something that you might not even consider before. You might have just been like, that's amazing transition, how do they do that? But now you can see the brush strings because you know what you're looking for. And these are all really subtle things. I think it's just part of the learning. If you're looking to enter a golden demon, then you'll eventually get to the stage where you realise what it is they've done anyway. Yeah. Um... I love that the Masef is like, still my show's garbage level is still better than anything I can do in my best day. Well, that's how I feel about pretty much everything I ever watch on Twitch. So, um, but my opinion, I think second place was way better than first. Well, that's a judging thing. You know, that kind of thing is that you can't really comment on. You can say about anything. I've seen Crystal, like the, the Crystal Brush winner was the, the wolf, wasn't it? The, the Space Wolf. And on Trevarian stream, Trevarian was saying, oh, this guy, other guy should have won, in my opinion. Well, that's a professional, that's a, that's a, Personal oh, I opinion the, thing. The Nagash. The yeah. I really like the Nagash. Yeah. And there I was agree. also a, there was a King of Death model that had some kind of nice spiraling on the cloak, but I could actually do that spiraling on the cloak now as one of the kind of place. So. <laughs> I just realised Lexi's coming, my wife's coming, going, just discovered the original Superman film is on, but I'm just catching the end. <laughs> Sad times. Sad dude. You haven't missed too many years. I plan on winning something someday. I have 15 years on you at least. Age, I mean. Oh, I see. Well. I started paying in 1990 when it was magic like something. There was no help anyway. Well, that's what I mean. I was doing it much similar times. What are we now? Two, two. Well, yeah, when I... 91. Before, yeah. I, Same time. before I took the seven year gap, there was nothing No. before I did that. And so it's only when I came back to it and then there's all those, re there's all those resources now. And it's, YouTube really blew up with what was on there. And the Twitch kind of education from Twitch is only pretty recent. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, like take 17 years off me, basically. We worked out about 15 years ago, obviously 2017. So you look at 2000, so you look at like 98, 99 was when I was looking and I was painting and doing my stuff. Just, yeah, even from then, totally different. No. Hey, Sega Kai, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Stego Kai, kind of kind of, he might be a kind of dinosaur. Are you a Japanese dinosaur, Stego Kai? Can you confirm that, please? <laughs> Japanese dinosaur, confirm? Yeah. First. See, this is where it was all contrasty and kind of cartoony, wasn't it? This is the 80s painting. Unknown so artist. This reminds me of the 80s white walls. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Goblin green bases, black square bases, you can kind bright of, colours. This is the other thing. If you know who the judges are going to be and you know what sort of stuff they like, you can kind of paint towards their, what they like as well. Because there might be, if you look at, if, this is something that's really subjective in competitions. Oh, good lord. There might be two judges Sorry. judging the same piece and one of them might love non-metallics and the other one might love true metallics. Now, which you choose to paint your miniature with when you're doing it, because you can't paint both usually, they don't melt yeah. back together. And this is something that's like, where do you take that gamble? How do you know? Do? <laughs> so, that's that's one, just one of those things in competitions. You might you might have painted the, the best in quote model in yeah. the event. Your transition might be perfect on everything, your non, non metallics might be in, almost indistinguishable, but the judge might not like non, non metallic. So, it's. It's subjective as well, to a degree. And that's why they have a panel of judges. Yeah. I mean, the other thing, that, like, like Jack's saying, I was done by multiple judging, so it's subjective. That's the nature of the beast. You're talking to, you're preaching to the converted, my friend. I'm a drifter. So motorsport is it's the, one, of the, uh, one of the few judged motorsports. And in there are three judges that judge your line, angle, aggression, speed. And it's also subjective. Some people like, like quick, snappy transitions. Some people like slow and smooth. So... It's my life for the last 10, 15 years of dealing with, with judged sports in general. So, 
Um, but I understand the nature of the beast, trust me. Uh, I like to mention that was a mental critical brush. It was a World War II soldier sitting in a destroyed window reading oh i saw that yeah reading the letter death watch so i like to mention they were submitted to crystal brush it was a world war ii soldier sitting in a destroyed window reading a letter from a relative so you had like a rubble piece and he was sat on there and there was like a long like a long bit to come up that was really cool um that's some really cool world war rap, rap in, in, in old like world, uh, world war ii helmets oh really, really cool. oh, that's like cool all right, should we go on to step two then, the scary bit? Yeah. Right, so that looks fairly based to so me. how are you going to do this? Are you going to glaze... Oh, sorry about that. That's right. No, it's fine. Oh, I'm swinging because I don't think you said it was the Are you going to do this with a loaded brush and see if you can skip some yeah. stages? Yes, I want to do exactly what you did on the arm and learn it because so I need to skip stages because I'm the slowest painter on Twitch. So you need to fill the volume of the brush with a, with an or with a green glaze. <laughs> yeah, with a green. With Wait a, a minute, Trey. orange glaze and then yellow on the tip. Okay, so just like water first, then there, or just like. So, I mean, I don't even use water usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. So then there. So you've got a very thin amount, and then. Pull out the orange. You're just sort of meshing the orange in amongst the bristles so that you don't see any orange poking over the top of the brush, usually. Which is, I know that, um, again, like that? does it slightly differently. Yeah. And, and then, then just a tip. Like a visible amount of paint on the brush, usually. But, um, and then just the tip like that. Was that too much? Bit, that's fine. And then you're approaching it from two sides. So you're you're approaching the line down the middle, and then you're coming into it from one side. So that way, this way. Yep. You're gonna draw it consistently. Okay. Well, centre is 45. You're probably gonna have to reapply the paint to the brush. Now. Already. Yeah. When oh, I was doing it earlier, I, that was too long. When I was doing it, drawing it. Right? Damn it. Alright, so the idea is to go here and well yeah, I've got so one. you do that side and then while it's still wet you'll then flip the model and then come in from the other side. Which will be harder to do because the angle of the bike unfortunately yeah, bike can go on there. Kind of come in at that kind of angle, but Across this way. Yeah. You just have to be good careful with how you uh, all, the, all of the yellow on the tip won't I start to come down and along. So like you're that. gonna be coming at this kind of angle when you're moving the brush instead of because obviously Yeah, you, that way. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. If your line is like that, then you wanna move the brush. They can't see it, sorry. So yeah, so we're talking about the angle of attack as far as the brush considers. So there's nothing on the brush right now. What we're trying to do is obviously the we decided that the forty five degree light from the front, which means my high, highest point will be like that line there ish. So the idea is to get the other thing and I would go this way, nice and clean, I can do that down here. But again, trying to keep it flat. But this side, not so easy. So to keep that same line, I'm gonna have to do this, like some weird kind of thingy motion. And we'll try it and we'll see how it goes. Right, so same thing again. Look like that. Pulling out some orange. I'm twisting the brush entirely. Like that kind of thing. And then just like sort of twisting because you don't want to push forward you don't want to push the bristles out. No. And then I'm just like too much yellow, okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. So I feel like that's a lot. So this is me going, oh, I'd never do this. Ready? Yeah. And then pull it outwards. And then change sides. And then from the, yeah, from the white line, and then pull it outwards. Uh, failed. You nearly had it, you very nearly had it. I think mm. the, the angle of the brush to your side. No, wait, let it dry. Really? Yeah. Because all you're going to do at this point is you're going to just... Because there's a horrendous line there. Yep, you can, you can go back over that with a second wet brush. You can go... You're going to let that dry, and then you're just going to do another loaded brush, but only from that side. Right, okay. Because your other side is fine. Yeah, that was all right. I'm actually not too bad with that. Yep. I, I missed a little bit there, but I feel like yep. that's okay for first go. Well, that's... that's that felt like so much more anyway. paint than I was expecting. I was like, this is there's too much, there's too much. Oh my God. Yeah. But as soon as... The thing is, is, because you've got the orange in the body of the brush, as soon as you start applying that to the surface, it yeah. makes it look less. It, but that very yeah. first, like, oh my two God. <laughs> it was like... looks like all <laughs> yellow. And you're just like, holy <laughs> yeah. shit. But, but yeah, it all blended out. Okay. Like, you can even see it on this. Like, you can see the gradient come down. Yeah, there. see, I mean, it, I, the gradient on this side I'm really happy with, but this, you know, like, Yeah, and so, so that was... Rubbish, thank you so much, man. Appreciate <laughs> I'll just use the tip, Flickster. Thank you very much, Gilly. That's what she said. Even Bob Ross paints faster than Flickster. Bob Ross paints Bob really, Ross really fast. Yeah, Bob Ross <laughs> paints incredibly fast. I've 30 watched, minutes, uh, done painting. I've watched people on Twitch trying to paint alongside. Oh, what was his name? Waffle? Waffle. It was yeah. a Waffle that tried to do it. That was so funny. I was watching Waffle trying to do it. I was actually thinking of Waffle when I said it. Yeah, were you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I watch Waffle sometimes. And, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, they couldn't keep up. He, he had to keep pausing him <laughs> as he was going through. Yeah, it was fine, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I think that's dry enough. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, right, so I'm gonna try so again, but this is bottom, horrible. But yeah, this is a really awkward angle. Oh, too much. Sorry. No, no. Uh, yeah, okay. And then have a bit of moisture and then just sort of bleed out. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, it's fine. No, that. Just, I would just leave that. Tough. <laughs> okay. you, you can go back over that anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because the, the worry with doing that is that you've then pulled a very slight amount of paint off of that blend there. Uh, I suppose. So because it will, when you pull that away, it um, it grabs the moisture of the area around it. Because you've taken the paint and everything off the brush. Right, and okay. So then it pulls it's that just other that natural. I want to fix it, I want to fix it. And so, Fuck. but that's just a trial and error thing of learning that. It's also a pain in it. That is a trial by fire, I feel like, as well, because yeah, the is, angle. Yeah, it's a harsh angle anyway. <laughs> okay, alright, cool. Um, it looks like the contrast is missing on that. It looks really white. Give me a sec. Let me just drop this up here. The cameras have been good today, as far as. What are you laughing at? Oh, I see. Craig has it, then. God <laughs> damn it. That's better, but now you go, they can see it. Well, I'm, I'm making it a bit extreme, but they can see the yellow more now. Yeah. Okay, do you know what? That's not that bad, but I can, all I can see, like you say, like this cap here, this gap here. So I want to, you yeah, know, you need to get the light. I can move you on. No, it's fine. In fact, this side is better than that side. Yeah, it is now. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but you see how, like, instead of instead of panicking, yeah, and then just waiting for it to dry and then God. just doing the next coat of top, because I knew from seeing how well it had gone with the glaze that you already had from going in that direction that by adding a second one it would be fine okay and so right, just, i've got to call that patience and like, let's like just try the error that's something you're just yeah learning. okay okay so we're gonna go again less yellow same thing we're gonna load the base right so now we're gonna do a load of glaze right yep and now it's water in the brush mm -hmm. and then a very tiny amount of yellow on the tip and you're gonna start in the same place that you started before but come towards but me now you're just coming in so you're gonna come down so probably you're gonna bring the glaze to about here because this is already pretty faint and you're probably yeah. gonna glaze this back up with orange in a sec but you're just going to, to Gently change this transition because you can see there's a line where the yellow goes into the orange. There. Yeah, you can see that that separate. So you're looking to to feather that line slightly. So we're trying right. to soften this is what we're trying to achieve here. Just just From that main the highest yellow point. Line at the top, yeah. yeah, right. Okay. Because you you'll probably come over with a, a sharp yellow line over it eventually anyway. Yes. But the uh, this way you you have to try to just measure that gradient slightly. So not so much. So you want to use slightly less yellow. Less than that. Less. Uh, just to be clear, guys, he just told me less. All right, this is a this is a zero so from Winston Newton. That's still a blob of yellow on the end of the paint. Yeah. All right, fine. What we didn't know. So half half of what you had done. Half of what I had. I'm gonna. Use, I tell you what, you're you're helping me here is the amount of paint I'm gonna use. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Think of it this way: you can always add more. If okay. this layer comes out too thin, you wait for it to dry. You can add another one. You stopped in one place halfway down that line, which is why you've got a very slight line there. Wait, let it try. God damn you! I want to move it! Wait, let me see. It's not that bad. Like, I can see the extra bit there. Oh, I've got to show the stream in a minute as well, so. Sorry, guys. No, that's fine. Uh, you, yeah, so you've got. Uh, you stopped, like, yeah, here, I and that's where you've got a, that yellow line there is slightly thicker, because you went over that line twice. Okay. So you had a double line I kept, in that I space. tried to keep the same motion, but where you had said to keep it within that space, or, you know, the, the, the other band, to stop so, here, I was like, oh, I'm going too far, so I slowed down. This gradient is all really good, and mm. all the rest of it, if you're going to have to get rid of this line now, you're going to have to glaze orange all the way back up to the top, and then glaze all the way back down again. God damn it. Oh, dear. Right. So, guys, what we're talking about here is I've done a... Nice transition here, you can see this, but I've also, you can see there's a very clear line here at this point where it trans from the yellow into the orange. So the intention was always to go and to glaze the orange up to smooth this bit, which is fine. But where I've stopped here as well, we've now got an initial line here line. and then another line here. Right. So without panicking, like I'll be going, fuck this and throwing it against the wall. The idea now is to glaze what? We're going to do another yellow down to bring this smoother or are you going to go no, straight for orange? you to go back up with orange. Right, Otherwise yeah. you end up with too much of it being yellow. Because okay. you only want your sharp yellow to be right at that apex point of where the light is. Yeah. Unless you want to make it more yellow than orange overall, which if you want to do that, then you can do another yellow glaze. That's mm, let's go with the orange. <laughs> let's stick with the plan. Yellow's yellow. Oh, guys, right. Flick will level up so hard over the course of these visits by late. I'm hoping, I'm wishing I had a personal tutor. Well, yeah. But I'll make sure it's worth his while, I promise. <laughs> but this is what you, you basically do have a personal tutor what you guys can do now well I stayed with the host as well thank you man I appreciate that what you guys can do now the reason we're streaming this is you do have a personal tutor because you can just go and watch this VOD over and over and over oh it's done now I just loaded brushed it we're not going to do it we're, we're going to do it glaze right loaded glaze right 
You're doing orange, yeah? Yeah. So... Um, so yeah, you guys can watch the um, watch the VOD back as much as you want. Again, like, again, like, very little on there. Yep. From the bottom, yep. same thing. Oh. Yeah. I feel like it's doing nothing. Oh, it did do something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? It, like I couldn't see anything. Right. Wait, let the dry. In fact, I don't know if you'd have taken that far enough because you had some no. of the paint on the brush. Yeah. Uh, okay. kind of I think I did it all right. I mean, look, look, look under the light. Let me move because obviously it's very dark where we are here. Because you are that. You can see that extra. I feel like there's an extra bit just there. Yeah, there's still an extra bit. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to have to take it back up again. So yeah. But you can do the orange on the other side as well. You can do the loaded orange. Yeah, so I might put a side. little bit more this but, time. But yeah, uh, no, just the same again. Same again. And then glaze up. But you want to try and take it all the way up to this point, just short With of the same where amount? The... Surely if I got the same amount, I'm only going to reach the same so point before I run start, out of paint. You want to start Oh, I'll start at that point. Okay. Not, not start down here. You want to start at like, the base of where the colour transition is. I got and you. And then take it up to the point just short of where you want your main highlight line to be. I'm with you. Because obviously if you don't get to the point where the double line is, if this is your two highlight lines, you have to cover this line yeah. with paint, otherwise it's still going to be there at the end of it. <laughs> cool. Um, let's just catch up and chat, guys. Sorry, obviously, we're trying to interact and make sure you guys see everything that's going on at the same time. Uh, Evan's in. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. What is it? Awesomeness. This is Latheus. We have we, we found him. We, we picked him up. We, we brought him back to Twitch because he wasn't on Twitch enough. We, we, we cleaned him up a bit. We got rid of the beard. <laughs> and we dumped him here for a bit of an April Fool as he started the stream off pretending to be me. That's why he was wearing the cool beanie. See? Recognize that beanie? Yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, since then, we're doing some tutorial work. We're going through a glazing 101 for me, obviously helping me and you guys at the same time. Sexual innuendo, make it worth his wild flicks. It's like you, you picked up on that, did you? <laughs> Stay going to cover the host as well. I say, this little bit has made more sense than any other video I've seen on Loaded Brush. There you go. Awesome. And that's from, from Scott as well. So it's super helpful watching flicks to try learn after listening to Latheus. Well, there you go, Nikki. I'm hopefully I'm asking the questions that others would. And if I'm asking dumb ones, then good. That means you don't have to do it. And that's the plan. And that was always the plan. This, like, again, always with my stream is learn with, not from. And this is perfect way of doing it because you're learning with me as I learn from someone who knows what the hell they're talking so about. Point in the middle there, like it's just in the light. That's the idea, pure blood. This is the the, the loaded brush thing. By having orange in the body of the mm. by having orange in the body of the uh, the paint brush bristles and then having yellow on the tip, it kind of gives you this natural blend where the yellow is sharpest at the at the first yeah. point you put it onto the thing because you put it on and then like drag it back across as you're going. So you're going like over and up. So to be clear as well, the, the camera is doing me favours here. It looks a lot smoother on there than it is actually in real life. There is a, a, double, a, a highlight. double highlight here yeah. and here. So what we're trying to do at the moment is we're glazing up the orange back again. This is how you would fix this. I've done an error. That actually looked weird on the camera when you did that. Because, did it? Yeah, you said here and here, but they're looking at it from a different angle to you. Oh, sorry. So across this point here is best so, what you're saying? Because, yeah, so there's two lines. Like where this yellow is here, there's the one, one line here and then another one directly below it. This line down here is the natural one that you don't care about because that's going to be glazed oh, okay. by with the orange yeah the double line is like there's two lines of yellow here and here which makes this yellow highlight like really thick oh i see that's what we're aiming to that's, so we're going to smooth that up to so this bit here there. right yeah. okay I, I even even i had that one then okay cool so this initial the sudden one here is the one we're going to smooth over to make this one the main one yes right yeah that's you right. only want one peak highlight unless you've got multiple light sources Absolutely. you imagine each of those sharp lights is a light coming in from somewhere else mm -hmm. and at the most direct point to your eye as well that's the way someone else explained to me this is a non-metallic metal thing is the Direct angle, but yeah, let's not go into that. That's even more confusing. Let's just too much. Nope. Should be fine. You sure? You're gonna start quite low anyway, so here, but then going all the way up to there. I feel like there's a lot. Yeah. Where am I stopping with the brush before my main original? You want to stop before the original one. Even if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You can always re wet over the top of that. The thing is, this is this is the first time you're doing this, so the, you can expect a certain amount of trial and error anyway. That was alright, actually. It's looking a bit higher, to be fair, but. I think that's all right. We've gone to there. We've covered that bit. But I feel that's really stark there now. <laughs> we need more lights. Next time we do this, I'm learning. This is the first time I've ever done this, so bear with me. I've got an additional light over here doing nothing. So next time I'm going to have a proper setup. Yeah, that's fine. And don't worry about this line because you'll go over this with the shadow later. Yeah. So... So yeah, now you can either choose to do one more glaze of yellow back towards the orange. I think we should. Which is, we'll give you, because there is a very tiny, and this is my new at this point, this is a very tiny orange line you see beside your <laughs> yellow line. Yeah, if we're going to get, that's fine, it. yeah. You can see it though, yeah? Yeah, the, the, little, the little hook up. Yeah, what the point, like, 
Uh, I can see it, I can see it. Like, like well, they can't see it though, so let's be fair to them. Just, Currently we're talking yeah, about it and they can't see shit. It's, it's hard to say it. Like, there's a they won't see it on the camera anyway, I don't think. Yeah, because the camera bleaches it with the lighting. So the lighting like, is a bit hard to hear. With, we know that, unfortunately. There's a very tiny line. I'm, mm. I'm pretty quiet anyway, he's so quiet. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> he's quiet but anyway and the music. I don't, I don't project when I speak, it just, <laughs> I just speak. I've, I've always had quite a deep voice, and if I project it makes things vibrate, so I don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> Uh, apparently it's good for phone sex though. Um, <laughs> so, uh, okay, so, don't yeah, so you're just going to go and with yellow, yellow and it will just get rid of this slight thing. And also, this graduate gradient, it will also make this gradient very slightly sharper from here down to about here. Okay. So you're going to go for the what you had just now when you did the orange, but half that amount. Right. And then you're going to aim so to start at the point where your original highlight was, and then you're just going back in, and you're probably going to end up finishing it about here-ish, but so take the brush glaze. all the way down until it's just gone. Okay. Because that will be the smoothest transition. So this is about putting enough material on the brush, paint-wise, that will stop when you want it, but using the, the loaded brush to continue the smoothness all the way down. Yeah. Just to be so transparent. Right. Yeah. So, so we're doing yellow... A, a loaded glaze, yeah. Loaded glaze from the highest point with a, lo with a lot so less... So where your main light source is, yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to go all the way down, but we're intentionally down. trying to stop this but about will, here. it will filter out. Yeah. It will filter okay. out on its own accord about halfway down. Just okay. because you'll run out of paint on the brush and the water will kick in as you're going. So now we're talking about even less than that, probably, or is that about right? Mm, tiny bit less. Tiny bit less. Hey, you gate mace. There's gate mace on. Way, good evening, hi, hobbyists. What are you up to? We are. Do well, let me, let, me, let me do this and then focus on this and then we'll do it. I've been doing too long now, haven't I, really? <laughs> yeah. That's just the other thing. Like, when you're yeah. such tiny amounts of paint, this is like mm. painting eyes. It's just constantly. I mean, mm. that's why people seem to be constantly licking the brush. And that's because I have to constantly keep replenishing the moisture of the brush because you're using such a tiny amount of fluid in the actual bristles. Happy with that? Is that better? Uh, yeah. You're mm. going to discover that you need to use two with that amount of first one. Oh, shit, man. Okay. Then, yeah, it's over right now. You can put something on. So we're going, I'm, I'm lost now. What the hell are they doing? Right, I was going so from the yellow back over the orange line, yeah? Yeah, so you're going to aim to take, you're going to end up with a tiny amount of yellow on the tip. Mm -hmm. And you're going to you're going to start like about here where your original highlight is. So yep. the tip of the brush runs along where your original highlight was. And then you're just going to go right across. And hopefully, judge. this is a judgment. Yeah, right? judgment on basic material so to where it finishes. How much yellow, and you're going to aim it to have the yellow finish at about here is your the end, end of, the of your transition. Yeah. And at that point, it should just be okay. water. Um, let me just cut before I actually load the brush then let's have a quick chat up. So, hey Gate, how you doing? Welcome. So we're, um, we're aiming for this. Yeah. Okay. Basically, Latheus is there oh, we've got a follow coming in as well. Latheus has done that. Oh, I think we're I love I this show. DJ Phil, welcome. What a good name. Strong name is Phil. I like that. I can't think why. Sorry, <laughs> I'll bring in. <laughs> welcome to the stream, man. Thank you. So this is obviously a piece of artwork from Latheus. And I'm calling it art. It's amazing, as I'm sure most of you have seen this across his Instagram. If not, exclamation mark Latheus will get you to his Twitch channel from there. All his social media is available. Um, but he's coming over here. He was obviously a bit of fun at April Fool's at the start. He was pretending to be me, hence the hat. But he is here intentionally to do some tutorial work with me and help me to learn to do glazing to this smooth level. Help a level up. So we're doing it as a tutorial with you guys as well. The idea being, of course, that you can watch the VOD back and we're going to clip some bits and make some highlights and that kind of jazz, but you can clearly see what we're aiming for. And I'm painting a bike up with the same colors. Uh, and we started the stream off with Latius doing a demo straight away on his own. So this is, oh, oh yeah, that's all the colors, thank you. Um, so this is a base of Troll Slayer Orange. We are then using a highlight of Flash Gits and then we're using Memphiston. Um, oh, was it? Did it's you use Blaze Dacca? Are you Evil Suns? Uh, Evil Suns, Evil Suns. No, I used both. both oh, just to make it more confusing to explain yeah, people. No, because I realised that there was a step missing. Here it was, yeah. Okay, so... And some reds. We'll get to that bit in a minute. Don't worry about the reds. All right, don't worry about the reds, guys, all right? <laughs> They're just shadows. But yeah, so this is the one that, that Latheus painted, not me. Uh, as a demo for me, so this is obviously to completion where it's got black lining and edge lining. This is the guy we were doing this guy on the stream earlier, as we were talking through light sourcing. Yeah, stuff. so like exactly talking about light sourcing and going through. So this was done earlier today. So if you watch the vod, you'll be able to see me talking through how we did that and how we did the different techniques for it. But we're still talking through this now with Flick. Yeah, as well, so, so we're going over it the same ground over and over now, but I'm learning how to do it. So let me actually tell you what, I'm still too scared of this amazing model. <laughs> like, can you move that? I don't want to touch it. It's so good. So yeah, if you move, so, if you uh, if you want to see that also, then go back and watch the start of Flick's vod. But as he said, there'll probably be some YouTube stuff of it at some point, but I don't know how well it will translate. Yeah, we'll so see. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. It's the first. So we've done it, so we've got to figure out how yeah. it works. 
we're so, definitely not. Uh, we're definitely not painting Buddha. <laughs> no, we're not painting Buddha. We are not. But we are going to bring in more stuff. We uh, we didn't have a camera set up. We need an additional camera. Don't even go into why that's not here. Um, and we'll have a mic as well. I'll have all that stuff set up for next time. So, but right now we are trying for the first time this new technique for me. I'm just improving my glazing. So we're going to do. As I was just explaining, we're going to do some tidying up. So we've done our first couple of attempts. We've got our highest point of yellow here. Um, what paints are you blending? Oh yeah, Troll Slayer and Flash Gates at the moment, yes. Um, going to rewatch this VOD repeatedly. Good, I'm glad to hear it, guys. Um, already looks so good, at least on camera. Well, the camera is giving me some help, I will admit, but I, I'm also, yeah, I'm you're quite first. happy. You're pretty much there already. It's not it's bad. It's like whiffle angling over these, those tiny lines that I'm helping you correct now. This is like, will be your next question if I leave. Yeah, exactly. You, you'll have this average level of blending like sorted and then you'll just be like, well, how do I get rid of these tiny lines or something? And so I'm trying to go over all the bits because you've already got the basics. So. Yeah, well, this is the thing. For those who don't know me and this are new to this stream, this is reinforcing some, some bits I've already, oh, that's far too much. See, I'm trying to learn now. That's too much. Correct. Yeah. So Not this, fun. yeah, exactly. I'll have to do it again. Um, this is reinforcing. The other thing with this, by the way, because you're using such tiny amounts of paint, there's, there's hardly any wastage. Yeah. You put so much little on the palette, and you're using so little every time. You don't feel quite so bad about how much paint is. Like, <laughs> how many times you have to clean your brush if you make a mistake? Because you're using, you're using like fractions of paint. I think that's about right. That's fine. One thing I would say is try mm. and angle the brush slightly more. I couldn't get into it, like like. Yeah, I mean, just on average, it's something oh, okay. that you'll find it makes it slightly easier because the more of uh, if you have to if you have to go in at this angle and you have to make more of the brush bend to get the effect, then okay. obviously you have less control over right. the brush. Right. So, but if you're doing it with the brush naturally at an angle, so you're hitting with multiple parts of the brush at the same time, it's easier. So what Lacey is saying there for you guys on camera because you can't see what he's doing. Obviously, well, I put the thing in. He's looking at here. He was saying about the angle of which I did that blend then, I was doing it more like this angle, and I was doing it across you know, across the surface. So I was at 45 degrees-ish and doing this as I went down. So what he was saying is actually if I then reduce that angle, I got more surface contact, which means I'm using more of this loaded section, which has just got water in it. Yeah, and this is mostly, spit. This is mostly because he's doing a loaded brush technique. He's yeah. doing a loaded brush technique, but as a glaze rather than a, as a yeah. problem. So it's a combination of two techniques, I guess. One, I mean, I've been glazing for what, a couple of weeks now, and so I didn't realise that loaded brush was actually the name of the technique that Ben Comets, I think, has coined. I don't know if he's coined he it. Was, he was doing it, and I think he discovered that it was a thing, and I was doing it, and then I discovered that it was a thing through him. <laughs> and then, but I also do loaded brush glazing, which is yeah. by having the body of the brush filled with water instead of being filled with the glaze, and then just having paint on the tip, and then letting it thin that way. So it's different. Like I learned different things. I've got my own technique, I've got loaded glaze. <laughs> a loaded glaze. It's gonna, it's not, like, I don't know, it's just, it just style. makes sense. Work, it's yeah. just the way, everybody has their own way of working, you'll find your own things that work. Um, do you ever make any homebrew stuff, or like homebrew stuff? Um, like beer. I was about to say beer, craft, alcohol? Craft brews. Craft, yeah, we could do some, we could do some casual craft, maybe um, we should have a, a Twitch creative craft brew. I mean, I have, uh, what's it called, I have. I guess he's talking about conversions, maybe, or. I mean, I confirm models quite a lot, but I, I have uh, ZBrush and was planning to make cut and cast models with that at oh, one point. That's cool. Um, I'm going to do it again. It was... Uh, wait, wait. I'm going to do it again just to get part of that bit. Yep. Okay. Very, very small paint. Smaller than you used last time, mate, because you're only okay. doing... You want it to finish even earlier this time, because this yeah. is the end part of this transition from, like, the down is actually fine, but you're just... Yeah, like, tiling that, that bit that up. tiny bit where the edit comes on. Okay. Yeah, ZBrush, chaotic. He's learning to use that as well. I find that it's quite a big wall of learning at the very start of when you're doing it. And that was getting in the way of, it was much easier and it was much more intuitive for me to learn painting because I already had a basis in the painting. And I had a basis in CG stuff because I did <laughs> that at university, but I used 3ds Max, which is much more... Um, 3D Studio Max is more doing towards the actual 3D It's more like computer aid design, yeah, more like CAD, CAD design yeah. rather than... I was trying to think of a way to say it without saying CAD. <laughs> I might not know what CAD is. Yeah, computer aided design. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so. yeah do you want to turn the light? Because obviously, guys, again, apologies about the, the mic. If, if latest is quiet, you will have to turn it up. I apologise, but... Yeah, so you got it. So, so now we're coming from the other end. So now you're looking at, if you see on the model, 
All right, you've got a period from like here to here, which is yellow blended with orange, mm-hmm. which is just the yellow blended with orange. Yeah. So this is this is one flat color. This bit here. Yeah. And you've got the transition that goes down to there. So you're looking to take orange from this place up to about here. To just just like uh, so that you take this neutral area a third into that. Yeah, you extra don't want to go too far into it. It depends. So this is a point with like how shiny do you want your object yeah. to be? Um, but this this will set us up for the shadow on the bottom section now. You just take you're just cleaning up because otherwise you're gonna have this line and this line to contend Terrible, with. Yeah. So by just doing orange, which is the base color, you'll go back over this. So just, just doing orange, loaded glaze. It will make, make the shadows easier. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go for uh, uh, almost from the uh, all the way at the bottom as well because of this extra line. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So I'm gonna go from orange from this line up there. Sorry. Yeah, so you're taking orange yeah, from, right from, from the base, the all the way up to about, about you said, just So like halfway there. through that flat color of orange, yeah. Okay. It's just so that it's enough space so that it goes past those lines. Mm. IPA. Probably ZBrush is the purple. Yeah, so I chose um, ZBrush because it has, it's one of those programs that it lets you do everything but the initial learning curve is really huge and I just didn't have the time to invest in the learning curve at the time. I mean, I have a dragon head that I made as my first thing on YouTube, but I mean, you can search for Lathius dragon head, literally that, <laughs> it will show it to you. There's a, like a turntable spin around thing of a dragon head on YouTube. Mm. But um, I just never got into doing more of it because I just got more into the painting instead at the time. And so that, that absorbs my creative time. Uh, but I've learned how to do some casting stuff, and I cast uh, a whole bunch of oh, yeah. uh, cool. wall sections for um, uh, internals for a building. Uh, and I've made the inside of a, uh, a Forge World manufacturing board. We've, I've totally taken the lid off, and there's walls down either side, and a floor inside it, and everything. And you can put the lid back on, so you've got like a, a 3D gaming area you can play inside and out. <laughs> that, uh, that surprising moment where I think that one worked. I've still got my line, but it, it was smooth. Yep, it's worked. And then, uh, hmm. so from achievement unlocked, uh, didn't screw that one up. So we can because this is so part of this is because your original line was so thick. This yeah, one, that one's so, so thick. So you can yeah. still see it. So you're going to still struggle with this. So I want to take and part of this as well. Do you know why this is still so visible? Mm-hmm. You can see that dark line there. With the original Zenith, wasn't it? That probably? is the original Zenith. Yeah. yeah. So my base wasn't. And this is that. where the base coat wasn't thick enough. Yeah. So okay. what you need to do is just take a, a flat orange and just take it over that area and try not to go past this yeah. line because you're... So it's really in. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool, thank you. So when... Look, look, I like this. This is like me painting whilst we're interviewing Latheus. I like this. This is a nice little segue <laughs> that gives you a breather. So let, let's talk more about your, your casting then. So when you when I first found your stream, you were talking about casting panels as well. And I never actually saw them on stream. So what was your intention when you were doing it? When you started to get into casting, was it just another thing you were just exploring? Uh, or? Casting would just say that I would know how it all worked as far as when you make a 3D model, like what parts would need to be separate and how easily it all casts. Right. And, and yeah, uh, Chaotic, that was exactly the idea behind it, was that it was to, uh, because it is supposed to be super intuitive. Like I come from an art-based background, so I, I painting and drawing and those sorts of things are far more easy to me than computer-aided design, like architectural design. Um, and so yeah, that was why I wanted to do it. And I had I had plans for all sorts of models. Like I've got like a whole brainstorm of stuff of random designs that I could do with it. Uh, I just didn't have the time. And the health is I have bad health issues that quite often get in the way with how long I can do things for. Uh, which is part of the reason why I stopped painting. Uh, I had to stop and uh, let it take it take over. Yeah. Um, Concentration. <laughs> <laughs> short, dude. You still do four hours. Like one till five is I, not a I short would, stream. I would do like eight hours a day happily if I could. Man, that's crazy. I used to game I'm glad like, you can't give some space to the rest of us. I used to game for like four days solidly at a time routinely. I used to do back in the day. Yeah. Now, there's, now there's kids these days no, dying, dying, doing dying, it. And you're like, what yeah. the fuck? What are the weak, weak ass kids doing? <laughs> what are we doing these days? Yeah, twenty-four hour WoW grinds. Yeah. At least. Oh, like uh, three, three days for WoW was like an average for most mm. of our gaming group. Oh, welcome Stingray, how are you doing? Welcome. Uh, thank goodness it's not a Catman. No, it's not. We started the stream off with a joke, nearly became a Catman. We couldn't find the ears. Yeah, I, I nearly had the ears. You nearly had the ears. Yeah. Instead, we brought Latheus over for a bit of a relief. What does what I'm doing? We've had a week's worth of cat ears, so now I'm like, I'm sorry guys, here, I brought you Latheus. <laughs> so Latheus has been doing some painting. I'm going to bring him again, because um, just as another excuse to promote, you know. So, Stingray, if you don't know who Latheus is... Stingray. This, this is this is Latheus. This is the, the the miniature form of Latheus. This is him in his final form. <laughs> no, but uh, so this is the kind of thing you can get to see on his stream if you go and check him out. Exclamation mark Latheus. Um, I brought him in um, over to do some tutorial work on how he's achieved these panel works and this infinity stuff. This is 
high level stuff. It's really, really impressive, trust me. Although the camera's probably not giving the justification I, I get here by holding the miniature myself. It's fantastic work. So I uh, accosted him, drove up, kidnapped, <laughs> brought over, cleaned up, and then we had him do some tutorial on his own miniature here. Exactly the same work up. So, so loaded brush earlier in the stream. Yeah, so if you're gonna go over loaded brush and loaded glazes at the yeah. start. We'll go through it again, but uh, yes, there's loads to start. Yeah. Uh, when we did the guy that this guy. thing's got in his hand. Yeah, when we did this first van brace, um, and I showed doing the loaded brush. And loaded brush and loaded glazes aren't a necessity. You don't have to do them. You can just do it with glazing. But the loaded brush, um, it lets you skip a number of glazes because it just does a kind of a lot of the rough basic work on the way through. Yeah. So these are, this is like this is ways of stepping uh, or, or not skipping steps but smoothing up the steps you would normally do like a layer so oh there was a can you grab me that black that white pen there that's the one and i'm going to need something that's not to hand from an idiot it's in Frisia in a different place you find your setting obscure some detail no frag my camera work and all that stuff is is bad <laughs> it's not very there's definitely it can be improved uh, I struggled relentlessly with uh, with getting it to be in focus and the colour balance because my lights are, are way way brighter than Flicks are here. Um, I think we've got one of these today. Actually. You should do. They're amazing. Oh, I have actually got one. Right. Awesome. Um, Congrats. And I have to put my actual desktop probably further away than yours are to get a similar result. But. Yeah. So on the idea of lighting, watch how this will suddenly blind you. But this thing's amazing for doing this because you can just go. Yoink, 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 yoink. So just going to talk quickly about the whole idea of the glazing layers. So if you had your original base here, what we're trying to do about slowly but surely adding in new layers, if you were doing a, a highlight color now, if this was one color, your next one, I mean, try and put this in zoom actually, give me a second, sorry. There you go, zoomed. All right, so again, I'm just doing this really, really quickly. The idea is starting and finishing at different levels. So if you were doing this step by step on a real basic form, you would have, I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, black power uh, armor is something I'm still learning kill blood. Yeah. As you say, the black on my Grigia is bad, and I need to do it, but I haven't got to the stage where I'm learning black yet. I'm still learning other things at the moment. So this is really hard to explain. Okay, so very quickly, I'm going to try and show this is layer. Imagine this, each one of these horizontal lines. So is what a, he's showing here is yeah. standard glazing. Usually yeah. if you glaze a surface, you're trying to take it from a transition to orange, which would be your base color, the bottom line, up into yellow, which would be your top line. You have to do multiple layers, and you would do it a little bit mm. less of the surface of the miniature each time with each glaze. And this way, you've got seven layers of yellow on the right, and like, yeah, we got the one, one here, and just the yeah. orange on the far left. Exactly. And that creates your gradual curve of color over the surface of the model. That's how glazing usually works. But the the loaded brush kind of lets you skip a whole bunch of that. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Like as you were saying, I'll just repeat it in case you can't hear. I'm just not sure how well the mic picks up. That's all yeah, it is. So yeah, we're do as you just said, much better than I'm going to reiterate. But effectively, adding these yellows on here. Each one of these is a layer of yellow you're adding, which means at this point over here in this section, you can clearly see you've got one, two, three, four, five layers of your yellow on top of your orange. Whereas at this point, there's none, one, then you'll have two, then you'll have three, and etc. So you do that as, as close, these gaps here would be smaller and they'd have a much smoother transition. So with a loaded brush technique, what you're skipping out is potentially like maybe this one. Oh my god. So maybe this one goes, maybe this one goes, and you'll end up being yeah, smoother. So for loaded brush, it's more mm. like you're skipping kind of like stages one, two, and three. Oh, at once, And then you're yeah. just doing the top kind of, or you're just doing a, a couple of smoothing layers over the top. Okay, kind of things that's a better way of explaining it. It depends on, you might do a perfect loaded brush where it's just like a perfect <laughs> Just transition. one line, bam. But that is, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, what's your name because of the blue? It's hard. Uh, modular. modular? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Ben Comets. His tutorial has taught me masses of loaded brush. I was also using loaded glazing, which is something kind of separate, but I didn't realize there was a name for it, which was loaded brush, until I watched Ben Comets' videos. And yeah, it was really interesting watching his... Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. His explanation of it. And as he says, when he's doing it, he, even he doesn't perfect it every time. And so quite often you'll still have to glaze back in over the top and correct the colors afterwards. Yeah. And that's where I find the loaded glazing helps over just straight normal glazing because the loaded glazing you have the body of paint is uh, is uh, sorry the body of the brush is water rather than paint, and then you just have paint on the tip, and then that way it's easier to glaze like so that it fades out in the same way that a loaded brush does. And it just creates a smoother transition. Uh, spinning up your painting without reducing the quality and minimizing the possible steps to make mistakes. 
Uh, so loaded brush is kind of a hit and miss thing, especially when you first start it. It's really random how the paint separates, because you have to imagine you have an unknown amount of paint in the bristles, and you have a, uh, you have a slightly visible amount of paint on the end of the bristles. And how they're going to interact together as you move across the surface, because you don't know what imp imperfections there are, or how the other paint lines are from the other ones, because there will still be lines even if they're really subtle yeah, you can't yeah. see them. You don't know how they're going to affect how the loaded brush blends that across your surface, so quite often you might still need to glaze over it. And that's just something that practice will come in as you go. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Um, we're going to get cracking, otherwise I don't want to get very far on this one. Um, I wondered how people in the world got the colour to pop so well. These have been super thin layers, I'm assuming. Yes, indeed, super thin layers, man, festival. Um, right, let's crack on. We are up for a lot of time, so let's try and get... So, questions I've got. We have not even started doing the reds and the shadows yet, but... So if you ever look through that, I want to also understand how would I would go from this transition we've done here to include this horizontal this piece of armor right. here. That is a completely so, separate piece. Yeah, so you would treat so it So I don't way. even worry about that for now. Okay, let's carry on with this then. Um, so what I would do is I would do a tiny bit of a uh, an, orange, an orange loaded glaze starting here and finishing it about here. To bring that, so that Just matches so that this side. So it's, yeah, so that you, your same transition peaks off at each, at each side. Because okay. it's the same surface curve in each side. So you'd want the same level of light diffusion. Okay. So because they're both pointing orange, at the same angle towards the light as well. Orange loaded glaze. That's quite yeah. a lot on there, but... Less. So yeah. like half that. Okay. Because it it's, it's only a small area because it doesn't because there's that other panel in the way. I'm trying to show the them as well at the same time, so yeah. there. Yeah? Still less? Oh, I've got to do it again now, but I'm trying to figure out like the actual level. That's probably about right, yeah, isn't it? Right. Okay. Because you're going to start at the beginning anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is only going to be a very subtle thing anyway. And this kind of, as well, this means you don't have to use... The, the better you make your top glaze, the better, the less you have to deal with your shadows sometimes as well. It depends on how, how sharp you want your shadows to be. I hate this angle as well. Right, so can they see... Oh, they might, I'll have to get back to it. That's why you're such sharp. So, sometimes the painting comes first. <laughs> I think that was rubbish. I need to do that again, but... I mean, again, there wasn't. They didn't do much, and honestly, I honestly don't think it did much. Like I, the paint I had on there. No, that's, like, that's enough. Yeah. You don't need to do any more than that, mate. It, as I say, very slight, very slight change. It was just to blend that because you had. Do you remember when I talked about the mid yeah. where you had the orange blended with the yellow on the other side, and then they got you to blend back up into it? Yeah. You just had that color went all the way to the edge. Uh, so you okay. need to create a bit of a gradient so that you have something to fade into the shadow with. Oh yeah, okay. I can see how you've added the actual line in the, in the middle makes a massive difference as well. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that if you want. Well, not now. We'll go back then. I don't think you need it actually. No. Your, your line in the middle, because you did a second loaded brush yeah. over the top, you had a second sharp yellow line over the top. Okay. Um. All right. So then I guess shadows are next so then. then. You can go with shadows. So you want your mid tone red to start off. Oh my god, this mid end. So we're gonna glaze in. Same exact thing we're doing. Loaded glaze. I'm guessing from the shadow. Loaded it. glaze tiny tiny amount you don't need to use any much at all because it's the red wall is darker than the so wait, orange so okay so I, i'm already guessing what i think I, we're gonna do a mid-tone then the dark one under that which means we're creating that mid section between the orange and the red that we're doing kind of yeah 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 so you're gonna you're gonna glaze the solid red from the very base of the line okay uh up as far as you want your shadow to go and then the the darker red will be literally like a flex a millimeter right, or something I guess like, yeah, at most it's, okay. like, it's usually like where the points join kind of thing is where that last extra okay. bit is. The only time you'd use more is if, even when I had this, this was like... Um, this one, oh my god, like this keeps flowing out. <laughs> so when we did, I mean this is like one of the darkest panels on the miniature. And this one, the the dark red is only like in this tiny area down the bottom. Oh, here. okay. And like it's red across most of the panel. Or red makes it orange. Wow, this is like proper whap work. Let me just sort the music out, because we're using none. Oh. Sparky Sky with four viewers. Thank you so much, my friend. That's a new name to me. How are you? Thank you so much for that host. I appreciate. Welcome. We are oh, causing a mess is what we're doing at the moment. What is going on with these freaking scones? Um, yeah, we are doing some glazing tutorial stuff on a Saturday. We've got a, a glazing at this time. Oh no, we're not just glazing now, are we? Glazing and loaded brush and loaded glazes and <laughs> we haven't done any wet blending yet, you haven't had No, we haven't any made it made a screw up, so we're not getting it. Alright, that'll be a screw up. We can do some wet blending afterwards if you want. Uh, um, or just like time it wise, I'm sure okay. intentionally on like a fingernail or something and then you just wet blending or something. I've done some way back when. <laughs> I mean, pretty much done right. it, so. Um doing good man. Yeah, thank you for the host man, welcome. Um 
Have you had a good stream? If it was, it was stream. I'm assuming you were streaming. There were four dudes with you, four friends. Um, okay, right. So we're gonna do the red now. I've added loads in because the uh, just because the paint exploded. That's fine. Just the tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the just the tip. Gonna moisten that tip, boys. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry I can't quite hear you because of the mic. Did you say that, that I could use a load brush for black power? I mean, give me a second. Let me just adjust that. Let's, because you are quiet and music is just generic. So we'll bring that way down. Okay. So you now speak and what's a second green line? Uh, oh, I said I don't really know about black because I haven't okay. gone heavily into painting black yet. As I said, the, the black on the, the Grigia there, he still needs a lot of work. So I'll, I'm going to come back to that at some point and do that properly. What you want to do is you want to watch Lathis' stream when he'll go and talk about that. I'm still learning <laughs> too. So yeah. as I learn, I'm quite happy to teach. So I'm happy to teach something I've already learned, but there are still questions that I don't have answers to because I just haven't learned how to do it yet. So. Got to head to bed now. Thank you, have a good one. Have a good one, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, host. Showing that love forward. Thank you so much. Good night. Ciao. Right, okay. That's better.